What is up, my Clever Coop family? Oh my god, I, abs I actually did it right. Oh, there's no break in the green screen. All the lighting is on how it's supposed to be. Look at that there. Look at it go. Hi, everyone. Happy Thursday to those who celebrate. Um, how are you? We're almost through the week. Look, you did it. Some of you in different time zones, you already did. Excuse me, do it. I burped. I just ate way too fast. Sorry, that was really gross, probably. I'm not starting over. I'm a person. Hi, everyone. Lovely to see you. If you don't know me, hi, I'm Damien. I stream Tuesday, Thursday, Sunday. I'm a voice actor. I'm a Twitch streamer. Uh, you may also know me from the YouTube channel, Smouch. Um, and it's very good to see all of you. Thank you for being here. We're going to be playing some Baldur's Gate, uh, which we've been playing for many, 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 many days uh, because I'm super addicted and I like it a lot. Um, also, I've been uploading these VODs to YouTube. So hi to everybody who has been watching on YouTube and discovered me through that. I actually uploaded a new one today. Um, and I've been really, really careful because I um, uploaded them in the wrong order before. And so I, I finished uploading. I was like, all right, there we go. And then I looked back and I was like, I missed two. In fact, I think of the ones that are already up, I think there are still two that I had missed before that. The order is messed up. I am so sorry. I don't know why it keeps happening. I'm just not good at it yet. It's a new thing I need to learn. I don't know how to fix the fact that it's out of order now, other than just putting it in that playlist. Um, oops. Um, <laughs> but hey, here's the segue though. Everybody, please give a spicy thank you to Kcolsia420 for dropping a sub bomb. Dropping five flippin' gift subs. Thank you very much, Kcolsia. Gifting to DD Fork, V E L Chaner, V3 L Chan, um, Snurgins, the Cassie NT, and then Reina Sunfield. Appreciate you. Very, very nice of you, K. Colsia. Thank you very much. Then we got S. Greenly gifting us up to Magic Lollipop 1214. Thank you. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. I don't think there's a way to uh, fi fix it unless you just re-upload it in the right order. Well, so it goes. <laughs> you know what? I think because I uploaded the one today that and it was only up for like a minute before I like privated it, did it, did it, it again, um, I think I might just have to delete it. But then again, like there's those other two that I'm like, yep, they're out of order. You're just gonna see them out of order. And that's how it goes. I'm learning, it, it is what it is. Um, but thanks so much for hanging out, y'all. Thanks to everybody who's been watching that. I'm very excited to be streaming tonight um, because this is when I get to play Baldur's Gate. And this is when I also get to hang out with y'all. Um, wait, is Baldur's Gate 3 out on PS5 now? I, th I think it's out um, tomorrow, I don't know. How was it playing Armored Core with Shane? Asks Anthony Anthony Borges or Borges. Um, it was fun. I enjoyed hanging out with Shane, and I also really like the maker of Armored Core. Robot mech suit stuff isn't always my cup of tea, and I think I probably would have enjoyed the experience more for the game if I were just like locked in with y'all on the stream, or if I were playing it by myself and learning how to do it. I just um, I just yeah, it was it was the game itself was like fun, but hanging out with my friend was real fun. Um, hey, we've also got more sub bombs rolling in. Uh, Finlock Shepard dropping five flipping gift subs. Thank you very much, Finlock Shepard. Gifting to Lethresh, Odinson, Chuck Diesel, the, that Matt guy, and then Donnie Darko. Love your movie, Donnie. Um, Finlock Shepard, thank you very much. I appreciate you. That's very, very, very nice of you. Very kind of you. We've also got Liv dropping 100 bits. Thank you very much, Liv. I appreciate you. Yo, this is all super nice. Uh, for anybody... Hey, what's up, bad gal? Allie. Ah, it's my friend Allison. Allison, I haven't seen you in forever. So good to see you. It's one of my best friends right there, y'all. Um, for those of you who have not uh, joined on these games before, uh, don't worry. We'll get you caught up on the story. Pretty lickety split. It's not too flipping difficult. Uh, because while there is an overarching story... Everything else is very much like quest by quest. So we'll get you caught up real quick. Um, for people who want more content later after I'm done streaming, you uh, can check out the VODs on YouTube, which is also great. What I did want to point out is a lot of y'all are dropping sub bombs and tips and things like that. That's very nice. It's very sweet of you. Of course, I appreciate it. Of course, I'll read it out. But that being said, we have a lot of new people lately. So I always have to reemphasize and want to reemphasize to you. Um, you don't have to do those things in order to be a part of this community while it is nice and i will thank you you can also hang out and chat for free and you're still an appreciated member of this community especially if you're a youngin if you're in high school or whatever don't give me money uh, buy yourself a nice boba you deserve it it's finals or school just started i don't know 
But you deserve a boba. Go get a milk tea. Have a treat. Um, but thank you very much for all of the above. Um, we also got tired to the max, gifting a sub to CR7 the Gunner. Appreciate you for doing that. Um, we got Anonymous dropping five flippin' gift subs. Ooh, how scary, how mysterious, how stealthy. Anonymous, whoever they may be. Our gift, they're gifting a sub to McRizzle, Billy Rain Markle, Dr. Jess L.O. Rigby, and then Atlas Sleeps. You know what? If Atlas is carrying the whole world on their shoulders, eh, they deserve a little nap. I respect it. Um, gosh, that's very nice of y'all. Thank you so much. How many new people do we have out there today out of out of sheer curiosity? Um, let's see. High Top says, uh, hey, us oldens with mortgages got to save our pennies too. Absolutely, High Tops. But you, as someone who is maybe a little bit older and has a mortgage, maybe already knows that. Whereas if someone's on the younger side and they're getting dopamine because they got noticed on a stream, maybe it's more impactful if I specifically say, hey, you don't have to do that. Um, but yeah, I mean... I, as is always the case, regardless of your age, take care of yourself first. This stuff is appreciated. You gotta take care of yourself first. Um, Anonymous, thank you, whoever you may be. Appreciate you. Very kind of you to do that. Um, hey, we got lots of new people. What's up, Tears of Merc? Welcome on in. Second stream I'm catching live, says Lysanthir. Very nice. Welcome on in, Lysanthir. Appreciate you. All right. I just want my magic tower and princess. Yeah, Crocabilly, I, that was the plan for last stream. And you know what I didn't do? Any of that because we found a different thing and I got sidetracked and it was a lot of fun to do the other stuff. So we'll do that later. <laughs> um, we've got uh, Steph Nowit gifting a sub to P-Man. Thank you very much, Steph, appreciate you. And then we got Sticking Fork and Outlet, the safest screen name. Uh, dropping five flippin' gift subs. Thank you very much, Sticking Fork and Outlet. I appreciate you. Gifting to Doom Isekai, Shaka, Shaka Daken, Shaka Daken, uh, Terrell Five Star, Nesta One, and then Prof Ben 330. Thank you so flippin' much. Appreciate you a lot. That's very, very kind of you. I actually do have a question um, for y'all. Uh, I want your opinion on something. So like I said, I've been uploading these VODs, uh, these completed streams to YouTube, right? Great. I've been happy to do it. It's been a lot of fun. Not too much work because they're not edited, whatever. Um, I did notice there are two that I missed. They are technically taking place before things that I've already posted that have been up for like a week. So like they're out, they're out there. I'm not going to delete the video. They're out there. Would you still like me to upload the two that I missed? Or should I just move on? I'd still like to, but I don't want it to be too jarring. Yes, please post them. Yes, I was so confused by them. Yes, you'd be... Okay. Yeah, I know it was confusing. I'm sorry. You know what I'm going to do? Here's what I've learned. Here's what I've learned. When I auto move the video from Twitch to YouTube, I'm just going to start putting the date on it because sometimes I do it all at once. And so I look at them and I'm like, oh, these all got uploaded on the 18th of August, which means I think this one came first. And then I do that. And then... <laughs> Okay, well, thanks for your understanding, y'all. I'm still learning, but I appreciate how supportive y'all have been on the YouTube video scoop as well. It's been very nice. We got Lil Kate dropping a thousand bits. Thank you so much, Lil Kate. Appreciate you. Saying, just finished watching the new Hide and Seek. <laughs> Thank you very much. I'm not going to comment specifically on the thing you said because I don't want to spoil the video. It is a Smosh video, so I don't want to spoil it. It's a separate thing, but um, thank you for the kind words. It was fun to film. The grand old time to film. I appreciate it. Got Liv dropping 100 bits. Thank you. They say, I hope everyone's doing good today. Well, are you? Everybody answer in the chat whether or not you're doing well. Are you? Am I late? Says L Dark Star. Actually, no, uh, L Dark Star. I left it on the starting soon screen for like five minutes and um, I've been talking for like 10. So we're good. Good chilling. Uh, if you are new here, what I usually do is I'll, I'll chat with the chat for a little bit um and again that's for free so you don't have to tip or anything in order to be seen i, I do read out tips sub bombs new subs resubscribers the resubscribers all at the end of the stream and all that stuff um but i like to talk to the chat because you shouldn't have to feel like interacting with this community is gated behind financial stuff it's just nice to support when you do kind of burnout but doing okay says clearly really oh my god i am i am there and have been there lately today i'm feeling good today i'm actually feeling a lot better having less weekend uh, i think last sunday really helped me out but beyond that <laughs> yeah. Ugh. um sleeping from a 40 plus hour work week and you're moving when you're not working oh shay human being 
moving is one of the most difficult things you can do anyway so bless your bones for having to deal with all that back out ali says just finished hanging out with my mom and i ate popeyes Ooh, ali i have not had popeyes in a minute i've not had it in a minute um also i saw that you sent some voice messages i will check in with you when i can things are going to be a lot easier after tomorrow speaking of which i might stream tomorrow night but i'm also supposed to go to a friend's birthday party we'll see how my brain feels um but i'll probably add a stream this weekend um for anyone who cares to know i'll just let you know whether it's saturday or what um space cadet is gifting a sub to trevor the tree thank you very much space cadet i appreciate you we also got kaza girl gifting a sub to nakoko thank you very much kaza girl welcome nakoko welcome back rather um we've got shaval dropping two flipping gifts up shaval why do i feel like it's been forever since we've seen you are you doing well hope you hope you're doing well shaval thank you very much gifting to uh bro yo joe and then catsby 0105 thank you so much um crown slayer asking a question again y'all this is usually <laughs> i've been so lax on this stuff lately and it's it's totally fine my my usual thing is like this is my own thing. This is not a Smosh stream. Don't ask Smosh questions. But since Smosh is such a big part of my life and like Sword AF, our D&D &D campaign is like my baby and it premieres every week and I'm there and I'm writing all of it. Sometimes questions get through and I'm just like, yeah, I do want to kind of talk about that. So, um, so Morcel they're asking about, um, who, who asked it a second ago? Crown Slayer says, I have a bit of a D&D &D question for you, Damien. Is Morcel a patron you guys made for Sword AF? I love him and I want to use him for my campaign. Yes, so Morisel, uh, for those of you that don't know, um, Amanda, who's a member of Smosh, she plays a character named Dolores, who is a warlock. For D&D, &D, warlocks get their powers by making it some kind of deal with um, a powerful demon or some kind of powerful fairy, some kind of stuff like that. Um, so Morisel is her patron, the source of her powers. I had an idea of how I wanted the character to interact with her. And I had the idea, like without spoiling for people who haven't seen it yet, the whole motherhood thing was kind of what I wanted to have going. But I, I talked to Amanda, I was like, is there anything else you want uh, that's meaningful to you? Um, and the name Morisel is something that I adapted from a word that she found for a creature from Portuguese folklore, because she's Portuguese. Um, so I took that word and I was like, well, I don't want to be, I don't want it to be just that. So I took it and made it more of a name. I combined it with my sort of ideas with it. So yes, it is a patron that is, has been fully made for our campaign, um, inspired by something that was personal and important to Amanda. Um, in fact, I only, <laughs> I recorded a voiceover session the other day and a friend of mine was the director and he was like, I love the nods that you had to this, 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 and this. And I was like. You're the only person who's noticed that. He was like, what? Pretty much everything that I name in there has something important to it name-wise, or there's a reason that I've named it that way. And it doesn't matter. Like, you're not gonna listen to that and be like, mm, clues for the season. It's just like, there's always something there. So it's always funny when, you know, either someone notices or I get to talk about it like that. So, um, not Elizagirth, Audrey. <laughs> Elizagirth is just my go-to name that i use for everything um all righty um little kate's also with 100 bits thank you so much i appreciate you and then tiny low liza is also dropping five living gift subs y'all this has been a very gift sub heavy stream i appreciate you a lot tiny low liza uh is gifting to uh, adami hearthless lexlish uh art is the one uh color bandits and then doltsky thank you very much tiny low liza appreciate you Corey Lynn is dropping two flipping gift subs to Always Presto and then Bug the Explorer. Thank you so much. Well, there's Bug. There's the name of a character from our D&D &D campaign. Well, I'm sure you might. You're probably not referring to them, but that's all right. Okay. Thick, si thick thighs save lives needs to be on a tee. Debs, I pitch, I pitch t-shirts all the time at the office. They're just busy, but I'm sure one day we'll have something cool. Um, and then finally, Chris L. Sun dropping two flipping gift subs. Uh, to Wow Julius and then Sinfinity. Appreciate you. Thank you very much. Oh, Duck902 asking the hard hitting questions. Um, what is better, tea or coffee or ice cream? You know what? You came right out of left field with the ice cream because the tea and coffee comparison, I'm like, I'm on board. I have my answer in the chamber ready to go. But ice cream? I think if I could have. I think I like the taste of coffee when well-made more than any of those things, 
but the variety of tea like if i if i had to have these things like all day every day the idea of just having a bunch of different kinds of tea that's more my go-to and that's what i make more for myself anyway can i get tea or coffee flavored ice cream it says tiny little eliza yeah like a like a tea flavored ice cream is great it's always earl gray though they always make it earl gray and i'm like why why earl gray of all things of all things Alrighty. So we finally got 100 bits from Tears of Merc. Thank you so much. I appreciate y'all. That was very nice of you. What about Thai tea? Oh, bad gal Allie. I was going to call you Allison. Y'all, that's one of my best friends right there. I've known Allison for like... I almost said 20 years. That's not right. But like 15, 15, 16 years. Um, Thai tea is great. Thai tea is fantastic. I think the problem with Thai tea for me is though... Flavor profile wise, fantastic. I don't know if I've ever had it without like the heavy condensed milk stuff so like yeah it's delicious but it's just like sugar and cream like i'm like i wonder how it would taste to me as just like a light kind of drink i don't know i don't know i don't know any hoozle um god i'm excited to play this game with y'all today thanks for hanging out i appreciate you do you like boba asked jojo fruit bat i love that we always talk about food yeah i do like boba I don't love the actual like tapioca part of the boba, but I think the benefit of that for me is like whenever I have a special drink, a sweet little sweet treat special drink, which is my favorite thing in the world, I can't stop myself from just chugging right through it. So those little tapioca boba ball things at least like slow me down because I don't want to be like dung, 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 and just, you know, hork it down. So I think I need them. I just don't prefer them. Oh, you've never heard of cheese tea? So... Kama, uh, Kamayer or Kamayer. Um, I think maybe it's the name might be throwing you a bit. So it's sort of like a sweet, frothy, foamy. Like if you think about like cheese to cheesecake, like you're not eating cheesecake and being like, oh my god, cheddar. Like it's its own sweet, creamy thing. So cheese, like whipped topping on top of a boba kind of situation. It is cheese, but it's not. I had it for the first time in. Um, Shibuya, Japan, um, obviously in the days before lockdown and stuff like that. Tyler Cravens, you generous mother goose. Y'all, can we please get some generous mother geese in chat? Thank you, Tyler Cravens, for dropping 25 flipping gift subs. I really appreciate that. Thank you. Uh, they are gifted to the Far Plane Hero, Jake Sor, Isabiz, What the Duenas, Torque, uh, Jester Cupcake, uh, J JMC Kulka Jr., uh, Snockly, Yami Kuri, uh, The One Avocado, uh, Maruku90, Panda Kitty, Joshi9550, Zubu13, Plumbus Paba, uh, Pegasus Goat, Mystic Queen, Freezy Zombie, uh, Echo in the Hallway, Zindi, We Are On Air, Pro Is Pain, Black Crimson, Fodder Haystack, and then Z Hellers. Thank you so much. That's very, very nice of you, Tyler Cravens. I greatly appreciate you. Oodles of much. Um, very sweet of you. Thank you so much. That was really nice. Um, tell you what, if you have been gifted a sub in stream tonight, feel free to drop a thank you to all the generous gift sub bomber droppers. Um, that being said, if you want to keep lurking and you are more comfortable just not saying anything, I will say a blanket thank you to everyone. I really appreciate that. Again, it's never expected. It's always nice when people do it. Um, if you are a subscriber, you are able to join the Discord now, which is where people can chat and hang out in between uh, streams and stuff. Um, Mom, if you're watching right now, don't watch. Mom, if you're watching, close down the thing. You have 10 seconds to turn off your speakers. Three, two, one, two, 10. Um, I'm probably gonna go surprise my mom for her birthday and drive down. Um, but usually when I'm like, you know, needing some personal time to like recuperate because I have a hard time being super social um, uh, and I just like chill in the room for a bit, that's usually when I'll hop on Discord and be like, how's everyone doing? I'm at home right now. Um, so yeah, God, if she texts me and is like, you're coming, I'm gonna be so pissed. I have to tell her at some point because like she has to prepare for me, I guess. I don't want to just show up and be like, hi, because I think that would be more stressful to her because she's definitely the type of person that's just like, oh, what kind of food do you like? We have, we can have chips. We have ham. And like, you know, moms like to list every type of food there is. So I think it would probably be less stressful to her if I'm like, hey, you have a little bit of time to prep and get ham i guess um but anyway um yeah so that's the plan but i'll probably do that on a non-stream day anyway so it won't affect y'all but y'all i'm just saying we'll get to hang out on the discord for a minute she sounds sweet yeah i think i lucked out nemi emmy i love my mom very much we've been through a lot together you know 
Um, Catriel, thank you very much for the uh, for the uh, raid. Appreciate you. Welcome on in, raiders. Have I watched the Adventure Time spinoff yet? Not yet, y'all. I have not had time. But what I'd probably do is um have it like ready to go on my phone, and then after my mom and her husband go to bed, that's when I would um that's when I would just be like, oh well, I have this content on my phone. I'll check it out. Um, I'm sorry, Damien. I just found out I've been spelling your name wrong. Jojo Fruit Bat. Tell you what, you're not the first. You're sure as hell not gonna be the last. It's okay. You're fine. What kind of lunatic would I be to be like stranger on the internet? You didn't get it right. You're, you're chilling, but I appreciate you. You're totally fine, but thank you. Um, and then sticking fork and outlet is also gifting us up to Mijan or Mihan. Not sure which sound that J makes because I don't know the language of origin, but that's okay. Um, Y'all, I'm so excited to be here. Um, Allison, I hope you're still in chat. And if, if you got to go, that's okay too. I look forward to texting you. Um, uh, good luck with everything that you're working on right now because uh, I, mean, I know we haven't updated on that in a second. Um, but uh, we're going to be playing Baldur's Gate. It's Oh, you are here. Okay, so Allison, this Baldur's Gate is one of my favorite games of the year. You're going to love it. Maybe. And if not, we're at least going to make it fun for you. You were just sending me a private message. Okay. I will have to. I'll check it when I'm done streaming at like midnight my time because I'm addicted to this. Um, but it's so fun. And I'm very excited to share this with you. I'm going to super nerd out. Uh, for those asking about Starfield, I think I'm going to play that on like the proper release date. I know that there is like um, early access if you get the collectors whatever and that's fine but i'm so addicted to baldur's gate we're not even through act one yet and there's three acts and what we've got 60 hours in something like that something crazy like that so i'm gonna probably wait until the actual like day i'll stream it then as a big like wow we're doing starfield for the first time and then i'll keep probably alternating back and forth or i'll just keep playing baldur's gate but i, I don't know it is it is by bethesda it is very like from what i can tell like skyrim coded it seems like a big deal to like stream it early and celebrate that day together so let's let's do that let's do that um i'm about to um uh read out uh the question of the day but i do want to of course get through uh oh real quick some new subscribers subscribing on their own um no oddpods i'm saying i'm going to stream starfield on like the sixth have i ever played dishonored oh i love dishonored yeah in fact i have a collector's uh Dishonored tarot deck from when it was released way back in the day. Um, sticking fork and outlet is gifting the Lysanthir. Thank you for doing that. Also, everybody, please give a spicy clever coop welcome to Gandalf the Party Wizard, K Bear 7, Duck 902, also gifted by Sticking Fork. Thank you very much. Maybe Gabby Gabby, um, gifted by S Greenlee. Thank you for doing that. Also, S Goldie 97, The Drew Man, Sweaty Laundry, Honey Drippin', uh, Cousin of Piggy Dippin', uh, Tears of Merc. Um, and then, uh, then I think, oh, uh, Annie the Pooh, and then S Greenlee themselves, uh, Jojo Fruit Bat, gifted by Sticking Fork and Outlet, uh, Malaposa, gifted by Sticking Fork and Outlet, and that is all the new, new subscribers here. Um, oh, uh, Kamayer says, new to your Twitch, but watch you loads from Smotch, you, are you deciding on playing the new Final Fantasy? So I really want to play the new Final Fantasy, right? In fact, I have it loaded up, ready to go. I bought it so that I could stream it, um, but I ended up playing this, and this took a, a bunch of time, and then Starfield gonna is going to come out, and I'm probably going to want to play that too. And so I'm like, maybe I play the new Final Fantasy game, and it's just for me, and then it's just for me, and maybe I can revisit it later, but it could just be something that I enjoy on my own, because I don't even play games on my own anymore. I'm just so busy. Um, so, But I will play it. I love Final Fantasy. I love Final Fantasy. Um, and then the Baldur's Gate Nation attacked. Exactly. You get it, Demo Nacho. Um, all righty. Hey, we also got uh, KP the cat and then Liv Livy Joe or Livy Yo, um, both subscribing for the first time. A very spicy, clever coop welcome to you. Thank you so much. I do see tips rolling in. I will read them out in a bit, but I want to get started on the game first. We're, we're about 30 minutes into the stream. Gotta do that. And then I will uh, read those out as we go. I do always get really, really behind. Um, as, you, as some of you may know, uh, because I do have ADHD and I also like to focus on the game and the chat. And then sometimes I look over and I'm like, oh my God, you sent a tip two hours ago. I'm so sorry. Hey, Damien, I'm actively on fire and your words are the only ones that can put it out. Oh, sorry. You know, whatever. Um, <laughs> but I do the best I can. All right. So before we hop into the game here and I get you all caught up on the story to the point where you'll at least be able to understand in general what's going on. We have a question of the day. A real thought starter, a real head scratcher, a real puzzler, if you will. And I always ask question of the day. So y'all better get ready for it. 
because I want some answers. Today's question is, who do we have in the chat today? We've got Samantha K and 28, Forrest Goblin, Finley Coda. We got Space Cadet, Demonatra, CMIED. We got Non Alcoholic Gin, Kate Don't Hate. We got Brundon, Penguin Utopia, Noah Cola, Hannah G. Uh, we got Lysanthia, Silent Cry, Crinery, Austin Nix, Orca S. We got Morbid Curiosity. What's up to Shibugi Alarm Pants, Catamantium, X Ratete, uh, Icling to Life, Eerie Medusa, Demon of Parks, Rosa Elena. We got Starberries. What's up to Ash Love, Series Styles, Nico Frog, Lavender Lily, It's Amanda B. Uh, we got Angelica Beto, Mad Kitten. We get up to Sleepy Little Rider, I Am Radical, Tiny Little Liza, Butterfly 69 Nest. Nice. Lau the Small Ghost, Star Zaya. We got Hannah No 21, Ghoulie Hubby, Bats for Brains, Prince Viki. We got Darjez, uh, the Emily Moriarty, Blood Cutie, ja uh, Javi Aloy. We've got Dark Princess, Game Player, Florneon. We got uh, Madame Trash Heap. What's up to Always Lively, Geeky on the Inside, Shadow Fang, Witchy Nails, It's Amber, M127, Zombell. What's up to Kayla Macaroni? Play it now. We got Joelville, Lavender Lily, Emerald Dean. We got Little Cade, Samantha K, Rachel the Lamacorn, Chris Elson. We got Nemi Emmy, Nick Michelle. What's up to Caravrito? We got Royale, Bello Tilt, uh, My Dolph. Uh, what's up to Color Bandits, Genocide Official, Bardic Flint, Foxtail Fay, Awesome Limited, Isley Moon, Lolo Lobster, Wicked West Books. What's up to Milky Big Rips, uh, Metaton Bunny. What's up to Cafe Crow, Adelia Bedelia, It's Mandy B, Igloo the Viking. What's up to Skylar Babes? What's up to Me John? What's up to Teak XX? Kate Colzia, Gavis, Billy Rain, Markle, Lauren Ipsum, Caitlin Rebecca, Bear Famous, Potato Fairy, Tor Mirabelle. What's up to uh, the Above Average Moose, Meg Lynn, Dark Princess, Joel Vill. I already said that one. Scarlet Lady, Lake Sharks, Norbug, Ghost Kid. Uh, what's up to Irritated Nick? Uh, the bell rocks too many counts. That's right, y'all. There are too many people here for science to count. They don't even have that many numbers. I, for one, dream of a world where science does invent that many numbers, and we are able to count that high. But until then, let's keep challenging them and getting this community to grow. Um, but whether I said your name right off the bat or not, I'm sure I'll see you at some point during the stream. So chat and hang out or relax and lurk and don't say anything. Either way, just make sure all I ask of you, you peep those rules just to make things super easy for the mods because we love our mods and they volunteer their time and they work so hard to keep this community awesome and great. Anything they say to you regarding the rules, it's not personal. They're doing their best to keep things chill and it's hard to make. I mean, there's 670 people watching right now, so been hell yeah thank you very much but that's a lot to make sure everything is chill so just make things easy on them that's all i ask um uh slay mods says brooke is broke you know what i think i think that would have benefited from a comma because i know you meant slay mods but it looked like slay mods i'm like no don't slay them protect the mods cast protective spells on the mods um all right y'all time to hop into this flipping flopping game um let's see here protect says Lao the small ghost um all righty boulders gate three is going to be loading up as i change out what i'm playing here so we'll, if the mods wouldn't mind uh changing what game is being played i'm also going to respond to a message real quick just super quick and then we are good to go oh time to stop one type of music because that will otherwise be a cacophony. An absolute cacophony. Uh, let's see, one second. I don't know why I'm mumbling like you're actually able to hear what I'm saying. I'm just like... <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all. So this is the game of Baldur's Gate 3. You don't need to have played the other ones. I sure as hell didn't. Um, to give you the quickest possible rundown, it's D&D. &D. It's actually made off of D&D &D 5e system. Like, it's made in conjunction with D&D. &D. So, you know, when you're, when you're like, oh, is our character strong enough? Like, they literally have you roll dice in-game to see if you're going to be able to succeed or not, right? So... Wizards, bards, rogues, knights, all those different things. That's what we're dealing with, all right? So that's the main structure of this story. Here's what's going on. So we get to make our own character, which we did all those streams ago. Um, but then one day, without warning, we're abducted by a type of monster called a Mind Flayer, also known as an Illithid. You've probably seen different versions of them and different fantasy things all over the place but they're those really tall guys whose faces look like little squids they just got the like little, 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 as they're, they're evil dr zoidberg right 
um, and they implanted a terrible looking parasite into our brain. That's how they reproduce. Those parasites are supposed to turn you in to mind flayers eventually as well. However, the ship that we're on crashes, we escape, and for some reason, we're not turning into a mind flayer like we should be. And we end up running into a bunch of other people who are not turning into mind flayers uh, like they should be. So you join forces and you decide, we're gonna figure out how to get these parasites out of our brain before it is too late. Um, and that's the main storyline. All these characters have their own different backgrounds, their different goals. Everybody has different ideas on how the, is the best way to get the parasite out of your brain. Some people are like, I hear there's an old witch. We can go talk to her. Other people are like, my people are known for the, having the strongest healings of brains ever. We need to find my people. Others are like, ah, the druids have the ancient lore. We can go check with them. So basically we're doing all these little mini quests, you know, on our way to the bigger overarching story. And that's where we're at. So when we last left our heroes, one of our um, people in our in our little crew is named Lazel. She is a creature called a Githyanki. Githyanki, they're not very nice. They're very warlike. They're very straightforward and direct. They don't have a whole lot of politeness. Um, that's just how they roll. They they value strength. They value you know someone being um, very curt in conversation, right? And they're big on hierarchy. So that's Lazel. This is Lazel right here. Um, but she is our friend. She is our friend. But she's basically saying like, yo, my people, the Githyanki, we're the smartest, we're the strongest. We literally have psychic powers. We need to find a little outpost from my people. And we're like, bet. So we just found that outpost. We're in our own camp right now because we just rested. Um, uh, and so we're about to talk to their leader and be like, what can you do for us? What's this whole situation? Um, what we also did though, <laughs> which was a lot of fun, which I've been waiting for for days. I'm very excited. Um, this is Astarian. Well, He's the one that everybody seems to be in love with on the internet. Um, regardless of your gender preference, everybody loves Astarian. He's a suave, smooth-talking little vampire, and we made him a sneaky little rogue. What we had him do for us was go up to probably the strongest one of uh, the Githyanki that we ran into, and we had him pick their pockets. We had them steal just so much. They, they stole, he stole so much from them. Um, it's actually, it's it's kind of insane how much we stole. Um, so, I mean, this level of weapon, like when it's, it's, it's pink like that, we're not supposed to have that yet. That's way too strong. It's too strong for us, but we took it. And so here's the one I am most excited about. The Gloves of Dexterity. Set the wearer's dexterity score to 18. The enchantment has no effect if their enchantment, if their dexterity is already higher than that. So here's what we sort of get to look at here. Everybody's good at different stuff, right? Like our main character here, he's a bard. I don't even know how we made him look like that. He doesn't look like anybody I know. Shadowheart, she's a cleric. They don't really need dexterity. Lazel, she's a fighter as well. She doesn't need dexterity, but it helps to have it. And so for these characters that have almost no dexterity or this one who has 16 adding those gloves to him is actually going to be kind of disgustingly overpowered um so let's maybe check that out real quick let's see what that looks like for us we can always change these other things later of course of course of course but I just, it's so strong everybody got stuff that's so strong and i'm so very happy about it gloves of dexterity i mean he's just gonna be he's just gonna be so strong um, let's see here. Uh, Knife of the Undermountain King. That's also really strong. It's basically, would you just call it the Swagger Dagger? What did you say? Oh, the Susser Dagger. <laughs> oh, you called it the Swagger Dagger. And I'm like, I, you know what? I don't hate that. I really don't hate that. I mean, part of me does. Part of me hates that you called it that, but not very much. Um, that's very funny to me. Um, all right. This is a different weapon. Gosh, darn it. These are all so good. Um, all right, so I'm gonna go ahead and store a bunch of the extra goodies that we got that we don't need quite yet Um, let's also just take a quick look at the other, um, like boots and and um, we're calling i'm sorry We're calling it the swagger dagger now Uh, the boots the armor all the things that we got here. So we got daredevil gloves the uh, wearer gains plus one bonus to spell attack rolls That's kind of great your range attack spells are made as melee attacks when you are adjacent to a hostile creature this oh so you know how sometimes we try to cast something at a range and we're too close and they're like, yeah, you missed because you tried to shoot someone with an arrow at point blank range. That's kind of what we're looking at now. Um, armor glass increases by one. I mean, 
that's also awesome. My God. We're going to probably save these special uh, gloves for someone who's more of a spellcaster then. We're going to wait until we need to use um, some of our other peeps, right? Um, a different hand crossbow is good. We should we should probably double up on hand crossbows. That's definitely something we should do for our... Yeah, two hand crossbows for our bard. Sneaky little shooty little guy. Um, a sussy little dagger. I'm so hey, hey, I'm sorry I said that. No one's more sorry than I am. Um... We can, we can for sure ignore that that happened if you want. We really could. Um, I encourage it. I insist on it. Uh, two to nine. Eight to fifteen. Is that better at all or what? Um, a long way to go. We just have to do a little bit of housekeeping here and then we're good to go. Gloves of Baneful Striking. Let's see here. Uh, whenever you deal damage with a weapon attack, the target receives a penalty to its next saving throw. I mean, that's kind of a big deal. Oh, but Gloves of Power are kind of better. Okay. Gloves of Missile Snaring, also good. We don't need it. Whenever the wearer deals cold damage, inflict two extra cold damage things. I mean, this is also really good. Gloves of the Grounding. Uh, while we're using a cold weapon, we're going to give this to Lazel. I know it doesn't make much sense right now. Just just bear with me here, all right? We'll, we'll get to the main we'll get to the main gameplay stuff in a second. Just, just bear with me. Um, 7 to 15 versus 6 to 15. That's kind of good. Um, all right. And then the absolute salesman versus the sussy dagger, the sussy baka. Um, vital conduit boots. When you cast a spell that requires concentration, they get extra hit points. I mean, that's kind of awesome. Um, oh, yeah, we're going to swap that out real quick for sure. Because um, they use concentration all the time. All right, I think at this point we are good to go. We can go ahead and hop back into the game. So we are about to hop into something that is potentially a little difficult, and I'm not sure yet how this is going to look for us. But basically what has happened is um, we did steal a bunch. Um, and, you know, who, who can say whose fault it was? Probably everyone's but mine. Um, but uh, we sort of, like, teleported away to be like, oh, yeah, you know, we're being sneaky. We got to rest. Ha, ha, ha. I have no idea if we're going to go back to a fuster cluck of people trying to kill us or not. I really don't. Um, I've got but we get to see you in a minute. It's going to be fun. So I'm going to save right now, now that we've... Uh, you think that was a bunch? Nah, says Orca. I mean, it was a bunch that was available to us, but we are just kind of getting started here. All right, so time to teleport back, and we'll see if there's any kind of shenanigans, if anyone being super mad at us. All right, looks good so far. Hey, we're looking real normal. We are actually, we are wearing some of the things that we stole. That's not great. Um, so these are all the Githyanki. The one that we stole from had a very specific title to her. I think she was like a weapons master or something like that. Um, so I think we'll just get to explore a little bit. Now, again, we do have an in-house in rule of like no backseat gaming. You know, please don't tell me like, use this item, like try this spell. Like, no, you should be doing this kind of armor. Like that's a bummer. What I will say though, is we've run out of, um, we've missed out on big opportunities in game before. Cause I was like, oh, I'm gonna send my characters to rest. And then they end up like, um, uh, let's see here. They end up uh, basically like we miss out on a huge quest and it's like, oh yeah, if I had known not to go there quite yet, I would have been fine. So like stuff like that, I am getting a little bit more lenient about. So like, yeah, if I'm ever about to be like, oh, you're not going to be able to ever come back here again and you won't be able to steal from anyone else, then like, let me know. Um, all right. So if it's red like that, we can't steal from it. We'll get caught. But if it's white like that, we can. Why, why this one? Okay. Yeah, we'll steal money from that barrel. Why not? Crystal vase. Examine. Pretty, very pretty. And everyone was fine and definitely not dead when you woke up. Wait, we're Jaybird. I'm saying. Thank you for that. I appreciate that. Um, hey, everybody also please give a fire speed. Clever Coop, welcome to Potato Fairy 69 and then Broken Shell. Appreciate you. Did you get the egg quest? I did, Haplu, and then I killed the person please that gave me the egg quest because I didn't like I uh, their whole vibe. The latest batch of cultists knew nothing of the astral prism. They were just trying to find Moonrise. These guys are trying to they find an artifact that we have, and they don't My know we have it. Have drafted plans to assault so we're trying power. to be sneaky little they guys. They are ready to fight. Chitrai, we could sift the missing artifact from the tower's ashes if you would give us... Quiet. Find the astral prism, Therizin. My patience falters. Yes, Chitrai. Astral prism. You heard him. Go! Okay, she's kind of pretty. Do as she says. 
She remains your Kithrak. For now. It's so interesting to me, the Githyanki. When I first saw them, I was like, blah. And then, like, as the game goes on, I'm just like, she's kind of cute. You know what I mean? Okay, so they're just running along. So this is our, our merry band of, of thieves over here. So we're in the captain's quarters. Obviously, there's a couple people right here that... Oh. Oh, we can just take from them and the, and the wolves don't mind. Oh, also, I'm a bard, so we can talk to animals. Or excuse me, we have a spell that allows us to talk to animals. Um, so I'm going to rob these guys real quick. What you got? Yeah, robbing them. Um, what do you think, little wolf guy? Armor and all. Took me a whole ten day to pass him. Ew, gross. I didn't poop him out for ten days. If she keeps making me eat armor, I'm going on hunger strike. Well, then don't do it. Don't eat that armor. Yeah, dog. Quite literally, dog. Uh, we can also speak with the dead, so we could, uh, at some point, like, raise them up, uh, you know, Josh Groban style, and, uh, see what they're up to. Um, I do want to explore all these other things first. Also, if you have not seen me play this game before, I take my sweet time. I just take my sweet, sweet time, so I just like to explore everything, so don't even, don't even worry. Uh, alrighty, let's see here. Uh, let's see here. A second. Uh, cool. Um, this map is an act of improvised cartography. <laughs> Improvised cartography. <laughs> yeah, just sort of like sketching like, I think there's a lake. Um, it highlights the areas of these shadow curse lands explored by the Githyanki scouts. Evidently, their forces are getting closer. All right, the map good. of the Sword Coast. My people have scouted well beyond the temple. Githyanki orders. Okay, so that is a specific type of thing that only our Githyanki friend could read. Unless, is, is it going to allow us anyway? Okay. This stone disc has Githyanki runes carved into it. Below them is drawn a translation into the common tongue. Be aware, cultists may be captured on sight. Interrogation, swift but effective. Search for the artifact. Thorough. Priority one. Yeah, I mean, they're searching for the thing that we have, so I do feel kind of bad because people keep getting murked. Because they're like, I bet they have it. Kill them. And, like, we're definitely, I mean, we're, it's... Mm. Okay, so here's, here's how we like to do things here. We like to ungroup everybody. I wonder what the next move is. I like to have Shadowheart boost up little boosts to our main guy here. We're gonna have Lazel ungroup. Mm, no, we're gonna have we're gonna have our main guy over here again. We don't know how he looks like anything. Whatever. Um, we're gonna have him go over here, talk to her. An istic in my crash. Istic is like a non one, one of, of the their most people. Sent to bring the weapon. The istic is with me, honored Kithrak. Yeah, you guys keep so talking. Noted. But my question goes unanswered. Oh, it doesn't let me change Do to him. Do you bring the weapon? Can I change Don't to him, please? Don't tell her anything. It doesn't let me change. That's too bad. Um, because usually I, I would try to have my sneaky guy just run around and like um, uh, just rob her. Um, oh, I, I can either straight up tell her what we have. Um, there's a mind flayer invasion in progress. Why is that not your priority? You are well informed. My crash discovered the same. We know infected flock to Moonrise Towers. Mm. I reported the gathering masses back to Tunarath. In response, they sent an inquisitor. Instead of ordering an assault, we were told to join in this mad hunt for an ancient relic. Meanwhile, illithid sickness spreads Again, right in front mind of us. Sorry. 
Alrighty. Um. Can we change yet? Can we change to our guy? Gosh darn it! I just want to rob her. That's all I want to do. What? Uh, what does this weapon look it like? It is small, angular, metal, adorned with Tiersu script, stolen by true soul heretics. You sense Shadow Heart's worry. This weapon sounds like the artifact you carry. I mean, it what is. What does that look? You know something. Oh no. Do you have it? Okay, so we're gonna have to roll deception. So here's what y'all usually can't see because my chair is here. One second. We get all of these bonuses from charisma. Um, the fact that I have a proficiency in deception because I'm a sneaky little little bard man. Um, uh, etc. 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 So let's be a little deceiving little guy. Okay, so we have to roll above a 16. That's actually pretty rough. <sighs> we get a plus 10, so we have to roll six or above. I'm going to save right here in case it becomes a problem. Oh, we did it. Oh, we did it. That's awesome. Awesome. Then stop wasting my time, Istik. Dude. You are one of the mercenaries we engaged, are you not? Um... Can I still not change to my guy? Gosh dang it. Um, what's the reward again? A fortune in gold, vouched for by our queen herself. I have business to attend to. Return with the weapon, or do not return at all. Okay, that makes sense for sure. Uh, can I finally talk to you now, please? So I can steal from you? I presume you are not stupid enough to return empty-handed. So, is this a glitch or am I just not able to change now. to him at this point? That doesn't make any sense to me. It's so weird. Okay, I guess. Time is finite, as is my. All right. Well, then here, tell you what. Here's what I'm gonna do. Instead of that, um, she strikes me as the kind of person who, um really likes Wonderwall. Yeah, yeah, you like Wonderwall, don't you? Yeah, yeah, you do. All right, so he's gonna distract with some music. Now he's gonna be a thiefy little guy, just a thiefy little guy. Wait, what do you mean, lost condition? A gith shard? I mean, sure, I'll steal it, but it, do it doesn't look like very much. I'll also steal whatever that is. Might as well just steal a bunch of stuff in this room. I'm in the room. Hiding successful. Cool, cool. Someone's been rifling uh -oh, through uh -oh, the Uh-oh, uh-oh. No, case. no. You sense now would be a good time to clarify if that someone is you. Um, um, um... I assure you, I've committed You crime. have a convincing air of innocence about you. That's enough for now. Yeah, that works for me. All right, well. Nice. Goodbye. Everybody group back up, okay? Wait, don't don't talk to Asterion. He's busy. Don't talk to him. Someone's been rifling through the wrong pockets. Try to talk you right to Yeah, we've you already we're already good. We already did good that. Time to clarify if that someone is you. We already did that. Come on, man. There we go. Yeah, I'm like we're we're already we already. You've been I don't like that they make you the check these time. things multiple times depending on the person. That is a bit of a bummer. I'm just like, what come to on, do? man. Come on, man. All right. Oh, but we can get through that barrier now since we picked her pocket. I think that is. Quite literally what we were supposed to do. I'm not here. Speak to the captain. Let's see how well she handles this. Nyaring. That's... I guess we did get the thing we needed. All right, story, you sneaky little bird. Let's go. Who would be... It is you. Make haste. We have business to conduct. Who... Who is this, then? No one stopped me yet. 
Oh, that's interesting. Oh, wow. Okay. This is a whole situation. There is there is a lot of stuff here. Dragon egg mushroom. Okay. Okay, if they if they just like not walk into the room, that'd be great. This place is even more foreboding than the rest of the crash. I'll breathe easier once we've gone from here. I mean, I definitely want to explore the rest of the crash. So again, no. anyone who's played this before, can I get through this area and still go back to the rest of the crash? Because obviously I'm going to want to steal a bunch of stuff before. all the time forever. No, Am I going to be able to go no. back or is this about to screw things up for me? Explore the rest first and then someone else says, yeah, you can. And then someone else says big fight. Um, probably going to aggravate everyone. So explore first. Okay, then I guess I will explore for it. Thank you. See, that's that's a good level of, of asking. That's a good level of asking. Thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah, I mean, this definitely looks like there's stuff over here to do. So that's, yeah. Take it slow and you'll be okay. Could be bad, could be nothing. <laughs> Depends on your choices. All right, I'm going to go explore and steal a bunch. That's what I'll do. That's what I will end up doing. All right, I'm going to save. Rook asks if I've gotten the special weapon here yet. If you're talking about this one, then maybe. But if not, then no. And I'm just going to keep on searching. I'm going to explore for a while. And I'll find things on my own. And then I'll ask if I'm unable to find stuff. All right. Let's see one second. I'm sorry, y'all. I am getting a, a lot of messages. Um... Um. Sorry. I'm so, I'm so sorry. Uh. Okay, good to go. Okay, so this person probably doesn't have... Oh, I mean, that looks that looks fancy. What kind of fancy are you? Yeah, it's a normal kind of fancy, but it still looks really cool. I kind of want it. We'll come back for it. We'll come back for it. We can come back for all this. Um... So we explored in here a little bit. This is the lady we super stole from a bunch. Um, and I, I'm imagining she's probably not like, not super stoked about that. And that's okay. Hey, sweaty laundry dropping 500 bits. Thank you so much. Appreciate you. That's very nice of you. And then finally, Justin Long is gifting us up to Zanester. Appreciate you. Uh, love the stream. Absolutely immaculate vibes. Thank you very much, sweaty laundry. Appreciate you. I will read out tips in a minute here. I know I'm very behind. I will do that. Another good Yankee long sword. Yankee crossbow. That's right. Good Decorated good arrow. Oh, this is another place I didn't explore before. So I'm gonna go around this way first. See if it actually no. We did explore more or less this way. So I guess the crash, the area that we're in right now. I guess it isn't that big of a location until you get to the other direction. Yeah, I think we're actually going to be okay then. Then, if that is indeed the case, we're going to go over That's here. That's the current stock when I was a yank. I was. Good job they beat the subversion out of you. 
I definitely want to check that chest in a minute here. Hey, what's up, baby magic? So good to see you. Thank you very much for being here. Ooh, okay, lots of goodies over here. See, this is what this is what we're looking for right here. This is the stuff we've been waiting for. All right, Stallion. We're gonna turn off these lights because it actually affects how well you're able to be seen. And we'll just be a sneaky little sneak snake. Arrow of lightning. Yeah, we need that. Of course we need that. Better short bow, of course we need that. Yeah, we need that for sure. What? Oh, they not dead just still. They're not fully wounded. Oh, Poor Hi, baby magic. Things are good. Uh, I'm super addicted to this game as as always, and it's it's super fun and awesome, and sometimes that's okay. I think this is an addiction that doesn't hurt anyone because I still get my job done and I sleep sometimes, so I think everything's fine. I think everything's fine. Um, I will say I do kind of want, um, oh, this Yankee short sword. I wanted that crossbow that's down there, but I think it's, I'm going to have a little bit of a, I'm going to have a little bit of a difficult time. Oh, I know what to do. I know what to do. Looking ahead. Someone wants to hear Wonderwall. That's what we're doing. We're going to have this whole, our, our usual situation of like, hey, everybody, how's it going? It's me, your favorite rogue, Damien. Hey, who can remember this little song by a group named Backstreet about the fact that they have returned from where they once were? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is Backstreet's Back. All right. Hey, sorry, this is clear. No, it's not, because they are looking exactly right where we need to be. Damn, that's actually how, why? Come on, man. Never a dull moment. Anyway, over here, here's Wonder Wall. And I said, maybe you're going to be the one that saves me. Oh, no. Can we only do that, like, once? Is that the problem? That's the problem. I had done it once before. Um... Hey, di different song. Nope. I don't know. I wonder if talking to this person. I see they're letting even istic mercenaries in these days. Weird for you to say. Um. All right, Starian. Now you can be a sneaky little guy. Maybe while that person is down there, not looking directly at you. Yep. Hey, we're good on that. Oh, I want that crossbow. Yeah, yeah. He can't notice me. I was a much better Why am I seeing around? Nothing, nothing. No reason, guy. nothing. Don't be weird. Everything's fine. Um, okay, we stole! I, I wonder, I really do wonder if that's in any way better than what we already have. Let's take a look. Uh, we're gonna group them back up. What? I didn't do that. Talk more about the situation. Deception, persuasion. Yeah, I didn't do that actually kind of crazy that you think i would i'm i'm actually a little bit upset with you on that one you're being gaslit okay so you don't be weird you. about it all right don't waste a step. yeah that was weird of you to feel weird about that you know what i mean that was really weird of you is what i'm saying no. great i think we're good i think we're good Woo. Okay, yeah, I mean, we are, we are surely, um, but we are the good guys, though. I just want to remind everyone of that. Like, that's not, like, if you're feeling like we're doing something off, I just want to remind you about how nice we've been. I mean, we, we haven't accepted, um, rewards from anything. Um, you know, let's see here. You know, it's, it's every, everything's fine. Um. All right. Ooh, okay. An entire new outdoor location? This has to connect back to where we've already been, right? I guess maybe this is like a way to sneak in if we hadn't found the right way in? Let's let's take a look at what we got here. Um I think I can hop to over here. I just want to explore before we go continue on to the rest of the area. Yeah, this very much looks like a place we've already been. Oh, yes, it is. Okay, so we really could have saved ourselves a lot of time uh, before. Uh, oops, uh, that's okay. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. It's hard to accept rewards when you've stolen all their stuff already. Snarky Squirrel, we don't know 
we don't know what came first. It's a real chicken and egg situation. I gotta say, I don't, I don't appreciate you assuming that I stole first before I helped them. Because the type of person I am, I'm a helpful little guy. Um, we got our first tip of the day rolling in from Curvrito. Thank you very much, Curvrito. Dropping three flipping dollars. Saying, hey, Damien, so happy to see you. Today has been a roller coaster of emotions. I was given two great opportunities. Okay. And I received an offer letter for a job. Super pumped. Excited to hang. Great job on the vids and um, my happy marriage. Sending good vibes. Thank you so flipping much. Okay, so you didn't say what the second opportunity was. For the first one, congrats on the job offer. Um, job offers, not not an easy thing to come by. Really not. Um, that's something you should very much be proud of. And I am stoked for you. I hope the job is exactly what you're hoping it is. Um, I hope you get out of it exactly what you're hoping to get out of it. And congratulations to you. That is something to be very, very proud of. Um, and thank you for the congrats as well. I appreciate that. Yeah. Um, Y'all, My Happy Marriage, the anime, new episodes every Wednesday. Still going strong. Apparently, apparently people like the first the first part of the season, so I'm very happy about it. I play Kyo Kakuto, the... Uh, oh, shoot! I didn't mean to do that. Dang it. Um, shoot. I did not mean to grab that. Um, gosh darn it. I should reload, but I'm just going to do this. Whatever. Screw it. Um, so any hoozle, yeah, that's, that's me. And it makes me very happy. So I'm glad people are enjoying it. Okay. See, she's, she's kind of cute. No, there's no time. There's no time. We're busy. I think now is time to go explore this other area. And also maybe read the secret little sneaky, like, the thing that was basically like evil plans on on her desk i'm very curious about the thing that was just straight up like evil plans who knows why are you back here Wh why why are you back here bud why are you guys back over there did you see the laboratory says demo nacho i don't think so um, unless it's like down here. No, it doesn't look like it. You know what? I guess I'll take I guess I'll take a little backseat game and if I'm entirely missing a laboratory. Is that blood? No, never mind. Um Oh. Oh, that's a whole thing, huh? This is a whole thing over here. That's a whole thing over there. Wow. I really did just miss uh, so very much in this, and I really was going to just not do it. Huh. All right. Um, great. Awesome. Uh, Papine skill. So that's that's more what I mean. Uh, I don't need to know storyline-wise what happens, because I do still want to be surprised as much as I appreciate it. I just wanted to know that there was a thing that I was going to miss that was maybe important to see, and now we're good to go. Um, oh, it's like a training area. Okay. It does look like I can probably rob a bunch of people as the good guys. Um, by the way, this is like a monastery that these guys took over. So they're not like, they're not great. Like, I kind of feel fine robbing them because they are, they stole a bunch of, they, they like murdered every monk in this area a long time ago. And we're like, what a neat house we've the tadpole found. Has already addled your brain. Is that it? Brain is fine. All right, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go talk to them. Oh, it's a classroom. What's up, students? Class in session. Number one, how to be robbed. You guys all aced it. Flying colors. One second here. Oopsie doopsie doopsie. Um, let's see. Sorry. You know what? Here's actually what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take a um a three minute break and run to the gentleman's room, and I will be right back. And that way I can stop just texting my phone. I'll be right back. Give me three minutes. I'll be right there. I'll be right back. I'll be right back. I'll be right back. Be right back. Oh wait. Um, it doesn't pause time. I'm gonna go turn base mode because that pauses time. There we go. Be right.
Hi everyone, I am so sorry for the delay. I just had a minor panic attack. It happens sometimes, it happens rarely. Not something I usually have to deal with too much, but just going through a little bit of personal stuff. Um, it is okay, I am okay, but it just was, it started to hit me, I felt it. And I was like, I'll take three minutes, and then I'm just sitting there. I don't know, I don't know how long I was gone. So, <laughs> I'm, I'm very sorry. Whew. Okay, let's play some video games. Um, <laughs> um, hey, we got Justin Long gifting us up to Zanester. <laughs> Thank you. Woo, appreciate that. And Justin Long is also gifting H Steiner Dancer 2001. Greatly appreciate you. Um, all righty, y'all. You know what I'm actually going to do? Because I keep, I keep mentally pulling myself away from things. I'm going to turn off, I'm going to turn off my phone and I'm just going to be with y'all for a little bit. Um, uh, uh, one more text. Um, yeah, I'm going to turn off my phone and just be with y'all for a while. And then we just get to exist. Um, so sorry about that, truly. But I also want to be straightforward with y'all because I talk a lot about mental health stuff here. And I feel like if I can't show the bad sometimes, why would I also feel like I've earned the ability to talk about it? You know what I mean? Like it just sometimes things are just they are what they are and you got to exist through them. Um, so here I am. Not perfect. We're all in this, too. Big Papa Smurf dropping 10 flipping gift subs. Thank you. Excuse me so very much. Big Papa Smurf is gifting to a uh, real forever lucky Lacardin, Linz Lou 2, Chris Mac Games, uh, Joker SOS, Ponderdat 2, Arrowfan, Carla VV, Chili Siley, and then Nervous Wreck. Thank you very much for doing that, Big Papa Smurf. Also, it's lovely to see you. And we also got Jasmine Kipapa um, gifting us up to Microsoft Office Student. Thank you very much for that. You know what's wonderful is uh, my friend Allison is in chat, and I do want to give a shout out to my friend Allison, who's known me for so long. Before I even started to realize anything was wrong, she shot me a text going like, yo, is everything good? And I'm like, yeah, no, no. And so <laughs> she was very sweet and, and talked me through some things while I was out and about. So thank you. Oh, goodness. I know I'm a little bit behind with tips. I will read them out soon as well. Um, but let's talk to this guy. Oh, is he, is he kicking a little guy? I mean, good on this kid for having literally no effect. It doesn't It just doesn't matter to him. <laughs> Okay, villain in every Disney movie in the 80s. My instructions were clear. Because, because they don't make sense. Killing each other like this is stupid. Mm -hmm. All for your silence. It seems your childish prattling is attracting an audience. <laughs> you fight again. This time, daggers only. And to the death as instructed. Who wants to challenge this sniveling Istar? I mean, I'll do it and then not kill him and then I'll fight you, dude. Um, leave the boy alone. You've made your point. Or, um, yeah, I'm gonna tell, I'm gonna tell him to leave him alone. Like, I know it kind of, <sighs> Lazelle might be mad at me because like culturally, this is just kind of what her people do. It's like, yeah, let's fight with kids and stuff, I guess. Um, again, thank you very much, Big Papa Smurf. I appreciate you. Um, Let's try to persuade. Leave the boy alone. And hopefully he's like, well, then you get to fight me. <laughs> and then we fight him. And we fight him. Are you a druid still? Nope. We switched to bard. I didn't like the way druid was playing at this point in the game. We'll probably go back at some point, but. Ah, son of a bastard. We had done so well previously. I knew we were waiting for a not great roll soon. Ah, there we go. Done. I suppose your inane spewings have distracted enough from my lesson. <clears throat> Go at the swords. I want them sharp enough to peel a geek's eyeball just by looking at them. I hope you prove as weak as this should we meet on the battlefield. Istic. Oh, I won't. I'm going to rob you blind and then also stab you for sure. Um, where's that guy? Oh, I'm sure we can make friends with the youth if in a minute, but... Um, I do for you sure want to steal from to this man's, um, better. undoubtedly going to steal from this man's, um, all right, don't mind me, uh, oh yeah, here's Wonderwall, and it's like, yeah, 
that you must learn how to battle it. I'm so sorry. Is that nine inch nails? I haven't heard them since my youth. My God. Wow. Crazy to me. Um, okay, so he's hidden. We're gonna also go full invisible here so I can invisible and then hide and then steal. We don't have much time to do this as it stands. He doesn't have anything? What do you mean he doesn't have anything? He's the leader of the Sneaky Boys. Why wouldn't he have anything? That's so stupid. I'll tell you what though, I am gonna steal all that stuff because no one's watching. Surgery kit? Free you tell me there's a free surgery kit? Don't mind if I do. Oh my God. You're talking your way out of this. You'll have to defend your actions the old fashioned way. What, cause you needed that surgery kit? Okay, well I don't, I'm not gonna battle 15 people. I'm just not gonna do it. Oops. Um, Asher Jude is gifting us up to disastrously too. Thank you very much, Asher Jude. I appreciate you. Very nice of you. Dude's talking a big game for a broke person. I'm saying, right? God, it's so rude. I guess the Starian will just bring him back up. Um, no, I don't, I don't want them to battle each other. That's very rude of you. I will talk to the youth though, because I think he um, is probably gonna be stoked that we didn't let him. Oh, that's the kind of person I gotta steal from. Look at that guy right there. That he, He's chilling. Hey, kid, hey, kiddo. Hey, youth. What up, teens? I love fighting with daggers. It's so personal. Okay, you're maybe you're all a little messed up. Oh, that's fine. Go out behind their eyes. <laughs> yeah, I think I want to rob all of you. What do I do? I failed the Savage. I failed Vlacketh herself. I'm going to double my training. No, triple. I won't waste this chance. So what's interesting is the teens very much have like anime vibes of like, I won't let them down. I'm just gonna keep training even harder. And all the adults are like, I like murder. And so I'm like, okay, this is in some capacity taught because they definitely tried to make it seem like, no, it's just how these creatures are. I don't think that's the case. Hey, we got a Mandy M. Davis dropping six, 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 sub, sub, sub. Thank you very much, Mandy M. Davis. Appreciate you. Oh, Mandy M. Davis is getting to a uh, glorious, uh, Georgia Zlama, there we go. Miss Marigold, Aqua Snorlax, Spyro, Quartini 19, and then Dragon Fuzz. Thank you so very much. Oh, I, he's like, stop that. Stop, knock it off. Stop that. Um, we got S Goldie 97 dropping 10 flipping dollars. Thank you very much, S Goldie. I appreciate you. Appreciate you. Um, let's have let's have our guy talk to them because clearly they're not gonna be distracted anymore. And he's like, stop it, knock Unless it off. Unless you want to be set up as target practice, I suggest you leave. It's on tippy toes. you across the floor by now. Why would you go in front of him? At least there's nothing I need. Giants? I'm sorry. Yeah, there is, because it's called a giant space hamster. Obviously, I'm stealing whatever that is. A grilled giant space hamster? What the hell, dude? That's among the weirder things I've seen. Um, so I guess there's not much to do in this room the way I see it. Maybe there's something over here. Um, so S. Goldie, thank you very much for the 10 flipping bucks. Let's see here. Oh, I appreciate your kind words. Um, yeah, a few people have brought that up today. You are, in fact, mistaken, but I do appreciate the kind sentiment to it. Um, that's very nice. Oh, what does the red floor mean, baby magic? That means that's, if you're hiding, that's where people are able to see you. Um, but yes, yeah, Goldie, that is very sweet of you and I appreciate it, but no, sadly not. However, if you do want to hear my voice in something, so you can check out My Happy Marriage, a really fun anime that I'm in. Um, but I, I appreciate it either way. The sentiment is appreciated. Don't you, don't you worry about that. But thank you. Um, okay, this child doesn't have a, a title in front of her name. It's just, it's just Gahan. Gahan, what are you up to? training you Aang, you should leave. teach me the elements um but thank you s goldie the, again the sentiment is nice and appreciated um all righty yeah i guess there's nothing in here except for that cool old rickety chair um any secret areas over here not that i can see wait a minute hold on this looks like it'd be oh ho oh that's the place i already got to as a secret okay good to know um 
That is a tiny person. Uh, I mean, that one's a child, so like, yes. Technically, you're for sure right, but like also, yeah. Uh, all right, Astarian, group back up with us. You're good, bud. Tell you what, though, when we start using that those those weapons, ooh, buddy, a small portrait of Locketh. Oh yeah, that was the guy that we met who's a real jerk. He's a real bruiser. I'll tell you that much right now. Um, all right. Uh, let's see here. We got Nadon. What's up, Nadon? Drop in five flipping gift subs. Thank you very much, Nadon. And Nadon is gifting to uh, thy immortal bard, uh, Willa Lala, Iva Vixen, Miss Marionette, and then Kekura. Thank you so much. Sakura Silence says, uh, wow, Twitch integration for this game is sick. It is. Yeah, if anyone is on, um, I think it's only on browser, maybe on phone too, but um, you are able to um, basically mouse over the screen and sort of see what my inventory is. Like you're able to actually like look at the things that my characters have equipped and all that stuff. Um, what's up, Rowie? Welcome on in. Thanks for saying hey. We are being good guys who also steal. And it they're not, they don't have to be, they can be, you can do both, and we are, and we really are. Um, and that's okay. Sometimes that's okay. Um, but thank you again, Nadon. I appreciate the sub bomb. What a duality. Hey, the duality of tiefling. Am I right? Am I right, haters? Also, y'all, I'm wearing a new shirt today. Not everything I own is black. Look at me go. This is m mostly kind of it. Yes, but also not. Man, I still don't edit my um, YouTube, like, VOD uploads, but I'm just now realizing, like, there's going to be 10 minutes of me leaving to have a panic attack. And it is. Thiefling. See, Rowie, that's, that's clever. You got you got the thing. Um, Obsidian Black dropping two flipping gift subs. Thank you very much, Obsidian Black. I appreciate you. Gifting to Cydacea, Cydacea, and then High Tops 8, or excuse me, High Tops 5. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. So here's, I'll, I'll finally tell y'all, I guess, what I was planning on doing with my hair, because I'm Radio still trying to figure out exactly if I'm going to do it or not. Oh, not worth it. Don't want to steal from that. Um, so basically, I want to dye my hair a specific color that is going to require a lot more processing than what my hair currently requires, right? Not the biggest deal. But what I really like, what I really like, oh, I'm going to steal a bunch of silver from that kid. That's for darn sure. I'll do that right now. Um, no question am I going to steal from that kid. Um, what I really want to do, though, um, it does require a lot of processing. So what my favorite thing about my hair is like the natural little flippies, the curls, the waves. Like y'all have been like, oh, you use the you've got the little prince curls. But that's just what happens. That's what happens when I let my hair do the natural thing and I let the oils, you know, be natural on my hair. But if I do the processing thing, if I do the processing thing, it, I, that goes away for a while. So I'm like, do I do that? Do I do that? Do I even want to do that? Thief's been emptying pockets around here. Well, I didn't do that. Uh, C Sizzle, thanks for the buff. Appreciate you. Before Thank things you. get out of hand. Um, try to talk your way out of the situation. Uh, persuasion is good. Deception's fine. Intimidation is worse. I'll do a persuasion. Do I look the sort to go reaching into other people's pockets? That's something a starian would say. He for sure would. Oh, and I did it wrong. I didn't do very well. Can I re-roll? Do I have any re-rolls left? I sure don't. That's about to be a problem. Your words have only made things worse. This will be settled here and now. What if it's settled nowhere and later? Wait a minute. I have an idea. They're temporarily hostile. I haven't tried this before. Non-lethal damage. And if I do that, then maybe they don't die. Have we thought of, have we maybe thought about that? If I do that, they don't die. Can I lose them? Okay, so they're knocked out. Yeah, they're knocked out. So then that's fine, right? I'm not fighting anyone else. Oh, more people are entering. Yeah, more people are not stoked that I did that. And in their defense yeah that was a child who i stole from and then i beat up because i stole from so it is you know it's yeah you know you know you know it's yeah you can leave them knocked out okay so phantom of the bopper i would leave them knocked out however i think once like two more people enter the fray eventually you just go hey maybe i maybe i don't maybe we don't anymore despite everything non-lethal stabbing Hey, I mean, look, if anyone can do it, it's Astarian. He's a handsome vampire. 
anyone regardless of sexuality seems to really be super down for Astarian. So, I mean, what if, if anyone can do it, he can. Uh, what's the deal with the portrait? This imposing portrait depicts a powerful Gith Yankee warrior, undeniably regal in her mien. Black in herself. She is both the sun that blinds us and the void that contains You're a us. Gale fan? Really, Rowie? In the corner of the Rowie. painting is a small symbol you can't quite place. It appears to be a wiener. I'm sorry, draw a new face onto the portrait? I will say, Lazel is probably going to kill us for doing this, uh, but I want to see it. Um, Rowie, like the boat, got it. You know what, I will say, not a whole lot of Gale fans out there, but those who are down for Gale, super down for Gale. Um, Allison, if you're still in chat, I'm excited to be, for you to meet our lady love, Karlak. She's wonderful. Fantastic. L look at Astarian right here. Astarian was interested, and we said, no, thank you, Astarian. Karlak is interested. So that's just sort of to paint a picture about what's waiting for you. And if we didn't need to have Lazelle in our party since she's like part of this group and can help us like talk to people, we she'd absolutely be here. I wanna, I wanna see if we can be sneaky little bastards. Can we do this? Oh, natural one! Oh, natural one! So for anyone who's new here, potentially Allison, um, I know you're here, I'm just saying it in case you didn't know this. You roll from a one to a 20 to see how well you do at a certain thing, right? And if you're specifically good at a thing, if you're specifically good at a thing, it'll give you a little boost. Like you're a really good talk. You get plus two when you're trying to persuade someone or something, symbol. things like that. But if you roll a one, automatic fail. Doesn't matter how many boosts you get. Doesn't matter at all. You're just, you're just boned. Uh, the sheet app. Uh, thank you very much for your tip. I appreciate you. That was very nice of you. Um, Big Mommy Panda also dropping five flippin' dollars. Thank you so much. Saying, uh, just watch Dragon Ball Super Superhero. I really liked it. Have you seen it? And did you like it? Um, I haven't seen that one. I saw the Broly movie in theaters, which was really cool. Um, but I haven't, uh, I didn't see Superhero. I do know a couple of voice actors in it. Very impressed by them. Yeah, Lazelle's gonna be real mad at us. I don't know why this is even an option, but let's give it a shot, I guess. Why do I look like that? You take a moment to fully appreciate your masterpiece. She certainly looks a little less regal now. Is Lazelle gonna stab me? A wretched display. Yeah, I she's not happy. She better than such juvenile antics. Ah! We look so happy! Vandalized this portrait. The portrait of the Gith Yankee warrior queen seems somewhat less so when adorned with your embellishments. Need There's to gonna be something secret, secret behind disease. there. If they pull it away, they're like, I need to get rid of this. Is there something secret behind there? What are you doing? Are you peeing on it? What's going on? Oh, that distracted them. Because they were standing right here, maybe guarding the brazier? What are, they, what are they doing? I'm just curious if there's something special over here that I'm supposed to know about. Maybe this is, maybe I'm not supposed to go in this door otherwise, and this is what I'm like giving me the opportunity to do. Oh, the infirmary. Oh, this is a whole thing. Okay, so we have a chest, a few practice swords, little kid, um, a mage hand, which I actually hate that a lot. Um, we have some bed rolls, um, some worder. Let's talk to these people, see what's up. I wonder if there's a way we can get them to shut the hell up forever. Captain Thurison will never let me join the patrol. Okay, fine. You don't have to talk to me. It's fine. They, they could have very much made that a shorter voice cue. I'm going to go ahead and say that right now. They could have been, ha ha, I did it. It's supposed to be like, ha ha, hoo ha. Like, ugh. After Mother Gif freed us from our illithid bonds, Mother Gif traversed the plains, discovering civilizations thriving among the stars. She conquered, colonized, she controlled. And all the while, Zethman questioned. He and his disciples struck with words. He claimed that because the Gith had been born anew, we did not know ourselves. That in building an empire, we proved ourselves no better than our former slavers. 
if retaliated with uh Reatliated? That was either a misspelling or what? Re retaliated with silver. So began the war for the one sky. Even Upon his inevitable defeat in the blasted plains, Zathaman's faithful retreated to Limbo. And there they remain, languishing in the lethargy they cra uh, craved. Free of inner fire. Free of porpoise. I hate that so much. I, d I would never strike a child. I would never strike a child. If this is a game, it might happen. They call themselves the Githzerai, those who spurn Mother Gith. We call them Shalaki, the unforgivable. Here's what here's what we're gonna do right now. No. We're going to open up this chest. <laughs> and we're gonna break the chest. That's what we're gonna do. Yeah, that I they should not have a Are you kidding me? It didn't say there was a problem to do that. It didn't say it was a problem to do any of that. What are you talking about? That none of that makes sense. I've got to reload. If it's a problem, it's supposed to be bright red when that happens. Perfect chance to cast silence. I know, I didn't have silence prepared. I literally thought about it. In the awesome the painting, limited. Symbol, dropping, oh, place. God dang it. We did it. We didn't get to do the, dang it. that's on me folks. Sorry for not saving at the right time. Um, dropping a tip as well. Thank you very much. Again, the thing you're referring to, uh, that is not me, but I do appreciate the kind words. Thank you so much, and I'm glad that you're enjoying the VODs. Thank you very much. You take a match, she said. Uh, the, yeah, I thought you were better than that. All right, great. And we go over here, we save, we're good to go. Honestly worth killing them all to shut them up. Uh, yeah, nah, I wouldn't say they deserve death, necessarily. I do wonder if there's anything I can do to really just, um, make them shut the hell up forever, though. Uh, let's see here. I, I hate this so much. Um, uh, I wonder if there's a non ma Is there a thing where I can get rid of magic? Is there a thing where I produce... I actually hate it so much. Why would they do that? Oh, good. You can literally tell them to stop. What's in the chest? It's making an awful noise. <laughs> Wouldn't you like to know? Maybe we do kill them. Whatever it is, I think you should stop. It's clearly not having a good time. Mm, no. Um. Yes, stop it. Let that thing out. Nah, -uh, we're having fun. Oh man, we need to switch to a different character because Shadowheart's talking and she's not the most intimidating, but we can try. Difficulty class 10 ain't bad. We can, uh, we're gonna get a nine. Oh, natural 20, not natural 20. All right, there we go. Fine. If you're going to be a big baby about it, a big ugly baby. Hey, you oh, guys yeah, should go explore the roof. It's, all yours. it's real fun on a windy day. All right, now we're gonna save again. Wow, I wish I wish I would have tried talking to them before because it would have been real easy to just make that whole screaming thing not happen. Sorry to everyone in the VODs. Sorry to everyone who had to hear that. Eh, that sucked. I will stop apologizing soon. I do still feel bad about leaving stream for like 15 minutes. That's gonna be weird for the VODs, but what you gonna do? What you gonna do? What you gonna do? I don't know. Um, Soul Galleon drop in six, 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 bucks, 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 and 60 cents. Thank you very much, Soul Galleon. I'm gonna post up over here and steal what I can before moving on to there. If I'm gonna, if I'm gonna be a sneaky guy, I only want to have to do it once. All right. Sorry, sneaky guy. Keep um, close. Uh, Soul Galleon, thank you very much. Uh, saying hi, Damien. This stream conveniently marks the end of my first week back at college. Congratulations. How you feeling? I know it's always a big undertaking, but in general, I'm hoping you had a good time. Um, it is such a treat after a chain of exhausting days. Thanks a ton for being so entertaining and providing a bit of motivation for me to get through the week. Well, I appreciate that. You know, I'll say this. College ain't easy. But if you are aware enough of your own patterns that you're like, yeah, I'm going to need some extra time. Yeah, I need to relax now. I've been busy. Yeah, I'm tired and I know it and my body knows it. Then I think you're probably doing okay. And I'm happy to hear that. Um, but I'm glad that I can be a little bit of a distraction for you in this difficult time. Hiding successful. Okay. 
Sneaky, sneaky success. Sneaky little success. All right, uh, lock picking time. Not an easy lock pick, but let's try. There we go. Yeah, it's easy for us. Damn. Look at us go. Now, why is it fight? Oh, wait, is that a, is it a mimic? Do I have to like fight it, fight it? Or is it enchanted? Oh, it might be a straight up mimic. Oh, it might be a mimic. That might be it. Or at least it's enchanted. Oh, they're not fighting you when you're opening it, says now showing. Interesting. I mean, let's give this a shot again. You know what I can also do is, um, oh, damn it, I forgot to add the bonus. Shoot. Um, I can also just add it to my pockets and put it away elsewhere. Add bonus. Let's try again. There we go. <laughs> oh, it's a Grimishka. Poor Grimishka. Oh, no. The poor Grimishka. Wait, don't fight the Grimishka. It's just a little doggo thing. It's hiding. Oh man, what do I do about the Grimishka though? Can I save it? I wonder. Yes, let's Hold on, examine the Grimishka. Um, um, I don't know how to help this thing. I do have talked to animals, but it do I don't think it's even an animal. No, it only makes me attack. What am I supposed to do about that? Oh, I guess it just distracts them, which means I can maybe open elegant chest over here. Nope, Youth Mirai is for sure doing her own thing. Well, I guess I get to steal it now. Oh, wait, no. I'm not supposed to steal it. Because it's in red. So I guess that was just supposed to be something that allowed me to distract them? I don't know. I really don't know what was up. Keep your distance, so Grimishkas are spooky little monsters, little magical little monster That's beasts um, that can certainly wreak a little bit of havoc. Um, especially if you cast magic anywhere near them, um, it can kind of be a whole situation. Um, all right. Does that work? Not for communal use, it oh, seems. Oh, come on. Best show some respect. Or some more cunning. Fine. Then I won't take any of those things. I don't even want those. I don't want those. The pouch is fine, right? Yeah, I'll take that. Um, all right. Everybody, back in we go. Clearly, there's nothing here. We're going to go down this other direction. Going to be sick. Ooh, actually, no, there's clearly something in there. This ardent. That they let outsiders into the crash sets a bad precedent. Very rude. What business have you in a crash dormitory, Istik? Move along. What business have you being so stinky and so rude? Did you ever think about that? I didn't actually ask you about Watch that. You see, that's the difference between you and me. I would never be that rude, and you are very rude. Have you ever thought about that? Got her. Hmm. All right. I imagine the gift sets on slabs of stone and nails, not beds. Oh, Historian, you're great. Um, fruit porridge. Well, obviously, we're stealing all that. Um, there's a shovel. A, why, is it, why is there a pickaxe next to their bed? Um, alcohol. Elegant chest. Yeah, we're going to steal from the chest and then we're going to get out of here. Thanks for your patience, y'all. Thanks for the six, 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 box, box, box. 66 cents, Chris Salmons. Or Chris Salmons. I still don't know which, but I thank you either way. A rosewood desk. Yo, I would, I would love a desk like that. Look at that desk right there. Look at that desk. How in God's name do you tip through the axe, says uh, Sheila Babe. I actually don't know, and I will say, I appreciate, any tip is, of course, appreciated and very nice. I will say, left up to my own devices, it's a lot easier for me to see not through Twitch. Um, because otherwise, it just stays in the chat. And if it stays in the chat, it ends up, like, going away pretty quickly. And there's a high chance for me to miss it. As opposed to the other part of the app where it's just like, oh, oh this appears like it would be a whole thing. Oh, this is a laboratory if I've ever seen it. Okay, now we're 
here. I'm really glad we continued exploring. Ash Tidies. I'm saying your name wrong on purpose. Gifting new hello, it's me. Thank you very much for that. I appreciate you. Um, alrighty. What was I in the middle of saying? Must not have been important. Uh huh. Um, alright. Uh, we've got Tears of Merc dropping five flipping dollars. Thank you very much, Tears of Merc. I appreciate you. Um, Tears of Merc says, uh, Hey, Damien, super psyched to catch a Twitch stream finally. Hope you get some sleep tonight. Also, can you tell me how to use the Discord? Thank you. I also hope I get some sleep tonight. <gasps> Mind Flayer specimens. Those are super important in this game. Oh, if you don't know this game well, don't worry. I'll just know that it's really important and really rare to find them, and I can't believe there's two? What's the catch? Oh, there's a person right there. Great. Okay, that does make sense. I was like, why why right there is that so easy? Um, okay, that's kind of a huge deal. Um, go ahead and close this door. Hmm. All right. I turn off all the lights. I can be a sneaky little lad. I can be a sneaky little lad over here. A parasite brimming with magic. Take it. Uh, I still don't trust that voice in our head, which is probably a pretty <sighs> apt Delicious. thing for me to say. Um, so Tears of Merc, uh, thank you very much for watching the stream, though, and I'm glad you caught one as well. So how to join the Discord, that is something that um, they will be able to help you out with in chat. One of the many mods with the swords next to the name. Hey, what's up, Faith? Hey, it's been a minute. Good to see you. How are you? I hope you're doing well. That's so funny. Good to see you. How? It might have been like a literal year since we've seen you. Welcome on in. Were you just streaming? We're being um, the good guys in this game while also simultaneously stealing so much. You can do both. I don't know if you know this, but you can do both. You can for sure do both. Of and we are... Gadgets stack towels don't mind if i do i don't even have to go to target anymore Pfft. sign me right the gosh dang heck up just trying to see if there's anything else for us to steal here borrow with style it's not stealing it's borrowing with style oh buzz lightyear you lunatic um a nautiloid tank yeah exactly we're good people who tend to have very sticky thingies I mean, y'all, look at look at the goodies that we got last time. I mean, look at this, look at this short sword. It's incredible. It gets you get extra critical hit stuff, you have advantage on attack rolls, you get extra weapon enchantment. It's just so good. It's just so good. I love it. It's so good. I just wanna I just wanna spend hours stealing this game. I deserve it as a little treat. It's just like a little treat. Um Alright, so here's what I need to do now. That's another parasite specimen. I do need to steal it. I need to have my main dude. No, never mind. Walk over here. Distract her to the right. Gustil Stornagos. Okay, her name is Gustil Stornagos. I would never be one to bully, but also, I think it's fine to steal from her. Her name is Gustil Stornagos. I mean, a parasite. Yeah. Take it. It might be useful. Yeah, we're making it dark wherever we what can so we get a better chance of sneaking. That's actually how this game works, if you can believe it. Vertical incision from pineal eye to end. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Um, all right, you're talking to Gus still. Keep Gus still distracted. Okay, so get from the barrel too. Yeah, bronze ingot. Why not? I am curious for anyone who's played this game, and I am asking for actual information. I know I say no backseat gaming. I'm actually asking. I keep finding silver ingots, bronze ingots, things like that. Can I actually use them for anything, or do I just do I just sell them? Is it just a sellable situation? I'm just curious. Do you have a question? Or are you just going to stun me? Just sell them. I got it. I am a child of gift, not discarded rat flesh. Am I not due your respect? Perhaps. Perhaps not. Let the istic with you speak. And I will decide what respect you're owed. Wow, very rude. Um, thanks. Again, I know I'm behind on tips. I apologize, y'all, but thank you for everything. Um, hey, we also got a few more new subscribers. Everybody, please give a sparsely clever coop. Welcome to Madison Lash, Stay Frosty Nina, uh, Shakira's Lying Thighs. That's very funny. It's your Game Boy JR. 
Park the Mandy, Big Mommy Panda 42, Mini Monster Dinosaur, and then Sunbringer. Thank you very much, y'all, for the subs. Appreciate that a lot. You know what? Lazelle tends to want to speak on my behalf because she is Gith Yankee, and she does get pretty... Is that... Oh my god, you're right. Shadow Heart's inside the column. She's like, don't mind me. Where's my hot character? Uh, uh, Allison, as soon as we go back to camp, we'll swap out. And there's a glitch where they ma are making her wear a helmet right now. Don't worry. We'll take off the helmet and then we'll talk to her. You're gonna you're gonna love it. She's gonna be great. Okay, so this is who we talked to about removing the the parasite baby. But let's check in with her first. What are you hoping to learn from dissecting that thing? Nothing your kind is capable of understanding. Hey, you're kind of an the ass. The question is, what brings an istic to my infirmary? My friend is infected and I'm looking for a way to help her or I'm simply keen to learn and you seem a favorable character. We're gonna go persuasion. We're gonna try this. Cause we can, unless we roll a nat one, we're literally fine. There we go. God, 36, good Lord. I have no desire to teach. Though your request is understandable. You, you have no desire to teach, but you got a PhD in history. Come on. It must be earned. Let's see what knowledge your labors have borne so far. Tell me, what is your understanding of ceramorphosis? Oh man, I uh, I gotta tell you, it's uh, uh, um, please explain it to me. The stupidity encouraged on this plane never. Oh yeah, Githyanki are not from this plane of existence. They're from another dimension. Listen it's a whole thing. Carefully, the tadpole is a parasite. Duh. Once it consumes enough of your brain matter. It instigates an excruciating transformation. Duh. Every fiber, every sinew of your being is torn apart and reformed into the repugnant flesh of a gay or illithid. That is ceramorphosis. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. But why male models? Um... I don't think I can trust her, so I'm gonna go ahead and save and then tell her I'm infected and see what happens with that. Um, all righty. Jadap, thank you very much again for the tip and the nice words. I appreciate you. Thank you very much. Um, Shadap, just to let you know, this is, this is going to sound bad. Please, I, I'm going to try my best to, like, make it not be bad because you have to understand where it's coming from. Um, I, in the, in the rules, I read out tips that are, uh, $3 and above. And the reason I do that is you've dropped a $1 tip, like, a few times in a row, which is very sweet. You don't have to do that at all. But the point is that we got to a point when I used to stream where people would just do like $1 tips, sort of like the whole stream. And then I would kind of just be reading the whole time. Um, so that's why I've just been like, hey, thank you for your tip and your nice words. Cause I'm still reading it out. Um, it's just, I'm not going into full detail as much cause I want to move on to the next thing. Um, and it's not about like, Ew, it's not enough money. It's literally just incentive because people would do like just a ton of tips right off the bat. And then it would be like, oh, there's a few paragraphs to go through. So like, not a problem. And I'm really sorry if that sounded rough or greedy. I swear that's not where it's coming from. I'm just letting you know. Um, but again, thank you very much for watching my happy marriage. That's very sweet. Um, God, that's such an awkward thing to say. I'm so sorry. Um, I haven't told you everything. I'm infected. Is that so? Okay, thank you for understanding. Yay. Presence, yet able to pretend otherwise. Fascinating. Oh, am I maybe you worth it to have in your lab now, maybe? Mm -hmm. To require my treatment. Though you are the most lucid by some margin. Either your tadpole is special, or you are. We must find out which. Go to the safest. I will ensure you are cured. And the safest is? The apparatus at the top of those stairs. Quickly now. Now, I'll say this. There, we found three different, like, extracted parasites in her office here. Um, so, you know, I don't want to assume necessarily, but it sure does seem like... I'm going to go and say, I don't trust her even a little bit. Um, and I kind of want to go explore those other things. So once again, I'm asking a question without too much backseat gaming, but like with a legit, I'm, I'm looking for an answer. I feel like if I do something with her right now, it's going to be a big deal. Will I still be able to go back and do all my other things that I wanted to? 
if I talk to her now? Cause I don't, I don't trust her even a little bit, really. Think about that. Um, I wonder if I can. Ooh. It is kind of important to do this, says Florian. Okay, got it. Well, then, steal that. Though. That's for sure. Back, buddy. <laughs> like a thief in the night, I'm gone. Silent as the grave. I didn't even need to, but I felt like it. No right. one stole no. me yet. Actually, hold on. If we if we do a short rest, I think we just get the. I think she forgets. Pocket operating nearby. I have no idea what you're talking about. Yeah, there we go. All right. All right, uh, Sturgis girl boss. Doesn't a short rest count? Aw, oh, man. Okay, this is a face. Cause... Aw, oh, man. I don't think she's going to forget about this, is she? The most silent jump of all time? Yeah, she's really good at it. Or, he is really good at it. Go on. My time is vital. Do not squander it. Oh, yeah, because my time is worthless for sure. That's how that works. The device is strange. Made of taut flesh and pockmarked metal. It waits for something. The Zathisk. Vlacket's purity distilled. My duty. My right. You're acting real normal there, my friend. I'm going to go ahead and investigate this device. This one we could fail. This could be a non-starter for us. Oh, we got a 20. I mean, we're doing okay lately. The device is an ingenious synthesis of illithid anatomy and metal alloys. It hums with psionic energy, hinting at paths into unknown minds and unseen claims. Hmm. Stand aside. My time has come. I mean, I'm not trying to stop you. No, we don't use her very much. I'm going to say I'm, I'm going first. <laughs> um many oh my gosh many rainbows is being an extremely generous mother goose thank you very much many rainbows dropping 50 flipping bucks thank you so 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 much many rainbows says uh sorry you had a bad mental health moment but no need to apologize to us we want you to do what you need to do take care of yourself use this tip to treat yourself to something nice that's really sweet many rainbows thank you very much generous mother goose. yeah I, you know what i think so for those of you that are just joining, I had like a minor panic attack earlier in stream and I had to like excuse myself for a little bit. And it, you know, I'm human, it just happens sometimes. I think I'm saying I'm sorry so much, not necessarily, if I'm really digging deep, I don't think it's for everybody else. I think it's probably for me. I think it's because I have no control over that situation that happened. And by saying I'm sorry, it's almost as though I did or as though I could have done something different. And I'm aware of that about myself, so I appreciate it. And I understand that saying I'm sorry doesn't do anything, and there also isn't really anything to apologize for. I think it's me trying to search for some kind of agency in the thing that I did. Um, so I appreciate it, but yeah. yeah. Uh, I'm going to say I'm going first, Lazelle. We don't use you in our party very much. I will not. I gave you my might. You will respect my charge. We also did break up with her. It's. We did break up with her. You walk the line between confident and arrogant. She respects us. I'm like, you'd still be looking for this place without me. Damn. Into the safest. I will follow. The device is strange. Made of taut I can't flesh she and pockmarked metal. It's so weird. It waits for something. That's the weird thing about Lazelle. Inferior you can never know. She's like, move out of my way, and you're Do like, shut up. And she's like, well, now I my love you. My experience in operating this machine is unparalleled. There is nothing on any plane stronger than a Zathis for curing unwanted afflictions. Is this like the ones on the ship at the beginning of the game, says Clary Leo? Um, I'm assuming it's going to be pretty... I mean... Oh, the way they described it, I think the assumption is that this has been adapted from that technology. 
Um, look to your companions for guidance. Will it hurt me? Lie down in the divide. I'm just gonna do it. I'm gonna be like, all right, bet. Kaneki love, thank you very much for the tip as well. I appreciate you. Thank you very much. She dapped, same to you. Thank you very much. And form sapped by the cold metal seat. The machine awakens. Oh, that looks like if anyone plays magic, that looks you like um, Pyrexians. At all times, the Zethus will do the rest. Layers of magic weave themselves tightly around your head. The tadpole squirms and contracts. It's trying to hide. You realize the device is hunting your parasite. But it's doing so blindly. This is so weird. Because I don't want it to go away yet. We're using its powers. Permanently damaged. Your skull Very curious. And bends under the pressure. And agony. Not great. Uh, follow the doctor's instructions and seek the tadpole. It's a saving throw on intelligence. All right. Let's uh, uh, flip in... Bless up. Okay, we did it. Through waves of torment, you search for the parasite's lurking presence. The device searches too. You sense its hunger, its craving. It wants the tadpole. Maybe something more. A relationship. The Not just tadpoles Think with of benefits. The tadpole. Think of it purged. This torment. You. You must persist. Hey, Kiana. Welcome on in. We'll get you caught up in a minute. Burrows deeper, sinking its teeth into your brain's exposed tissue. It sucks greedily. That's my you least favorite sentence for sure. Ebbing away, while the parasite only grows stronger. It's evolving. Uh oh. Stay calm, guide the device. I mean, I'm, I'm gonna quick save again. So, uh. Hey, boys. Also gain advantage on wisdom saving throws and death saving throws. Okay, so we would gain advantage. That's kind of a big deal. Let's use it. So, here's what's happening so far. Um, we found the, the Githyanki Kresh, which supposedly is gonna be able to help remove the parasite from our brain. Seeming like it's not doing that, seeming like it's only making us stronger. And since we have been also using that parasite to our benefit, like. Not maybe not the worst. Maybe not the worst thing. I don't know about that one. All right, we have advantage. Let's go. Woo! Twenty. We're good. Now it's the faculty. I mean, kind of. Yeah. Great success. We're good. That's it. You're almost there. The safe is never fails. I wonder if everyone else can do this too, or if just my character is going to be OP. Part of you tainted by its presence. You will be consumed. The tadpole quivers. A different magic is building within it. Oh, uh oh. This one is ancient. Okay. Rotten. Not great. No more. Bard saving throw. Harmonize with the magic. Okay. Normal saving throw. Uh, focus on it and feed it with your own, or just keep going. I'm gonna harmonize and amplify. That's a cool thing for them to say. Let's do that. Add bonus with hashtag bless. If this doesn't work, I'm going to reload because this is awesome so far and I'm kind of loving it. Oh, you bastard. No, please. I don't have another chance. Shoot. I'm going to try again because whatever happens, I really want to see. I want to see the coolest version of what happens. We got Nora Bug dropping five flipping bucks. Thank you very much, Nora Bug. I appreciate you. Different magic is building within it. This one is ancient. Uh, Norabug says, hi, Damien. I got some Rotten. serious pre-audition jitters. Okay, I'm sorry to hear that, but that is very normal. Um, but Sword AF and My Happy Marriage never failed to make me feel better. That makes me happy. Hope you have a few things that always make you feel better, too. Also, thanks for inspiring me to join my first D&D campaign. That's so cool! That's been one of my favorite things about playing D&D in a public setting is, like, letting people... You know, have an opportunity to see it. Son of a bastard. Uh, and be like, oh, this could be fun. Oh, this would be something I enjoy. I, I truly love that. Um, and good luck with the audition. You know what? Here's the thing. Auditions are great. 
it's normal to be nervous. You do as much work as you can beforehand, and then you sort of let it go, because that's all you can do, because otherwise you're going to go a little bit nuts. But also, guess what? Even though it matters to you, and even though I really want it to work out for you, if this one doesn't work out, there's more. At the end of the day, there's more. But here's what I always say for audition advice, right? The people who are watching you audition, you have the same goal as they do. Because the best thing that can happen to them during their day of having to watch person after person walk through that door is that you come in and, oh my God, finally you're here. You're exactly right. You're perfect. You read it exactly how we need it. Or we can adjust you with notes. Or you're just the look we needed. Or you're just as good at dancing or it's whatever. They want you to be great. So no one's rooting against you. If it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. But you've all got the same goal. So son of a bastard. These dice don't though. These dice don't have the same goal. Boo, 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 boo. Oh, man. Quivers. <sighs> yeah, the thing quivers. Look at it go. It's all spooky. Let's go. There we go. Hey, first try. Rotten. No. You pour yourself into the tadpole's putrid magic. Stinky, stinky brain His magic. Strength multiplied. It unleashes on the machine. The two forces fuse face. violently together. Your brain, their conduit. Your body and mind drift apart. We gotta get the. We gotta get the. You are um, being undone. Oh. Enough. Whoa! Fast and furious. Oh, Lazel's gonna be so sad. She's like, oh, it was my turn next. Back into focus. Your mind is intact. Unfamiliar. Inside it, the tadpole lives on, and you feel different. Oh no! I hope, like, actually, gameplay-wise, our character is still kind of the same. No! Just made this. What have you done? Dog, I didn't do anything. My life's work gone. It blew up. You and put me in the chair, and it blew up. And so does your parasite. Her voice cuts with a fanatical edge. An obsession bordering on mania. Ooh. If there's a chance the parasite lives, she wants it. You're gonna try to kill us? Okay, so either I can straight up deceive her and be like, nope, it's dead, or I can perform as a bard and, and do my best to be like, huh, what? Where am I? You there, boy, what is it? And they're like, it's Christmas, sir. And it's like, Christmas Day, go get the fattest goose in the window. That's how you act right there. So let's uh, let's try this. Um, so theoretically we could do fine if we don't roll like a one to a three. Okay, we're good. Why, sir, it's Baldur's Day. I love that. Hmm. The Zethus must have damaged you when it was destroyed. I think you're right. Frustrating. I should have liked to have found out what happened. But I have no use for gibbering idiots. Leave me. Yeah, you're right. I forgot. It's Christmas. No! Oh. I followed the protocol! I must be cleansed! Oh yeah, Lazel's not super stoked about Incredible. that. Incredible. Oh, your parasite is even stronger now. For anyone who's a little confused, again, we were infected by these parasites. It was a big deal. We got to get them out of our brain. But there is... We were visited by a dream spirit that was like, Hey, you could actually do your best to use it and become stronger. And we're like, eh, we don't know if that's the move or not. I don't know, Buster Brown. But um, we are using it a little bit because apparently you can do that without having too many terrible ramifications right off the bat. And so that's why I was like, let's make it stronger. And we got this dream voice that's like, oh, I didn't know. Um, we did steal a key from um, Gus Gus Stormgloss. Uh, and I'm curious where that leads to, to be honest. Um, it did say infirmary key, but maybe just the door would be locked otherwise. I don't know. Um, okay, well, let's talk to Lazel because she's not going to be happy here. might have killed you mm. i felt your torment someone must have tampered with it an aberrance i can't begin to comprehend you could have tampered with the device there must be a sharlak in this crash oh Trent, okay so remember we read that book and there was like there's a different kind of get yankee and they don't and like these kind histories that's what she's saying she's like there must be one of them guys fewer still would be so brazen now hurry we must go to the chai and inform him of the Zathisk's tampering. Yes, we must drink some chai and talk to the zipper. 
Um, all right, well, that that's a shame uh, that that happened. Smoke rises like hot breath, but whatever semblance of life once powered the Zaethisk is gone. Go on. All right. Well, I guess before I leave, does anyone know where there would be a specific place to use the key that we pickpocketed from her? Or picked from her pockets is, I guess, the proper way to say that? I just don't want to have to come back and be like, oh, there was a little spot around there. Because I'm not seeing anything locked. How did it change you? Well, let's see. I mean, that's a great question. Let's go look at our, um, the, oh, it's just, I'm already in the infirmary. Okay, so it could have been locked otherwise. Um, yeah, so let's take a look at the parasite brain thing. Oh, so it gave us three boosts to this. Oh, this is wild. All right, so these are all random little boosts that we can get. Hey, there's a lot of people in chat right now. What's up, everybody? Good to see you. Um, so these are all kind of big deal things that we can unlock. Um, Elithid Persuasion. So it is probably a good idea to figure out which path we want to take. We've taken... We've taken this one, Favorable Beginnings. We've taken Luck of the Far Realms. This one's locked. A couple of these aren't particularly beneficial, it seems. And I'm glad that we didn't do this for Lazel because I think we're going to benefit from it a lot more. Transfuse Health. We can sacrifice health to heal other people. This one also helps us heal people. This one... Gives us a shield. This one... Okay, so this one might be the best one for us. Concentrated Blast. If we're concentrating on a spell, which we do pretty often, um, we get to do some damage. And if they were concentrating on a spell, we get to steal health from them. Um, lots of psychic damage thingies. Creatures suffering from falling damage because of your actions take extra psychic damage. Charge forward, pushing away all creatures. We get to push them off a cliff too. Uh, channel the dark allure of the tadpole to charm an enemy that attacks you. We, we've already learned that one. And then ability drain. Finally, once per roll, when you make an attack, it reduces that target's ability by one. For melee weapons, it's usually strength. I mean, that's pretty good too. See, I wish we could do this one without having to learn psionic overload because this one damages us as we damage other people. It just does equal damage between us and them. So like, I just, I guess, I guess probably concentrated blast for tunnel. We're going to probably have enough. Oh, wait, you can toggle it off, says Dichotic? Oh, then why wouldn't I do that? Because Ability Drain and Stage Fright both seem kind of incredible. Ability Drain, you just do. Yeah, I might I might, I might do that. <sighs> Gross, yucky, stinky. Stage Fright, as they have disadvantage and they take damage each time they move. Though I do actually have to use an attack for that. Um, and then maybe Concentrated Blast, too. You can do it once per turn. I mean, that's all really great. I'm kind of happy to do this. Yeah, we're, we are really going full tilt. Boogie woogie on all these illithid powers. And I don't mind making one really strong character. So that's what we got out of that. Wait, no. Hold on. Those were the three things that we literally just found. Right? Or no. No, Astarian stole the rest of these. I'm confused. We found three little brain wormy guys. We found three brain wormy guys. Wish to live in more interesting times. And I'm starting to think that that's what we just used. So what's the other? What did we boost? Cool, yeah, be, um, I'd rather not uh, have theories commented on because it might be right. You got something else for passing the machine test, but it isn't evident. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Okay, thank you. Well, whatever. We did the things. It's fine. Everything's fine. All right, Astarian group back up with us, and we are Audi, baby. Ah, this is so exciting. We got so many good things to do. Goodbye, everyone. We don't need to hang out with you anymore. We don't like your general vibe. Does anyone have good weapons? Oh, Astarian, you don't need to be hiding. Yeah, we're good. Um, I do hate that they're all just sort of looking at me here. All right, is that guy still working on that painting? Oh, he really is, huh? I don't want to talk to him to see what's up. Hey, youth Viskir. No, no, no. Oh, the Inquisitor will have our necks for this. I wonder if there's a... Is there anything behind this? Is that the point? Because it does kind of look like it. No. Oh, yeah. I mean, it really does. I wonder if, like, I burn it away, there could be something. Or, like, can I move it? 
can't move it. That's fine. Uh, all right, whatever. Time for me to go back to the place where I should have gone originally. It's time for me to go back to the place that I should have gone originally. Um, we could also do a long rest. Tell you what, Allison, if you end up needing to go to bed, I will just send you a picture of our waifu. Who we love very much. I will say, uh, if you're still here, the cool thing about her is, you know, in this game, you can very much, um, you're here, I'm still waiting. Okay, you know what? Question for audience, is it going to screw us up if we do a long rest right now? Is that a bad thing for us? Is that bad? Is that a bad thing for us to do? I'm curious. Can I do that? Nah, nah, it's not bad. All right, you know what? Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do a long rest real quick, specifically only because I want Allison. Oh, you can't end a day while a party member is in a danger zone. Who's in danger? Are all of us in danger? Because we're not supposed to be in the captain's quarters? Oh, because we stole from the captain. Yeah, they don't love us there. That's fine. Um, all right. Allison, you're going to see in a minute. Hold on. Let me uh, say goodbye to Lazelle real quick. Um, oh, first we got to talk to her. I'll get the instructors always so brutal. My own Savage would never have threatened a youngling. Oh, a so her trainer would have never threatened energy. a kid. The pupils themselves called the weak from their ranks. That's also very dark. I myself felt four of my own classmates once Kalir had a hundred times circled Tyrell. For what reason? Rage, entertainment? Survival. My people have okay. no use for cowards. So she's like Zabuza from Naruto. You all know that anime. Every was either too weak to withstand the lessons, or was cocky enough to pick a fight they could never win. Yeah, they I was underestimated me. So they paid the price. The Githyanki are only as powerful as their weakest warrior. Jaquith de Venzir, the termination of the frail, strengthens us. Yeah, so, I mean, we definitely had, like, a good connection with her right off the bat. I can, I definitely think we made the right choice by deciding to not continue with her romantically. It's probably the move. Um, all right, so now let's talk to Karlak. Okay, so this is a big deal for me, y'all. Allison's one of my best friends and has been for a very long time. We're introducing her to my waifu. It's kind of a big deal. <gasps> and she's got a little arrow over her head, which means something important to talk about. What's up, Karlak? How are you? Oh, she's not looking too hot. Hey, soldier, I... <sighs> well, I'm not feeling so good. You caught her at a bad time, Allison. <sighs> My engine... It's getting worse. <sighs> Feels like it's gonna burst out of my chest. Oh, no. <sighs> we need to catch up with Damon. See if he's thought of a way to fix this thing. Oh, no. If it can be fixed. Do we know where Damon is right now? And you don't have to answer to me if you know. I'm just saying, do we know with the information I have right now where Damon is? Also, for anyone who doesn't know, Carlac, her whole thing is she's a tiefling like us. We're half fiends, hence the, you know, horns there. Um, but she was bound in servitude. Okay, we don't know where he is. Okay, thank you. She was bound in servitude to a literal devil for 10 years and was forced to fight for them, not wanting to. The devil replaced her heart with an infernal engine, this demon engine and she doesn't want that and it makes her too hot to touch so our romance has actually been extremely um wholesome um she she has been very sweet with us and we're literally like we like each other and the whole thing is like the most we can do is like she gave us a kiss on the forehead once and it still burned us um so it's literally just like we're just talking about like man one day i can't wait to kiss you like it's very sweet very like i guess almost like youthful in a way um don't worry we'll find him I'm sure we will. But in case we don't, like, a bit of advice. Like don't talk like that. You leave your left flank wide open. If I'm ever not around to cover it, you may find yourself on the wrong side of a goblin spear one of these days. And that's the other thing about Carlac. She is um she's really strong. She's a barbarian and she can just straight up lay down the law like it's nothing. Like it's nothing. Um Gods, so much for our cure. That thing almost popped you like a watermelon. The search continues and continues. Yeah, she's just very sweet, and we just want to heal her. Um, Karlak, I'd love to be able to touch you properly. Where would you start? I'd kiss you for as long as you'd let me. All night, and then some. Gods, 
I better find a way to call me off soon. I'm not sure how much more of this I can take. <laughs> All right, quick poll in the chat. Who's down bad? I'm kidding. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. I saw that moment where we were all just like, aww. Aww. <laughs> oh, we get to talk to Scratch, too. And the owl bear cub. Yeah, I just want to see what they're up to. Hope you're keeping well, friend. We little scratch. Now you must do a poll. No, I don't think I will, Curvito. I don't think I'm actually going to do that in my chat. But thank you, though. <laughs> I, don't, I think that'd be wildly inappropriate. It's funny as a one-off joke. I'm not actually going to be like, hi, everyone in chat. Now let's talk to the owl bear. I love you very much and I want to be your best friend. You like it here, huh? Nice here. The caves smell like rotting meat. Goblin cat smells like goblins. So when I went to go see the D&D movie, um, is that a dog owl? It's an owl bear, um, Allison. They're very cute, but they're actually like extremely vicious. Uh, this one's mama died. They're, they're sort of like bears. They're more bear than owl. Um, this one's mama died and it ended up finding our way its way to our camp um they will shred things to bits but we were able to make sort of friends with it and we have a spell that allows us to talk to animals um so it's a sweet little thing but they they are known for like like this one's brother died because its mom just ate it because that's just what they do like they're vicious terrible creatures but this one's cute so anyway when i went to the DD premiere movie um they had uh different plushies on each seats uh that you could take home with you and there was the displacer beast and then there was an owl bear and i ended up getting the owl bear and i didn't know much about them at first and i was like oh, i'm gonna swap this out with a displacer beast real quick got it done smart and now that i played this game i'm like my god i want an owl bear um pet the cub <laughs> more <laughs> Mm, so it's just sweet little bean. It, re it just reminds me of my cat Zelda. Like, there's nothing behind the eyes. It's just a dumb little baby, and I love her very much. Man, eventually we're going to swap out this weapon, which we found so long ago and no longer need. <sighs> Man, the D&D premiere I went to didn't have plushies WTF. Aw, oh, Keanu, what? really? I'm sorry to hear that. Well, I got a displacer beast for you. <laughs> um... The lady of sorrows guide us. Did you want something? You know, also what I'm gonna say about um the characters in general in this game, what I really love is how like varied they've made everything. Like, yes, Astarian is the one that like a lot of people tend to like. Again, regardless of your gender preference, Astarian is just like smooth, suave, you know, vampire guy. Like, I get it. Obviously, I get it. But in general, there is not just like one person where it's like, yeah, that's the one for everyone. You know, they didn't make like the quote unquote, like typically hot character, you know, like, for example, like Shadowheart is beautiful, very difficult backstory with a lot of serious twists and turns. And on top of that, I think she's supposed to be like 40. I think she's like 40, which again, not a bad thing at all it's just unusual to find in a game like this when they're like this is your love interest it's rare that they're like also oh, she's 40 and i'm like that's kind of awesome like it just it feels inclusive in a lot of ways and i also you know what i think will is probably the most traditional heartthrob but he also like he's missing an eye so it's representation for people who you know don't have all the necessary like the parts that they necessarily could and also, without spoiling things, something happens to him that changes his vibe also physically pretty quickly. So, like, it's just a very... I don't know the best way to put it, but do you know what I mean, y'all? Are you sort of picking up what I'm putting down here? Dead devil proximity. Range attacks are made, are, are made as melee attacks when they are adjacent to a hostile creature. It's, it's so good. It's so good. All of these. My God. Uh, Baby Magic says it's nice. It is. It really is nice. You know, I think inclusivity in games is an extremely important thing. And I know I don't think any game is ever going to get everything right all the time. But when you see people check a lot of boxes in general, you're like, was an escape narrow okay, enough. like, you, okay, you did it. You, 
You're at least getting there. You're doing the best you can. You did it enough. All right, let's get Lazo back in the party, and then we are out of here. Gone. I'd like you to join me. It is done. It is done. I have joined you for joining. So I have been, like, really sprucing up this character in terms of, like, those special brain parasites. The starter brain parasite, where, like, you get the extra, like, guaranteed luck once a day. I don't want to get that for everybody. You know what I mean? All right. We got Debs McLeod dropping six, 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 bucks, 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 and 34 cents. Thank you very much, Debs. Uh, yes, Gale is in our camp, uh, Balot, Balotilt, Balotilt. I also wonder when I can find better, um, instruments, because this is the same one we got from the spider at, like, the very beginning of the game. God, we've been playing a lot of this game, huh? Um, but yeah, Gale, Gale is in camp. He's right there. Gale, my beloved, says Kiwi. Again, we said that earlier. It's like, not everybody likes Gale. The people who like Gale, they really like Gale. All right, leaving camp. Well, Dylan Lonzo says, yeah, unfortunately, checking boxes for every group would make more time than developers usually have for a game. I don't know if I necessarily agree with that. I think it's more about normalizing people from all different walks of life, people from all different backgrounds, people of all different, like, just styles of person. And if that's naturally something you're building in, then it probably will naturally end up part of your story. That being said, if you're trying to be like, oh, I've hit every box, then you're also just not even doing it for the right reasons, you know what I mean? Um, but like the point is like including people in your game because there are a lot of different types of people in the world. It's, it's more about that for me. Um, but I also could be wrong. Um, now I want to do this thing. Now I'm excited about this here. Um, I'm going to do a proper full save before we get into almost definitely combat. Because that's, I mean, of course it's going to be. Everyone should have a chance to see themselves in media. Yeah, you know, here's a good example, example Sleepy Little Rider. Um, so a big one that happened recently is um, Magic the Gathering. Uh, the card game that is made by Wizards of the Coast, which I love. I love exactly bag out alley it's less about checking all the boxes it's more about making the main players more diverse 100 percent. and also not in just a way that it's like look we did it but it's like well no how does this affect the story how does this affect someone's experience so one really big one that i saw recently that like it was beautiful to watch because it was all over tiktok magic the gathering did a collaboration with lord of the rings and printed a lot of cards that were lord of the rings right so a lot of the characters that you might know um you know, traditionally from the movies or even the animated film had that artwork, right? Frodo in some artwork has the Ralph Bakshi artwork. Um, and he's the person that um, animated the original like Hobbit film, right? But then you have Aragorn and Elowen, I believe. It was Aragorn and Elowen wed. It was a card where it showed Aragorn at his wedding. And Aragorn was portrayed as being black. And why not? It's literally a book i don't think it ever says like oh and by the way just so you guys know this character's not black like it's just a choice that's like yeah he could be and obviously a bunch of an arwin thank you very much sorry about that arrogant and uh arwin um and so like there were of course people on tiktok that were like no it's not but more powerful than the um i saw so many people of color literally crying on tiktok just being like i have never seen myself in medium before i love fantasy so much i love this character and he, he looks like me. and it was these just like adults just like just crying from emotion and i'm like that's so much more important than the thing just doesn't say that in the book and also like if it, even if it did say it in the book it's like the book is 100 years old and written by a british guy what do you think it said what do you think he thought like let's we don't have to stay true to stuff all the time if it's if it's gonna change someone's life to not be, you know? Oh, I guess this is where we're actually supposed to go. Um, okay. So anyway, Debs McLeod uh, says, no apology is needed if we ever need to take a moment for ourselves. Thank you. Yeah, you know, panic attacks suck, but it happened, it happened, it happened. Um, things are leveling out with the closing of the summer seas. Oh, excuse me, a seminacho. Uh, the whole coop is sending invisible, but hopefully effective well-being vibes. The, uh, we appreciate you. Well, thank you, Debs. Yeah, I mean, y'all made me feel very safe and comfortable, and I'm definitely feeling way better. It was nice to turn off my phone and just 
let myself exist in this space where I can turn off the brain and the phone and everything for a minute. I really do appreciate you. Um, so thank you very, very much. I really do appreciate it a lot. And you know what? I did have a friend who like, you know, I've known him for a long time and he, he always has a good heart, but you know, you sometimes have to educate your friends when they are, when they don't. Hello. When they don't have um, as diverse of a perspective as they could have if they haven't been exposed to different ideas. So, you know, I did, you know, have a conversation with him about that. And he was like, yeah, I don't have a problem with it. But, you know, it isn't really true to what the book was about before. And I was like, all right, well, let's unpack that. Why is that important? What was that person's vision? Did that person have any kind of access to different kind of people in their own life? Or what? What? Basically, what? <laughs> Why? Why is it super important to stick to the hundred-year-old British man's vibes? And then he was just sort of like, oh, yeah. And I was like, all right, now apply that to more things. And he was like, okay. And I was like, yep, good. You know, when you can, it's your job to educate your friends as, be as best as you're able. Oh, cool gloves. I want them. Um, hiding successful. I should hope so. Cool. Any hoozle. Um, here's Wonderwall. All's well that ends. Not as well bad as it could have. All right. Now we're back to the game. There's... Ooh, report on Moonrise Towers. Intelligence concerning the weapon. I wish there was a way to just read... Okay, we can read it without getting in trouble. Um, one word in the common tongue leaks, leaps out repeatedly. Your own name. They know we have the weapon. Oh, no. see if this one also has anything for us um report on the moonrise towers can i not read it who snitched i mean get yankee also kind of have like psychic powers so i'm just like moonrise towers is the place the cultists are there so everyone's sort of converging on that same place that we're trying to go to as well it's kind of a big is it the swagger dagger they're talking about no it's that weird d20 looking thing that we found at the beginning of the game that popped into our inventory, you know? Also, confiscate a book. I just want to kind of read it if I'm able to. I didn't realize I could read things without stealing them. The pages of the book have been ripped out. Uh, please note that any literature concerning the below topics is strictly prohibited. If it is found in your possession, it will be confiscated. If you are found to be reading it, you will answer to Kithrak Therizin herself. Orpheus, Infernal Metals, Magic of the Undead. Okay, so the second two we definitely know about. Um, we use the infernal metals to help with Carlax like chest engine thing. And I forget what the second one was already because ADHD meds are wearing off. Um, all right. Well, thank you, Debs, for the sweet words. Um, Shirai Wargaz, elegant chest. Let's, let's get a lay of the land here first. Nothing over here. This looks like a battlefield. This looks like something that I'm gonna have to fight. Yeah, because there's fire right here. I'd probably have to drop that onto someone. If I walk over here, I'm going to be surrounded by these five people. Excuse me. I am very curious here. More elegant chess. Opulent chess. This looks like a reward room after a fight. I know game design. I know game design. And we're the skin burster? Yeah, don't mind if I'm not flipping do. Give me one second here for that. Um, we're gonna go ahead and have our little steely guy go be go be a little steely guy over there Cuz damn cuz whatever that is I would like it. Please and thank you. Please and thank you um Yeah, don't mind me stealing literally everything in this room Couldn't be me couldn't be me stealing everything in this room. I'm sorry. What is? What is the skin burster? Horrible name, by the way. Hate that, to be frank. Um, oh, it's not even good. That's not even particularly great. Um, okay. Well, that's fine. We can deposit a bunch of stuff here real quick anyway. Elixir of Heroism. Um, more keys. Bronze stuff. Get Yankee Crossbow. Okay. So that Get Yankee Crossbow actually is pretty good from the looks of it. Let's see if anyone can use it properly. Who uses a heavy crossbow? Light crossbow, regular crossbow, heavy crossbow. Um, 
And she's gift Yankee. She should be using it anyway. Where did it go? Where was that? Five to fourteen. All right. So let's see. Lazel, how you feeling? Tell me how you feel. Three to twelve. Yep. It's better to do this one. There you go. The crossbow of your people. Um. Let's steal more things. Oh, a literal finger. I'd wear that ring though. That's a good ring. God, wouldn't it suck if like if we made friends with these people and then they're like, ah, oh, as a sign of our friendship, let us bring you to our stores of goodies. Whatever you like. Oh, you guys are just the worst kinds of people. I'm just kidding. That's exactly what I did in my own DD campaign. Watch Sword AF on Smosh every Wednesday. On a Wednesday. Um Ooh, necklace of aug elemental augmentation. When one of your cantrips deals any of those types of damage, you're, you get to add your, you get to add to the damage dealt? <laughs> okay, that's pretty sick. Um, nice, that's pretty awesome. I like that a lot. Then these cups are just kind of whatever. Um, okay. Well, now he's just got to sort of sneak back in a, a safe situation. I wonder if I can kind of make it up here a little bit. Here. I can tell you what, I can make it over here. Look at our sneaky little jump boy. Jump in, jump in, jump in. Starion's up to something. Woo. Let's all forget I did that just now. That that if we could, that'd be cool. Um, alright. Alright. So we're gonna quick save. We're gonna bring everyone back in. I must be the slowest player of this game of all time, and I I really I don't care. I'm just well, having a great inhale. time. Still breathing, despite everything. Still you, despite everything. Um, all right. I'm assuming it's battle time again. I want Estarion to ungroup in case we have to steal, because it might be cool to do. Demo Nacho drop in six, six, six. Box, box, box. Thank you very much, Demo Nacho. Has Damien played Diablo? Uh, KJ Kiana, I loved Diablo back as a, back in the day as a kid. It was like the first game that was ever like mine, mine. So it will always have an important place in my heart. I have a little bit of it, and I don't know how I would feel if I were ever given the opportunity to be in one as a voice actor. That's something I would have to work through with myself. But ooh, special statue stuff. As of now, given their recent oh I don't know. 20 plus years of how they've treated employees, specifically women and femme presenting people. I have a bit of a hard time supporting it right now. And I know one game is a drop in the bucket, but especially the fact that I'm like a streamer, I just, I can't, I can't bring myself to play the new one. Maybe one day, maybe if they get their act together, maybe if they have an incredible PR campaign and they're like, look, we fixed literally everything. I'll be like, all right. But like for right now, I'm just like, I, I can't, I can't, man. My Arden spoke of one of our kin that escaped a crashing geek slave vessel. That's the beginning of the game. Vlacketh's justice in flesh. You have accomplished much, child. I am pleased to finally meet you. I heard there is so much goblin blood on your hands that it soaks their children's nightmares. We did take down an entire goblin camp business. that we maybe didn't have to do that. I suspect you plucked something precious from the geek ship. Something that belongs to us. Um, the weapon. Give it to me. Don't do it. The weapon is how I protect you. Again, that's our dream voice that we don't know if we can do trust it. or not yet. Do not disobey the Inquisitor. Oh, Lazel, we can't. We're not going to do that. We're, we're not going to do that. How about. Again, we can't switch to a Starion for thefts. Um, alrighty. So Demo Nacho, thank you again for the 666 box, box, box. Appreciate you saying hola, Damien. Things are leveling out with the closing of the summer season. Trying to also deal with a burnout while prepping for my trip. Hope things feel better soon. Demo Nacho, can I get you a little bit of an unsolicited advice? I know being on a trip is a great way to like get rid of burnout for yourself and relax and give yourself some recharge time. But if you're so stressed leading up to a trip, you might sort of, because this happens for me, you might end up missing out on your first couple days of the trip mentally because you're still trying to like collect yourself. If you can try to just give yourself a day of rest before your trip. I know easier said than done. I know you're working hard. I know you're slammed for the summer and I, I wish you well with all of it. I promise I'm not coming at it from a place of ignorance being like, yeah, you can just relax, but you know, try to give yourself time to chill first. Um, 
Yeah, once again, I'm going to bring up the Mind Flayer thing. Shouldn't you be more concerned with the Mind Flayer invasion? What makes you think we are not? We are talking about the grand design, the restoration of the Illithid Empire. The bad there guy. is nothing of greater importance. But the weapon is the solution. I have heard it directly from Queen Vlakith herself. Oh, the it person they worship still exists? Or is he just doing the thing that, like, American politicians do and they were like, I was talking over. to the Lord lately. And you're like, really? And they're like, yeah, they said that they want less taxes on the rich. And you're like, oh, the Lord said that. All right. Um, can I switch to a starion yet? Please, just for thieving. I want to thieve. I want to steal from him. Um, what is the grand design? The grand design is what all geek seek. Is their the restoration work for Illithids, of the Illithid squid guys. Empire, which spanned the entirety of the multiverse. For centuries, their elder brains sought to bring back their dominion. Every plot they hatched, we stopped. But now they are close to succeeding. Mm. Never before could they pause Ceremorphosis. Never before could they let the infection spread undetected. You saw the thralls gathered on the Geek ship. Imagine that everywhere. Wants, needs, choice. All would cease to be. Everything rendered unto the Geek. So, the weapon. Please. <laughs> How? I'd never Don't give it to him. Do it. Um, so Bad Wolf is asking, so he wants Illithid? So Illithid are kind of the enemies of everything they kind of want to take over everything so either either he wants to use this weapon against them or keep it from them i'm not personally sure yet so i don't want any spoilers obviously um but in some capacity this might be one of those situations where it's like you kind of have to choose your own choice in a way we're like if we're talking about like a literal nuke, it'd be like, no, give it to us. We're the US, we're fine with it. It's like, no, give it to us. We're Russia, we're fine with it. Like, give it to us. We're, there's something, I'm not gonna keep naming places, but it's just literally like, oh, maybe no one should have any of these. I don't know. Um, I'm gonna say I won't let you, but wait a minute. If I remember correctly, the artifact jumps back into our inventory every time we try to lose it. My fear is that if I produce the artifact, Shadow Art is going to be pissed at me because it came from her originally. But if I don't give it to him, we're going to really have a hard time with these guys. And then Lazelle is going to be pissed too. I'm just kind of curious. I might have to save scum this because I just don't know how things are going to work. I'm going to go ahead and say, I'm going to produce the artifact and see what happens. Lazelle approves, but Shadow Art doesn't have a problem. So it is found. Flakith Gorg Shkathzai. My queen. Shkathzai. You are permitted to look upon me. You are invited to kneel. The deathless queen has spoken. You will obey. Anytime in a game like this where they introduce like gods and magic and all that stuff and then someone starts doing some god stuff, I'm like, well, I guess you're right. Like, there's so many things where it's like, well, I believe this. Well, I believe this. And in a game, if someone pops up like, I have never died and I am flying and I am able to do this. I'm like, I think they at least have something going on. Um, oh, you can trade? I'm sorry. I can buy a sausage from the Lord. I'll probably buy a sausage from her. Yeah. I'll be like, all right, you give me that sausage. I'm going to give you. Oh, what do I want to trade you? I'll trade you one shovel. There we go. The trader will be pleased with that. Oh, that's very nice. Cool. Let's, uh, let's barter. There you go. You can, have, you can have the sausage. There you go. That's. She's a level one? This must be just like an avatar of hers then. There's no way that I'm gonna I'm gonna kneel though. I'm gonna be as respectful as possible because clearly something's going on. Lazelle approves. I mean, look, we already broke up with her. We don't need her approval. It's the most toxic thing I've ever said in my life. Oh, 
Oh, she's got a smell These just you keep. unbelievable. You taught them well, my child, my laser. Jamar Zalav lacketh. You know me. Erlon of Kalia speaks most highly. As did my God knows her. That's so cool. You seek purity. I may yet grant it. I want her armor. Big estate. Big. You bear that which is ours. But are you friend or are you thief? Dying for you. Dying for you. Um, hey, Scarlet Lady is dropping five flipping gift subs. Thank you very much, Scarlet Lady. Gifting to Agent Orange Gaming, Christina Marie, Time Traveling, Action Five Surge. Excuse me, it's just Action Surge, which is a perfect name for this. And then Berazy or B Razy. Um, thank you so much, Scarlet Lady. Appreciate you. Very nice of you. Welcome to all the newbies. Welcome back to a few of you. She looks a bit zombie, says Bad Wolf. I mean, her name is the Deathless Queen. I'm assuming there's some undead aspect to this. If she is level one, there could be a lich kind of component to it, but I don't imagine. I didn't take the weapon from you, but I am returning it. I am the hero who found your weapon. Neither it is mine by rights. If Yankee really do seem to respect when you bring the sass, but I do want to say I am the hero. Maybe that's what I should do. Puff my chest up without being disrespectful. Your utility is proven, but your heroism is yet to be witnessed. Attest them to see if you are as capable as you profess to be. That weapon you carry, the astral prison, mm. it is corrupted. No! I will cleanse it for you, my queen. Tell me how. There is someone inside. Their mind is warped. Oh. Broken. A blight. Okay. They are an agent of the grand design. Sent to sabotage the astral prism. Thank you for the sub bomb. I will read it out in a minute. Against the return of the Elithid Empire. We're right here. You don't have to. You know. As long as they live. Trying to get a thumbnail here. Is compromised. Kill them. Wait, what? Oh, Do this. the thing in the there. Got it. And I will cleanse you and your allies. Do this oh, and okay. ascend. Ascension. My queen. An honor gained. A burden borne. You must accept. Refuse. And you will know my fury. I'm gonna say yes, but then we can just do whatever later. See, this is the difficult thing. Well, first of all, Marissa Explains Nothing is dropping 10 flipping gift subs. Thank you very much for the sub bomb. Marissa Explains Nothing. Gifting to Bates6778, CM Casa, Taro Tuber, Desmond, Kate L430, Scribbles Vamp, Pam with a bunch of numbers, Chaos Knight, Small Fry, and then D4G. I appreciate you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So the confusing thing about this game now, and again, I'm just voicing this aloud. I don't need an answer because I just want to voice it out. Our whole thing has been like, we have to remove these parasites from our brains. And then midway through the game, it's like, actually the parasites can kind of help you and you don't need to remove them yet. And then a couple times we've tried, it's only made them stronger and it's not been a big deal for us. And now she's like, well, if you do all these things, I can remove it. And I'm like, well, I don't, I don't know. I don't know now. Like, I don't even know what we want. That's the problem, because I don't know the nature of these things, and I haven't been able to find enough info in-game about it. So I'm looking forward to getting more info in-game. Um, the person inside protects me from the absolute... So the guardian, that brain thing that's been helping me, maybe they are... protecting me from the absolute... Maybe, maybe if I say this, she'll say something, well, oh, I'll protect you from the absolute. I'm strong enough. Let me try it. You are being lied to. I will be obeyed. Okay, you make a good point. Do not defy my queen. Okay, got it. Bet. No, in fact, maybe I'll free the one inside. I don't think that's a good idea because we still want to be friends with Lazelle. I will enter the prison and kill the occupant. But Shadowheart disapproves. Use the Plaincaster's power to enter Oh, they the literally want me to do that right now. This isn't even something I can lie about. Cut it out if you must. 
I am curious if once again I'm able to enter it and then it'll be like I talk to them and I just don't want to like I don't want to end that part of the story yet. my queen. We will not waste a second. No, I might. I might go do other things first. Or is this the kind of thing where if I'm going to do it, I need to do it right the hell now? Is that what we're sort of dealing with here? Like I shouldn't do a long rest or anything. I shouldn't go away. I'm assuming. The Queen Blacketh trusted you with such a task. Okay, they're talking, they're talking, they're talking, they're talking. Do you have a save before this that you could go back to in case says KJ Kiana? Um, yeah, I, I do. Time for but am I about to actually like kill my guardian if I, um... Oh, religion failed. That's too bad, strange chunk of amber. I wonder if I can have other people look up that religion stuff. Just do it now, you'll be fine, you'll see. Okay, thank you. I am curious about this. The statue starts to rotate. But its rusty mechanism jams stuck. I'm gonna want to have other people do that then. With better athletics. All these goodies, all these goodies. Another plaque. What's the plaque say? Lathander blesses the rising bountiful sun. So rises in the east, sets in the west, probably. Is that what we're doing there? That's not rising bountiful. That's not rising bountiful. There's a rising bountiful sun. Anywhere? Anywhere? Also, what is that strange chunk of amber I had just found? Chunk of amber has three drops of blood suspended inside it. I'm gonna send this to Shadowheart and see if she can inspect it. She failed it too? Damn. Can anyone do a religion check on this and succeed? Um, send to Damien. There we go. Succeeded a religion check. So now what? Now what's this mean? Examine. Find the blood of Lathander. We found the blood of Lathander. That was a whole thing. That was a whole quest that we had. Okay. 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 That's a big deal. That's that actually a big deal. Um, in the meantime, let's have Lazelle ungroup and check her athletics over here. I think that's going to be important to rotate these things. Thanks again for hanging out tonight, y'all. I know these streams are always long, but I sure do enjoy them. The statue starts to rotate. Again. How? But its rusty mechanism jams stuck. She's so strong. Well, that's a whole baby right there. A whole baby situation. Lathander bids the setting sun a fond farewell. So if it rises in the east and sets in the west, maybe they both have to. Oh, wait a minute. If it's like our world, then it rises in the east, in which case it would need to be this way, and then the other one goes that other direction. So let's try, let's try Shadowheart, you one group. Can you boost yourself up? Can you guidance yourself to boost your own athletics? In addition, hold on. We found a cup of oil. Grease bottle that could work, but I also know there was literally a cup of oil. Um, antidote, antidote, arsonist oil. Well, we don't, we don't want that one. Um, silver glass, four flask, raindrop, drop top. Um, I think maybe we just go grease bottle with this. But I do believe that is a thing in this here Vidya game. Where did it go? We literally just had it. We literally just had oil. Or grease, rather. Sorry, folks. Give me one second. Grease bottle. There we go. So, Lazelle, you throw some grease. As I was taught. There we again, go. Again. The statue starts to rotate, but its rusty mechanism jams Fiddlesticks. Have a good one, Kiana. Take care. Thanks for popping by. I guess 
Maybe oil would be better later. We can also have Damien try after he talks to this guy. Um, oh, he's already done talking to him. Right. One last try. Let's do one last try. Saving. What the? That worked for me says. Well, you know, maybe, maybe it doesn't always work. I also want to see maybe there's oil that could work here. Hold on. Oil. Oil cream. Um, oil. Cup of oil. Here we go. We're going to throw a cup of oil. What do you mean, Cammy? The statue starts to rotate, Dude, but its rusty jam mechanism jams oh stuck. Can not do the cup of oil on this? Disadvantage? Ah, the statue yeah, starts to rotate. But it's rusty yeah, I guess I guess just like don't stuck. get to do that then. All right, well, maybe I'll come back with a different character another day. Who knows? Um, I am probably also gonna steal. Again, I know I take my my sweet sweet time in this game, but I just love it. Just smack you it. You bought a weapon this far. That's funny. If it must be put. Fighting failed. Well, that's stupid. Nothing. Okay. Can I literally just smack it? Are you right about that? I guess maybe I can. Let's see here. Oh, I do have to. Let's I have to be time. sneaky. If I hit it. Um. Hide. And then attack me. Yeah. I was sure I had it that time. The statue starts to rotate. But it's rusty mechanism jam stuck. Sure All right, fine, time. fine, fine, fine. We're just gonna continue on. I hope I'm not missing anything too crazy, amazing, crazy, amazing. Um. All right, let's go into this thing, and I'm hoping that it's not too big of a mistake that I said I would murder the thing. Don't do it. Are you sure you want to enter the astral prism? Does anyone know if it's a terrible thing that I do this? Is this a really bad thing? It needs to be blunt. I guess I can just throw a hammer at it. You can hit the statue with another type of weapon. It's fine, just let it play out. Okay, cool. Thank you. You know, fine. I'm gonna hit it with one more blunt weapon. In fact, Lazel, I've got an idea. Heavy chest, that's blunt right there, isn't it? Too heavy to throw, too heavy to throw, too heavy to throw. There we go, yep. That's in right, just throw it at that. What? Again, again. Throw. What do I throw? There's got to be something else heavy here. Um, there has got to be. Thanks for your patience on this, y'all. My inventory is a mess, and I don't think it ever won't be. I think it will always be that way. Um. Oh, the faith break. Oh wait. Um. Shadowheart has a blunt weapon. There's no time to waste. Not. You don't want the range attack, damn it. Not quite hard enough. Damn! Not quite hard enough. Seriously? Are you serious? Damn! Not quite hard enough. Try right, one more here. This is a war hammer. <laughs> you have explodey barrel not on me but somewhere i can i can come back and do this i just don't want to anymore can't slow down i'm just doing this thing how good is the thing i'm about to miss out on that's my question how good is that very oh very okay it's huge. It's legendary. Okay, fine. <laughs> We're gonna go back to camp. We're gonna get a big old fancy legendary weapon. No, oh, I can't go to camp because it's too dangerous here. I just wish we'd succeeded on the, all the athletics. Great, but you can do it afterwards. Give a blunt-handed weapon to Zario. To Lazel, you mean? You can do it after the prison. I'm gonna do it after the prison. It's gonna be great. Everything's gonna be fine. Yes, let's do it. Heat pulses out of 
the astral prism as it begins to flower. Flowers! I don't think we I want to kill our guardian. I really don't think I do. Fancy! Oh. That looks like an elder god of some kind. That was a whole hand. A timeless space, bounded, compressed in a fold. A pocket of astral plane. Aha! That's where bags of holding go to. Did we see this land before? Yes, my doll. We saw it in a dream. Timeless. Like every dream that ever was stitched together. It is home. Hmm. We've cool. New kind of alchemy ingredient just dropped. This is pretty sick. Wait, now can we go to camp? That would actually be hilarious. That, I think actually we can, ooh, ooh, lots of dead gets Yankee here. That's not great for them. But I am curious if we can just talk to them and see what's up. Divine bone shard. I mean, I'm gonna be stealing everything here for sure. Um, Yeah, we can literally go to camp. That's actually really funny. Not that it helps us now because we can't go back to that other spot. Um, Hi, dead gets Yankee. You've been dead for a very long time. You doing okay? How you doing? The corpse running silent. Okay, that makes sense. Um, we can talk can later. I, can I please just take the thing. Thank you. Um, ooh, more goodies. Nice. That's wild over there. Oh my god. Is that like a dead god's eyeball? That's kind of what it looks like to me. That's kind of sick. Ooh, we found a um inscribed slate. What does the slate say? Read. Um, the slate's symbols are hard to discover, but there's a dragon. There's a, someone standing tall, another person kneeling. It's all weird. And then there's a comet. Yeah, what in the George R. R. Martin? What in the flippin' George R. R. Martin? I feel like this is the kind of place where I'm supposed to dig. I'm curious. Did you? Interesting buried here. Huh? interesting buried okay. here it's just usually if you're able to jump to just one little spot like that i'm like mm, something's up mm, something's up all right let's keep going bum, 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 bum. oh like i said sometimes there are goodies round about these parts yes 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 Let's see how to get to there. Oh, I can just jump because I'm in, I've got weird gravity. Oh, and that's how they basically teach you that you got weird gravity. That's cool. Just money. I'm sorry. I found a chest in space and it's just some bucks, a few shekels to get through my day. Where's my cool outer space weapons, you silly beans. Don't love that. Divine bone shard. Give me that, please. Thank you. Ever. I'm looking forward to whatever weird battles happen to you. Beckoning Cave. Yeah, that sounds normal and safe. Uh, Sh Sheila Baby dropping off a buck sixty nine. Thank you very much and nice. Appreciate you. And thank so you for your you In spite of all my warnings, disappointed. Well, I'm not going to kill you. Come. We will talk in private. Just the two of us. We can make it if we try, just the two of us. Just the two of us. I may have got... made a mistake oh. trusting you. You didn't do nothing. I told you to stay away from the Gith Yankee. But you just couldn't help yourself. You didn't do nothing. Could you? I found a bunch of free stuff. And now. You've come here to murder me. No, I'm gonna tell them I couldn't. Um, I haven't come to murder you. I just want to talk. Very well. What do you 
want to know. Why does he look like a clown? Okay, so we've always had a, a stream mascot named Go Go Hippo Go, and that's usually what he looks like, like bright, pale skin, either white makeup or just like the brightest uh, slider on skin tone, brightest red hair possible. We make him look like a goofball. We started to make him our main character, and then eventually it was like, should I make him look kind of like me? And everyone's like, yeah, so we did. Um, Small Town Singer dropping 369. Nice. Uh, thank you very much, Small Town Singer. Give me Small Town Singer saying, it's my birthday. Happy birthday to you. Let's get some birthday cakes in the chat. Uh, the Big 29, lol. Can't stay for the stream, sadly, as I have birthday plans, but have so much fun for me. Clever Coop, I'll see you Sunday. Hope you have a fantastic birthday. Enjoy your plans. That's wonderful. 29 is a phenomenal year. You're going to love it. You're going to live and love it. Um, thanks very much for the tip and good luck. Have fun. And I'm glad you're spending time for yourself. That's very important. Why does Vlakif want you dead? Vlakif wants me dead because I know her secret. It is a secret so great that if her people ever found out, that would be the end of her rule. The end of her. If he does not stand Black That pink. same secret is how I've been protecting you from the Absolute. I can hear your thoughts. You think I'm lying. Vlakif <laughs> warns you I love that I'm just looking outside like, you. no. But consider mm -hmm. this. Nope. What reason have I to deceive you? I want the same thing as you. Freedom. I'm on your side. I have been since the very beginning. Well, don't stab me. Or are you gonna give me a good weapon, though? Give me a good weapon, though. Give me a good weapon, though. There we go. Um... Get up. You won't die today. It seems I was right to put my faith in you after all. Thank you. Well, no, I, th I wanted... I thought you Thank were going to give it to me, serious. though. To make no mention of your gift, Yankee companion. The Lich Queen fears nothing She is a Lich Queen! Oh, called it, baby! I have of her deception I'll explain liches in a minute about. for anyone who doesn't know. It's a D&D &D thing. Um... Blacketh's a goddess. What could you possibly know that would bring down her empire? Godlike in power, yes, but with none of the sanctity. Uh -huh. Flakith is lying to her people. She pretends to know how Gith destroyed the Maya Flare Empire. Interesting. In truth, she knows nothing. If the Illithid Empire were ever to return, she would be incapable of stopping them. Mm. And if her people found out about her impotence, there would be mutiny. No, the not lichens. The end <laughs> of her rule. Liches, I'll tell you in a minute. It's it's a different thing. That very power. The power to resist illicit control, which Blackith only pretends to know, mm. is how I've been protecting you. Mm. I suppose you hope to extract it from my corpse. Since you spared me that faith, she will come for you. I protect my allies. As do I. I have delayed long enough. I've the next attack I, is overdue, I'm starting to trust him more and more. In the middle of it. I need you out there, searching for the Absolute. You will run the right path to Moonrise Towers. Return to it. Be warned, the Inquisitor awaits your return from this place with orders to kill you. No doubt the rest of the crew Oh, so we are going to have to kill Good all luck. the Githyanki, clearly. And then we get to come back what for that cool sword. Here? Okay, well... So it goes. At least we're blessed by Shadowheart, that's all. Or someone, rather. Um, well, that was a bummer. Um, that's gonna be a whole thing. Um, what now? Lazelle is not gonna be particularly happy with me. Let's check in with what she says. So, a Lich, for anyone who does not know, is a type of creature in D&D that is extremely, extremely powerful. Not just D&D, it's mythology, but they have power over the undead and are... Ooh. Hello? Hello? Lazelle? and are themselves undead enemy? um they have uh they cannot be killed fully because they have a uh a thing called a phylactery right might be a little skull might be a little jar might be something but it's something that their, their soul is bound to so whenever they die it retreats back into their phylactery which could be anywhere and after like 100 years 200 years they come back to life and that's why they are um so strong so powerful um they have extremely extremely high amounts of power just in general 
Um, I'm afraid there was no one there. I'm not gonna lie to her. I think I'm gonna say, actually, I learned a few things your queen is lying to you. She's gonna be so mad, and I know that, but I have to be honest with Lazelle. I'm assuming there's gotta be some, like, character growth here where she starts to learn that her people are up to something. Vlakic does not lie to her faithful. Open your mind. Show me. Your mind tingles. Lazelle seeks entrance. You know what? I might let her in. Equation, your Inquisitor is going to kill you, Lazelle. Is that, is that proof enough of my honor? I'll, maybe I'll start with persuasion and then I'll open up my mind because I'm, I'm really not lying about anything here. Difficulty class 12 plus voice of the circle plus guidance. We're going to make it. Unless it's not one. Yeah, there we go. We're good. I have a mind to end you here and now. But you either believe your own words or have suddenly mastered the duplicitous arts. Oh, it's for sure both. To the Inquisitor. And let us see who speaks with serpent's tongue. I also feel bad for Lazelle, because, like, I know right now that, like, she's wrong, and I'm right, but she believes what she says so strongly that, like, I don't want... I don't want her to have to have that moment of, like, oh, everything I know is a lie. That sucks. You know what I mean? Hmm. We got Madison Lash dropping 10 flippin' bucks. Thank you very much, Madison Lash. Saying, hi, dames. Uh, been, that's, that's very generous. I appreciate you. Hi, dames. Been a fan of yours for a few years now. Thank you. I just want to say how happy I am to see you doing all these cool things between My Happy Marriage, Sword AF, and all your other projects. So excited to see what the future holds for you. Madison Lash, I really, 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 really appreciate that. Um, it means a lot because, you know, I've, I've been working hard for a long time, and I know a lot of people work really hard. So that's, that's the main difference is, like, luck. Like, most of us work really hard in whatever capacity we can. I'm just, I'm very lucky that some things have been paying off lately and I'm, I'm really happy. And it's interesting trying to learn how to like let myself be happy and be comfortable with that because things really are good and I'm very happy about it. So truly, truly thank Lazelle, you. Lazelle, I've been waiting. You are named Hashalak. <gasps> Bend your head. For my blade is ready. He's named the traitor. He is going to try Shrush, to kill her. Please, summon Vlakith. There's much... Irrelevant, geek wretch. The queen has spoken. Your death Dude, is the queen. I feel so bad for Lazel. You realize what Lazel doesn't? Whatever the outcome of your visit to the astral prison, Vlakith had no intention of letting either of you I didn't realize that. There was live. no way we could have survived. Well, the good Shrush, news is... With me. We've got lots of good battlers here, and um, Astarian just got that crazy new weapon, um, which means, um, I mean, I mean, this guy has 112 health. If you're new here, Allison, and I know you're still here, it's it's really wonderful to see you. Thanks for sticking around. It actually means a lot. You can go whenever you need to, but it just means a lot. Um, 112 health is a lot. It's a really strong thing. You can see in the top right, it says he's level six in strength. That's really high. That's that's not easy. We're all level five, so um, Starian's going to be our sneaky guy. Shadowheart is going to keep us alive by healing and being a protector. Lazel is going to hit people with swords. And then my singing bard is just going to support with little songs and be like, you can do it because I believe in you. Do -do 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 -do. All right, so Starian, go be a sneaky bastard. Go do a murder. Oh, he parried me. So he did... We did not do as much damage as we generally would have wanted to, which is actually kind of insane to me, but that's okay. He also saved on that. What? what kind of weapon you got there? But that looks like a fancy weapon. You got a fancy weapon? We might try to get him to drop that fancy weapon. Who's next? Ardent Kuth is, then me, and Shadowheart. Oh, we've got a bit of a spread. Shadowheart's gonna be able to keep us alive, but everybody else is gonna take some hits before that. This is gonna be really interesting. Ooh, God. Okay. Can you just teleports over there? Ah, that's not the worst thing. We can actually do stuff about that. Um, so here's what I'm gonna do as my guy. We're gonna use one of my flavorite weapons, Heat Metal, which means that any metal that he's holding, he just straight up drops it, or he takes a crap ton of damage, and either one of those is fine with me. Um, let's see. Heat Metal is an action, so... 
Again, Allison, I'm gonna bring, I'm gonna just talk to you for a minute because you're my friend and you haven't seen this D&D content. So in D&D, when you are fighting, they sort of space out your turn. Every turn is supposed to be like six seconds of actual fighting, right? So you get an action, a bonus action, and then sometimes an extra. So an action would be like hitting someone with a sword. Bonus action would be like after you hit them with a sword, you like bump them with your elbow a little bit, just as a little extra thing. And extra action would be yelling to your friend like, I've got this one, you take that one over there. You know what I mean? So it, it labels them. So if I want to cast this spell, it's an action. If I want to do, what other options do I have? What, what do I have that are bonus, bonuses here? Bonus action. I mean, ooh, I have a lot of bonuses. Okay. Um, I can also Misty Step to the other direction. I can also drink a potion. I can... Yeah. Okay, we're gonna have a, we're gonna have some good options here. Okay, so I'm gonna go back. I think I'm just gonna do heat metal on this fella. Oh, it's only got a 45% chance of working. 60% chance. This guy's really strong. This guy's really strong, actually. Uh, TBH, to be frank. Um, all right, so here's, I am gonna try to do a heat metal just to see if I can make it work. Cause getting him to drop his weapon is gonna be really good. Oh, it worked and his weapon dropped. Amazing. Um, which means that's really, that's actually so good, y'all. Um, so then if I pick that up immediately, he can't pick that up anymore and damage me. But what I can do is this extra little shooty blast onto who else? Who's around? 90% on that person, 90% on that person. This person's far away. This person's actually going pretty soon. They're next up to go. We might as well shoot them. Boom, critical hit. Nice. I've been enjoying learning passively. Uh, there's no way I could understand this IRL. Oh, Allison, I appreciate that, and I'm glad you're enjoying yourself. Anyway, here's Wonderwall, because um, I always play music um, when we're done battling. Um, but at the same time, you I know you could. It would just take a minute. It would just take a minute. It's a little hard to pick up, like, right off the bat, right? It just takes a second. Um, and I don't think anyone would expect you to understand just immediately, you know? I'm your soccer mom. You're doing great, sweetie. I appreciate you. Okay, so now... Um, We've got Shadowheart. She is not doing super well. She just sort of got zapped in the brain by their attack. But I do think we it would behoove us to cast um, Spirit Guardians, which is always a strong one. I wonder if we're able to jump all the way up there. We are. So we can actually just, just wreck them by jumping up here and doing damage by being next to them. That's kind of awesome. I super love that. Um, great. Great, great, great. Hey, okay, Starion is getting really heavily hit. Wow, that's a lot of damage for such a squishy guy. He's just a sweet little guy. Your I'm... life is over. Come on, Salah back in. Oh man. What is he doing right now? What is Mind Steel Link? being drained you have a minus two penalty on every like literally everything okay i think our best bet is to just straight up wreck this guy as best we can good good damage that's good extra damage let's do another topple to knock him prone that would be an extra attack let's do this I'm just going to try to wail on him as much as I can here. This is going to be important. Um, another attack. And I think for our last one, I'm going to try to topple him. Yes, shoot. It's fine. Everything's fine. Oh, poor laser. Um, okay, so the good news is Astarian is up next. And boy, oh boy, is he strong right now. So let us, and Tomato, um, I think if we are smart about this, I think we can take down this guy with this next turn. We just have to be... Oh, we can't sneak attack? What is that? Why can't we do that? Um, that's actually really weird to me. Piercing strike. Um, oh wait, what kind of poisons do we have?
Bivin Posse. Extra eight. And, uh, I mean, I say we just do normal attacks. I think we need to start specking him into part thief or part monk or something, because he's not he's not getting as many like wild, crazy attacks as I would generally expect for him to get. Oh god, she almost fell off that cliff. That was really dangerous. Um Alright, who's doing what? Shadowheart's not looking too hot. These folks are also not looking too hot. Main guy is doing a lot of damage. I think he's gonna be our main issue for the foreseeable future. Let's do. Let's do this special shot where we can hit two different things. Two. Damn, that didn't, uh... Wait, we can do the concentrated blast thing now! Because that boosts us and he's concentrating on an attack. That's how that's supposed to work. So we heal and we've killed him. Now leave before the others come for us. Oh my god, I can't believe that worked. So wait, are these guys all still pissed at us? They are. Well, then I guess we kind of have to take them down, which sucks, because that wasn't what I intended to do. But okay. Weird. Okay. Yeah, I mean, they're all still going for me for sure, but like, oop. Obviously, we're gonna be working. Nice. Oh, a fancy, a oh, fancy circlet. When you inflict a condition, you gain arcane synergy. I still don't know what that is. Yankee short sword. That's also really good. These are all really good things. Yay. I mean, we're just gonna have to merc this guy. Frankly, it's just you know the thing that happens next. Um, we've got to give him. Well, hold on. We're gonna heal everybody a little bit. And then we're gonna give this guy a proper bonkin. What do you mean miss, miss him with my bonkin? Miss me with that bonkin. Man, Starian is still having a bit of a rough time. But we're almost, we're almost good here, which is kind of wild. Cause that was, for as, as hard as that should have been, it kind of super wasn't, which like, great. Wait, what? Seven? Charming tag. Hold on. You. There we go. Um, what? Literally, literally, what is happening? Um. Ooh! Whenever you succeed a saving throw, the foe that caused the throw takes damage, and then you also gain bonus to intelligence, wisdom, and charisma saving throws if you're a Githyanki. Potion of angelic slumber. Unless interrupted, you gain the benefits of a long rest. These are all incredible. Incredible items. Oh my god, we are just like robbing this dude. <laughs> I don't even feel bad about it. Also, just cuz I'm gonna shove her. Screw you, lady. Oh, well now she's literally murdering my guy. Um, well, I can charm her with my brain magic. No, I don't. I missed, and that's fine. Oof. Ooh, not looking good. All right, Astarian. Buddy, my guy. Is, is that, who's up, who's up next? It would be that guy next? All right, we need you to do a little bit of a murder. How about you do a little bit of a murder? There we go. 21 damage. I mean, my goodness, Grumpus. Just two health left. Get out of here. Get out of here. Um, bonus action versus bonus action versus, um, I guess we'll have my... you approach. Oh. All right, we're fine. Woo! Um, don't you get... Okay, so he's just dead now. That's always nice. Um, all right, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do that two shot thing. We're gonna shoot this poison. We're gonna shoot this poison. It was too close. Damn it. Oh, well. Um, let's do defensive flourish melee. There we go. 
There we go. <gasps> Fancy great sword. We can give that to Lazelle. She's going to love it. Oh, she's going to be so happy with us and not mad at all that we murdered most people in her home. Um, it's going to be great. She's not going to be mad at all. Everyone, just trust me on this one. Just trust me on this one. She's going to be actually pretty stoked. When you think about it, she's not going to be mad at us. She's just going to maybe need a little time to stop being pissed in general on account of we killed all of her people. But to be fair, kind of, kind of didn't really give us much of a choice. You know what I mean? That wasn't really our fault when you really think about it. You know what I mean? That's not really our fault. Yeah, that's neither here nor there. Um, all right. Uh, well, cool. There's that. And we got one more person that done needs to get murked. Um, let's do... I mean, we're pretty much pretty much done with this fight anyway, so I might as well just jump down here. Do a little healing situation. And we're going to do a long rest after this, obviously. All right, person, what do you got for us? One more little desperate shot on a Starion, our sweet boy. Our sweet boy. All right, Lazel, show him how angry you are about everything what done just happened. All right, buddy. So here's the thing that's going to happen next, right? You're standing there. Look, I get it. You're not happy. You've had a bit of a day. Well, that makes two of us. I'm going to go ahead and do a sweet little murder on you. How did that miss? How did it miss? Um, they dropped their crossbow. We'll get that in a minute. Oh, it's perfect that a Starion would get the last hit. He's been so brutalized by this person. Hey, buddy. Hey, so listen, here's the thing that happens next, right? You get shot. Boom. Done. We did it. We did it. We're the best. Um, let's steal that Get Yankee crossbow. What is in your wallet? Capital One. Um, we can also now send this back to camp. God, we really do have to organize the, the, the weight of everything. Um, studded leather armor. Yeah, we can send that back to camp. He's just so over, overweighted down all the time. Poor guy. Supply pack. Um, this great sword should go to Lazel at best. Um, I just, I know there's just stuff. I know. I know it. I know this. In camp. Any of the dyes? Yeah, we can just get rid of here. Die. Um. Um. So Lazel definitely wants to talk to us. And I, I will be honest, I am, um, <laughs> excuse me, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm delaying a little bit. Because, like, I feel like we've all been in this situation, right? When, like, your friend takes you home to meet their family and you inadvertently kind of have to, like, kill their whole family. And you're like, oh, I'm so sorry. Like, I didn't mean to. I'm so sorry. Vlaketh. Vlaketh. I have wielded your fury as a blade, mm -hmm. poured your wrath as a dragon. You promised ascension, yet I crawl among my own people, low as an asp's belly. Yeah, and then when you kill everyone they know, they kind of lose their faith and their god and their religion I and everything they know is a lie. Path. What good? This heart of stone, for it to be shattered. I'm also gonna say shout out to the she voice actor. Me. A trial of faith. Kalir prepared me. Only the heaviest souls soar to the astral. Yes. Yes. I might gain Vlaketh's favor yet. Stage two of grief is bargaining. But like the voice actor is so good. Um, all this and you still stand by Vlacketh. You're as dull as you are stupid. Oh, I'm not going to say that to her. Impressive show of faith. Will it be enough for your queen? Or you're an enemy of your people. Now you need to accept that. I think I'm going to say that to her. I know it's hard, but she does tend to respond well to bluntness. Silence. Oh, well, not then. I must think. That's dangerous for a Githyanki. You guys have psychic powers. It kind of hurts. Um, all right. So let's open up this chest. We're going to go back to camp, obviously. And then we need to get, I guess, a more blunt weapon change conduit ring when you are concentrating you deal additional psychic damage right. that might actually be Time useful for um what are we wearing now caustic band versus 
I have had an invisibility spell this whole time, and I have never once used it. Like, dog. Like, um, when you heal a creature, you gain extra two attack rolls and all that. I mean, okay, well, that's a good one. She could be using, the, I needed to do, I needed to use all of these so much, and I really didn't. <laughs> Well, so it goes. Uh, circlet of Psionic of Revenge. When you succeed a saving throw, uh, you do damage to them. Uh, and also, all these good things. Um, Lazelle should be wearing one of these circlets. Um, when you inflict a condition, gain ar arcane synergy. What is arcane synergy? I need to know that. Um, weapon attacks deal additional damage equal to the affected in the affected entity's spellcasting ability modifier. So she doesn't really cast spells. So then, all right, so I don't think it would be that. I don't think we'd do that. We should do this one. Great. Wow, look at this. Look at this. I'm the number one viewed Twitch streamer for Baldur's Gate 3 right now. That's flipping cool. Thanks for letting me know. I didn't know that. Well, obviously we can't stop streaming for once again a very long time. That's that's what that means. Um, So I did just grab a great sword for Lazelle. Is that gonna be enough to whack this whole flipping statue situation? Does anyone know? We've been trying to tell you names. Well, I don't know. I appreciate you for telling me. But I don't. Read the plaques. Oh, I know. Bids the sun farewell. And then this one greets the sun. So that's my thought. Like, if it's... I don't know if they're going by our world, but it rises in the east, which would be here. So it greets it and sets in the west, which is over there, which is why I'm trying to do that. So the statue starts to rotate, yeah. but its rusty mechanism jams stuck. I don't want to break it, though. Curious. There we go. Rise in the east. That's not there we go. And y'all thought I didn't know things about the sun when the sun is there. <laughs> um, all right. So we can give her... Baratheon's Wrath looks kind of good. Wait, what, what attack is this? Razor Gale? Swing a weapon in a cyclone of steel that deals razor blade attack damages to anyone in... Ra that looks insane. Why have I not been using that one? That's kind of awesome. 7 to 17 versus... Uh, I'm still going to do this. Wait, no. Because then if I switch that out, I can finally start using the gloves of the underdog again. Which are way better. Yeah, I don't think we need to use this special magic thing anymore. All right, um, right, let's go through here. These things have stayed interesting. Ooh. Find the blood of Lathander. That's right. So that's part of this, uh, this quest that we did where we found that spooky old secret thing. I am going to give us a uh, short rest. Heal us on up. Later. Will Gale finally be useful? Probably not, TJ Rivers. No, Gale is great. There's no problem with them. They just gave so many other characters such incredible backstories that I'm, like, so interested in. And I think in any other game, I'd be like, yeah, what's Gale up to? But now I'm just like, yeah, he's fine. He's he seems to be doing his thing. And he's fine. Um, all right, the Daybreak Gate. This seems like a huge one. Um, we've got Wayward Jaybird dropping 10, 69. Nice. Uh, thank you very much, Wayward Gaybird. Excuse me, Wayward Jaybird. So sorry about that. Um, saying, treat yourself, parentheses, aggressive. I said, maybe I want to count a wonder. Oh, I was making a joke about Razor Gale. Oh, got it, TJ Rivers. Thank you. I think that's also why I said uh, Wayward Gaybird kills the Gale. Gave me that respect. So sorry about that. Um, but thank you very much. Secret stairway. Secret stairway. Secret stairway. Well, from who? I mean, this place did get murdered by a lot of people. Um, from where did I join? Is it here? It would have to be here. If thou reads this trespasser, turn back, lest your life be forfeit. I did use a My fair amount of spells, me. but I think I'm still Delicious. pretty good on all this, TDH. All right, well, let's forfeit our lives. Let's go. Can't get there. What do you mean can't get there? Do I have to use the blood of Lysander, I want? energy source okay that could very well be a thing i have to murder let's let's see if i have to murder this Do we? 
Dewey. Hey, it is. There you go. That's how you solve a little problem there. You just shoot it with a... Oh, it's one of these. Oh, crap. Um, We have to disarm this. So it's a big old spooky um, trap. Okay, we did it. Woo! That was very close. I definitely should have viewed that more properly before just running in here. Um, okay, so there's gonna be a, there's a trap literally everywhere here then. Um, is there then a new energy source? What, what's this plaque say? Lathander's light may be infinite, but his mercy is not. Return now. Return the slab. Oh, um, okay, so that's clearly something I need to hit. But is it something I need to hit for this one? I wonder if the one I need to hit for this one is... Okay, so that's there. I am curious... Oh, here's, here's probably what I have to do. Here's what I think I have to do. Probably have to go all the way right here. And then do a little patooey patooey. Can I do that? That was interrupted. Hmm. If I get too far, Pat is interrupted. I know magic missile could maybe hit that because it never misses its target. Quite curious. Is there any other energy source around? Oh, yep. Okay, so we got to go up here. That's the secret. That's the twist. So I never had to go through this door in the first place. That's the secret. That's how you use your noodle to solve a little, little puzzle. So before I... I oh, think we've overstayed our welcome. I think, I think maybe let me do what I need to do. Thank you. Dewey, Dewey. Dewey, Dewey. Now we need to disarm this one as well. Can we do it? Bum, 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 bum. Yes, we can. We literally did just enough to do it. Stick Insect is gifting to Chuck Better. Thank you very much, Stick Insect. I appreciate you. Appreciate it a lot. Wait a minute. Did I completely miss one before? No, I, I, read, I read out the Marissa Explains Nothing. Yeah, I did read out. Okay, Marissa Explains Nothing. Thank you again. Um, all right, so now that we're over here, now I think we can batui batui the other one. Let's go try to Batui Batui. Um, Batui Batui. Batui Batui. There we go. I mean, this plaque keeps telling me to turn back, but I'm a little bit like, mm, mm, no can will. Wrath awaits heretic. Retreat whilst thou can. You're gonna feel so silly if it's not that big a deal when I show up. Because all of your traps so far have been totally fine, and you've definitely made it sound like they're supposed to be kind of a huge deal, and they haven't been. So maybe things have gotten a little bit different since you tried to do a murder at me before. The blood of Lathander. I know what this is. From the moment this game came out, everybody on TikTok was like, cool, super, special, secret, unlockable thing is now available in this game. Um, what, wait, what was here? Oh, I can't, wait, what was there? What was there before? Um, literally, what was there? What went away and how? Oh, who cares? Good. The blood of Lathander. I mean, you want to talk about fancy weapons? That's that's one for you. Um, the brazier is up there. All right. Well, this doesn't look like a trap at all. Ah. Uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm -hmm. There we go. Fool me nine times. Shame on me. Anywhere else? I'm just being real careful with all this because they're, they sure are specific about how many traps there could be and how much death they would like to bestow on my face. Anything over here? No. Anything over here? Anything around these parts? I think... I think we're gonna be okay. I think now it looks like we can do the thing. Midnight Vixen Fox dropping six, 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 box, box, box. Thank you very much, Midnight Vixen Fox. Saying, hey, Damien Hubs and I have been walking in the evening so we can get, uh, so we can befriend the neighborhood guests. That's so sweet. I get a lot of TikToks about that and I love that. Um, we have friended 10-ish so far. Oh my God, I named one 
How now, brown meow? I love that. Also, uh, therapy is going great. I'm feeling a lot better. Still working on the P.O. Box stuff. It's very sweet that you're even doing that. Never expected. It will be cool when it happens. But regarding the therapy stuff, you should be very proud of yourself. Because um, it takes time, too. Like, there's a kind of thing where it's like a few steps forward, a couple steps back. It's, it's, a, it's a really long process. And I'll say this. For anyone who does not, you know, currently find themselves in therapy, but they are curious about it and if you happen to have the resources that allow you to at least pursue that because i know it's easier said than done you don't go to therapy when you oh insert item there's a crest of some kind um uh-oh you don't go to therapy when you're having a crisis i mean yes you can but it's so much better to start before you're having a crisis so that when something goes down somebody that already knows you and your story and your brain chemistry and what you're working with goes like okay you've been through this before let's talk about it as opposed to just like you know let's see wow that looks really strong okay so when you die you get resurrected you have a bunch of health already and you get to just do a laser you just get to do have just like a laser beam okay i'm so curious about the crest panel though what does that do an ornate mace hovers before you suspended in a shaft of brilliant light piece of amber flecked with crimson is ah, I need to put the, the amber blood in there if I grab it I'm gonna get all crunchy must be the legendary blood of Lathander. the amber is said to contain the blood of the morning Lord himself mm. I'm gonna leave the mace where it is until I can do the I'm, I need to I need to use this press panel because I think I think it's this chunk of amber that I need to put in there probably because that has three drops of blood suspended inside it. Invalid combination. Okay. Then, given that... Engrave, it wouldn't be the engraved pin, would it? No. Um, then, given that, I'm actually pretty curious about what I'm supposed to put in here. Um, I definitely want to steal it. That's for darn sure. I'm just curious if there's anything that I am missing that I should be putting in there. Bloody plum die. Oh, it's bloody plum die, isn't it? Hmm. Can you take it without putting in a key? I think so, but usually when you see a key somewhere, it's like, there might be a reason. It is a crest. Just very curious. I don't... I, I'm gonna look... I'm gonna check this out, because I don't think I have a crest. Dawn Master's Crest. Oh, we do have that. Oh, we do have that. Lazelle has that. Okay, thank you. I guess, yeah, the whole crest situation does make sense, huh? There we go. God, can you imagine not having done the things in the quest before to actually give you this? I would have been so mad. Oh, Allison, sleep well. Go to bed. Get yourself some rest. I look forward to catching up soon. This weekend's going to be a lot easier for me. I miss you dearly. I love you so much, and we will talk soon. Yeah, see, none of this would have happened if I just would have grabbed it. In fact, I probably would have gotten murked. Probably would have gotten murked. I'm so glad you had fun. Yay. Here, we got a thumbnail now. Oh. Okay, there we go. Um, so that's an incredible item, which obviously it's cool and all to be able to use on my main guy, but... Oh wait, eight to thirteen versus eight to seventeen. Dog, I might like. <laughs> my main character is not meant to use a weapon like this, and I know it would do a lot better on Shadowheart. But at the same time, Shadowheart is like. Oh, wait, hold on. Can Damien even use it? No, never mind. It does so much less, though. It does so much less. Weapon enchantment plus three, though. I mean, I don't know. But I, I know I know it's meant for like a cleric. I really do. But at the same time, it, I do get this feeling of just like, God, it could be so good. Actually, I wonder if Lazelle would like it. Even though we're not gonna really be using Lazelle in a minute here, we're gonna switch back to Carlac. Yeah, let's give it to. Let's get it to Shadowheart. It's just for now. She is a cleric. It just kind of makes sense. We can always take it back. Now a light finesse short sword. That sounds good to me. Darian, can you use that instead of this short sword of first blood? D16, five times. Well, no, but why would you? I mean, look at that. Good old, good old Shadowheart and her shiny old weapon. Good for her. 
Wow, we really, we really done did that. Okay, so now we actually get to leave this flip in place. The passives outweigh the damage, says Odds On. Well, let me take a look at that. You do get health when you die. In combat, fiends and undead are blinded. You get plus three enchantment. Oh, and it's levitating. Okay. Now, I will ask this. Levitating. No, it's not light, and so I can, and it's not versatile, so I can't wield it with both hands. I don't see why I would do that. Um, seven to twelve. Yeah, I don't. I don't really see why I would do that. I can't do it with both hands, and that doesn't really work with me as a bard. Now, with levitating. No, excuse me. With the plus three, is that just plus three to hit? Do I have a better chance of hitting because of that? Is that sort of what I'm dealing with? Um, I'm very curious about that. Also, I think at this point. I've held on to books so long, for long enough. I can just start sending these books to camp. Like, come on. Um, I can also send food to camp. Plus three to hit and to damage. God, it does need to be someone who's not Shadowheart because we do not use melee attacks on Shadowheart. She always has a good spell to use. Um, Astarian needs light weapons that are also finesse. You know what? Maybe we... Oh, you know what? We've got our answer. We've already got our answer. We give it to Karlak. As soon as we get Karlak back, she's going to be good with that because we can give her a shield and she's going to do a, a crap ton of extra damage with that. Yeah, that's that's the move. We give it to Karlak. Not even worth it. All right, folks. That was kind of flipping sick. Um, We've got particular list. Drop, particular list. Dropping 50 flipping dollars that is so beyond bonkers generous this has been a very generous stream and i really do appreciate that a lot that's very sweet um particularly says i just want to say love you and thoroughly enjoy the streams and sort af and happy marriage and all the things also quick question favorite snack lately that's all of the above is very sweet thank you so much for watching um all of those things and i'm really glad that they can entertain you favorite snack lately so i'm not much of a sweets guy right i don't i don't keep sweets in the home um, I, in fact, I don't even keep snacks of any kind in the home because I like to stick to like proper meals. If not, I don't, I don't have the ability to like cut myself off with snacks. It's important to be able to treat yourself. It's important to be able to have snacks. Food is fuel, right? But, um, I just don't have the ability to stop. I don't. Um, so I don't keep them in the house. But that being said, Tiarna was kind enough to send a bunch of Australian snacks lately, um, to my P.O. box. And um, Violet Crumble is like my favorite candy. So I have have been letting myself have a little bit of Violet Crumble every night. So that's been going on. And I'm not going to make it a regular habit. Because again, I don't I don't want to have too many sweets in the house. In the home. But still. Wow, we really did that. We really did all that. Um, I'm curious if the rest of the Githy... Oh, they are. Okay, they're about to murder us. Um, what's your situation? She seems, um, unpleasant. Is she the one we stole from a bunch already? She is, isn't she? Uh, wait, no, she's the commander one. Oh, and we don't want to have the puppies attack us. No, not the puppies. Oh, switch a boomer. Um, Astarian, why don't we have you heal real quick? Because that's going to be a problem if you don't. Um, also, here's a fun little tip that maybe not everybody knows about this year, Vigi game. Um, if you have a candle anywhere, um, you can always drop that on the ground and let yourself, um, dip into it. So here's an example. Come on, light the candle, buddy. Come on, baby, light my candle. You can dip into it. Starian can do the same. Someone there. Someone there. Yeah. You can dip into it. Um, and then finally, Blazel should also dip into it. Um, and then we start battle. All right, buddy, let's go. Wait, why would it? Why would you stow your weapon? That's so stupid. Oh well. Oh, oh my god, they actually were able to trip Hysterion. Okay, and she... Well, that's actually really stupid that they would show up right there. We could obviously knock them off the edge. That being said, it's not always fun to knock them off the edge because you want to actually, like, steal stuff from them. 
<gasps> no! You made me drop my weapon, you bastard. That's none of this is great. That actually sucks a lot. Thank you for the thousand bits, Kukua. Appreciate you. Um, all right, so I guess there's just nothing I can do because I'm feared as this character. Um, Lazelle is also um, feared. Okay, so they're all they're all feared, except for Snorian. So that'll be nice. Maybe we can do a little sweet little murder. We can just do a little murder on you. Um, that still sucks though. Damage is all nearby creatures and objects. Actually, maybe we could hit. We hit both of them with it. We could. Let's do it. Nice. And then their concentration dropped, so they don't have their um their special whatever anymore. And we get the hump, hump. We broke their concentration. Nice. Okay, so that was actually a great turn out of Astarian. That was maybe one of the best things we could have ever done. That being said, this is actually gonna probably be a more challenging fight than we had before, specifically because they made us drop all our weapons. Um, yes, Drama Llama 666, also dropping 100 bits. Thank you very much. Psychic Ren on Shadowheart. I mean, this, I mean, we're kind of just getting rocked here. Um, okay, Shadowheart, you need to pick up your weapon. Though, that being said, you don't need your weapon as badly right now. So here's what we're going to do. Spirit Guardians. As always, you got to love those Spirit Guardians. So good. So lovely. We're going to run up right here to do damage to everybody with Spirit Guardians. And who's hurting? Is anyone hurting? Um, I think then we also need to... We can either heal a Starion or... Let's get a spiritual weapon going. Um, let's get a spiritual maul cast right here because that can also do some extra damage from over here where we are not actually going to be able to do any attacks otherwise. Yeah, so this thing can just go... Kablooey! Nice. All right. Wow, they get to shoot Lazelle twice. That does feel like cheating to me. That does feel a little bit like cheating, and I don't love it. Oh my god, I need all of these weapons so bad, and I kind of hate that I don't get to have them right now. Wait, why are they all going at their own pace? What is going on right now? Why did we get knocked out of that fight? I can't reach the Pilar all the way. Literally not enough movement to pick up the thing that's right there. Are you god dang kidding me? That's literally bonkers extreme. Um, all right, well then... Okay, so Astarian is downed. Knife of the Underground... I mean, this is insane. I hope I get all my goodies back, because this is literally wild. Um, all right. Kithrak is right there. I guess I should do the heat metal situation, because otherwise I'm going to be in trouble. Yes! Dropped her weapon. Soulbreaker Greatsword. I mean, that's also something we can get in a minute. Offhand attack range. The disadvantage, disadvantage. Advantage, advantage, advantage. Everybody's got this. Hey. Right. None of this is great, but at least we're kind of surviving. Um, all right. So what is your deal, Lazel? Did you get your weapon back? Ithyanki Greatsword versus Larethian's Wrath. We need that back on. It is unfortunately her whole move is to re-equip that. But we kind of had to. I mean, we really did. But oh, you know what? No, we get an action surge. So let's do this pommel strike. Now we get action surge, so we can do a secondary grouping of attacks. Um, we literally can't grab that. That's fine. Uh, this razor gale thing is kind of sick, but I don't want to hurt my frowns. So then let's do. Timing attack is so good, but we can't. Um, lacerate. Um, as well as once again, disarming attack melee. Ah, oh, she has to have a weapon. Um, special extra attack from her. God, she has one health. Like, are you gosh dang kidding me? That's literally insane. Um, okay, so we're gonna charm this beast. Nice. Oh, it's saved. Never mind. This has been a really hard fight. I hope we survive. <laughs> I mean, we really need. The thing is, we really need Shadowheart to like be up and about and ready to go, and uh, that's not been the case for her. 
Um, okay, okay. Okay, I think we're gonna be good now. Um, Shadowheart can heal everyone with this. Grab that. Oh, come on. Grab that weapon. And now she can also... Spiritual weapon. Um, she can also once again heal. Let's heal Astarian again, because I don't want him to go down, because he otherwise will. Woo! Hooey! Um, all right, Hammer. You know what's up. You know what time it is. Give him the old kabong. That's the one I meant. Um, all right. Yeah, we really are having to fight our way out of here, huh? This was not exactly what I had expected. And that's okay. Everything's fine. We're going to be fine. Except for the fact that Astarian literally dropped all of his weapons down there. Which is not ideal. But it happens. Um, okay, so I am going to pick up my sword here. He not enough movement. There we go. Um, he's picked up his sword. This person has one health left which is kind of insulting that i even have to deal with that um let's do slashing flourish so i get to hit both of these guys and then lazel can finish off they were actually hold on full roof can be done and then they can be done good duty miss we oh, miss concentrated blast will work though they are concentrating that'll give us health yeah we did it we murked them. And they barely even had anything for us. And that makes me kind of pissed, but that's okay too. Um, another slashing flourish against you and you. Nice. Anyway, here's Wonderwall. We're doing it. Hey, welcome on in Raiders, Lost Boy of Pan. Thank you very much. We're getting our batutes kicked right now, but, but. We're gonna be fine in a minute because I've decided as much and that's how things work. Anyway, here's Wonderwall. Um, all right, so what else do we have? We need to get this knife to, you know what? Astarian doesn't have time to get that knife back. So, oh gosh dang it, no! I hate it when I do that. I accidentally hit the, um, okay, we're gonna swap to that later, hold on. Hold on, how much is that? Oh my god. When wielded by Githyanki, it does even more damage. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, that's the thing I wanted, actually, if I could. A please and thank you. Um, all right, but no, we want this thing to go to Astarian so he can equip it later, which I guess he'll have to do now, damn it. Um, where else? Where's the other weapon he dropped? He had a good weapon. I mean, I'm literally, I'm just curious. I'm curious in all this. Sword, sword of first blood. Okay, got it. Well, no reason she can't just grab that, then. Anyone else drop anything else over here? Super important. Gosh dang it. Ugh. Um, Can we push a literal wolf? Yep, we sure can. That's the move. <laughs> All right, Astarian. So, take a look at what you're dealing with here. Obviously, none of us is happy that you have to deal with any of this, right? Can you use a potion? You can, there you go. And that's kind of all you get to do right now. And that's okay too. Because you were disarmed, it happens to the best of us. I'm gonna need you to maybe retreat over here and now you're, yeah, now you're good. Psychic rend, I mean, the, the like magical brain attacks are just truly something else here. You know what I mean? It's, it's pretty wild. But yeah, that's how it goes. Um, all right, let's also. Oh God, did I do that again? See, I need to remember forever and ever and ever that C does not open up everyone's inventory. I forget which game I'm thinking of that would make me want to do that, but I can't do that. That's not a thing that happens. We know this. We know this. Um, all right. Now we got Shadowheart here. Um. God, does she even have a weapon equipped? No. No, she doesn't. But that's okay. I think she's just gonna murder this guy. Sacred Flame, I don't really care about that. Piercing shot. I mean, damn, dude. Maybe we get her to have a weapon equipped. Who's next? This guy, this guy, this guy. I mean, yeah, I mean, this this wolf doesn't attack for like quite some time. 
I'm just gonna go ahead and have her put on her weapon. Anyway, here's Wonderwall. Let's do it. Healing word on Darian again. We're golden. Hey, what's up, little hammer guy? Time to do a sweet, sweet little murder. Oh, who's next? That, that guy's next anyway. But they have a better chance to hit this one. Okay. Nice. Stop it. Stop it. That's our boy. We don't like it when you hit him. Um, all right. So we got 20 health left on this mother father. I'm kind of feeling like... I'm kind of feeling like it's time for me to do this. There we go. God, that is not as much damage as I thought it'd be. Look at you go. Look at you go, Mr. Still Alive Doggy. Point blank, sure. All right, Lazel. Let them know what time it is. Wait, who's up next? Lazel and then Astarian. You know what? Astarian can handle that. All right, Lazel. Let these guys know what time it is. I think that's maybe the move. Starming attack melee. Yes. Go be pissed. Yes, Lazel. That's what you do in your life generally. That's how we know you. You're the battler one. That's the thing you do all the time. Rushing it. Yes, let's go. Oh, Lazel. Such a hero. Such a winner. Look at you. Um, all right, Astarian. I know you've had a kind of a rough day. This doggy is almost immediately fully dead. So let's just go ahead and do this. Tui, there we go. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy, you did it. Tell you what, we're going to yeet that body off a cliff. Because I am just... That was not very nice of them. Even a little bit. I don't appreciate it. Psychic Rand? Yeah, right. Good luck. That's the last thing you ever do, mother father. Someone's about to get dealt with. On my way. Someone's about to get dealt with. Ready to get dealt with? Um, how about how about you get dealt with like oh nope. Uh hold on, I'm the artist. There we go. Woo! That didn't give us near as much experience as we deserve for everything that happened right there. God dang, dude. That was wild. How was that harder than the little boss fight we had? I mean, good lord. All right, so first of all, let's get this all fixed up. Lazel needs this way better weapon. She's deserved it the whole time. She finally gets it. Good, 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 good. Um, let's see what else we have. Larian's Wrath. That's not what we wanted here. We wanted the Falar Aluve. Is Larian's Wrath better? 817 versus... Dude, what does that mean? Or 8 to 17 with special stabby little slashes. Um, okay. We also still... There's this whole thing with this thing right here that we haven't used. Um, all right. Okay. I think we are finally... Oh, wait, no. Astarian has no weapons attached. God dang, dude. That is just... They really... They really gave us the business. Is there any other ring I can equip here? Nope. Yeah, they really, they really gave us that business. Um, all right. All right. I'm very excited to have Karlak equip that other thing. Um, so any, any hoozle, um, Lazel, Lazel. Obviously, we're not particularly stoked about Kithrak Rezayin or whatever her name is. Um, so here's what I'm going to need for you to do. I'm going to need you to go on over to Kithrak Gr Grizzle Snack. Too heavy to throw. Dang it, dude. I wish you were stronger. Oh, well. Whatever. Wow. So that was actually wild. Um, again, is this a time where I can rest properly in game? and it, Or will it screw me up if I do a long rest now or something? Because I don't want to... There was definitely like a bunch of kids training out there. And I kind of ideally would not want to go have to murder a bunch of kids. Um, Because they're going to be like, we'll stop you too. And I'm like... Uh... Then again, I don't mind stealing a bunch of stuff. The red in your minimap means you can't long rest. That's a fair point. I don't think you can while you're in the red location. That's a fair point. Again, thank you, particular list. I appreciate the, the tip. Tiana dropping $4.20. Nice. Thank you very much, Tiana. I appreciate you a lot. Saying, hey, mate, not watching today live, but I saw you were still going. Hope you and the Cooper are having a good day. Have the TikTok question. Do you see when you're tagging comments? 
Um, sometimes I have so I haven't uploaded to TikTok in like a month, and I definitely want to change that this weekend. So I've also been spending less time on TikTok just in general. Um, I all the notifications for TikTok happen all like in the same place. So like it literally just matters when I check it. Like if there's someone that I follow and I'm like a mutual friend with, it'll stay up for a little bit longer. Um, but you know, if someone tags me in a comment, that's probably the thing I see the least. And honestly, um, the only thing that actually frustrates me about, you know, the way people interact on TikTok is when someone, like if someone likes a few of my videos in a row, cause you're getting like served that by the algorithm, by all means go for it. That's really nice. Thanks for helping out. I get frustrated when someone goes through and likes every video of yours in order so that they can be like seen because it also then erases everything else that was visible that other people had done. So I'm just like, oh man, like I can't see, like someone, whatever anybody did, I can't see anymore, you know? I'm curious if I can uh, talk to these little guys now. Marin and Burak, I mean, they have names. I have never TikToked, am I missing anything? Yeah, Sleepy Little Rider, it's actually a really good medium for um, fun, fun stuff. Like it's, it, People give it a lot of crap because of how well the algorithm knows you, and I like get how that's a little nerve wracking. But um, it just caters so well to your likes that it's, it's it's really entertaining. You just have to be smart about it and like not let yourself get sort of taken over by it. But I think it's I, I really like TikTok. Stop cough. Excuse me. So sorry. Mm. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. Yeah, again, now I guess we can explore all this stuff. Oh, Githyanki Greatsword, Githyanki Longsword, this chest. We can explore all of it. I mean, it's looking to me like people aren't around right now, so I'm kind of hoping that they all evacuated. That sure would be... <coughs> Excuse me. Ooh, fire it. Um, Fire Amber, but she's our hardest working employee. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Okay, um, I think I want to get all these back to camp as well. Um, we have so many things to sell. I truly, at this point, just cannot believe. Cannot believe how many items I have in my inventory at all times. And the camp, okay. I guess I don't need Lorethian's Wrath. I don't know. And now you can long rest if you need to. Is it going to be bad if I long rest? Is it going to change who is available here to talk to? Is it going to be a problem if I do? No, it's not a problem. Okay. Then I'm going to go... Also, we've had Lazelle in our party this whole time. Is it now fine to switch out other party members? Because I was obviously having her here for, like, very specific, um, you know, storyline-related stuff. Can you get over encumbered? Yeah, you can. Tears of Merc. Um, can I swap back out for Carlac? Is that going to be okay, you think? I sure would... I Because I sure would like to. Do you want to know, asks Lion Onisan. Yeah, I mean, you don't have to tell me exactly what happens, but I do want to know, like, yeah, you should hang on to Lazel a little longer. Like, yeah, you can finally get Karlak back. That's sort of what I mean, you know? There is more stuff, says Lion Onisan, and then uh, Cal Calark says it should be fine now. Gosh, who do I believe? Oh, no. Um. All right, let's see. Winter clutches. We don't need that. 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 Lazel doesn't have much now to lack three. Okay. Good to know. With Yankee crossbow versus get Yankee crossbow. I'm gonna send these all to camp. Get Yankee longsword, send that to camp. I'm just having Jalex Silver. I'm gonna just send all this to camp, honestly. Um uh Sword of Justice send a camp. Spring mail send a camp. You send a camp. Alright, send these all to camp. Lazel gets extra psychic damage stuff. That's going to be important for her. Uh, advantage on melee attack rolls when surrounded by two or more foals. I think I think we're going to want uh, Karlak to have that. I think that's going to be the move. Oh, wait. Why didn't why didn't any of this happen? Um, I wanted to send this all to camp. Yep, yeah, there we go. Um, yeah, let's send all this to camp. Dude, camp. Um, send you three to camp. Send you all over here. That's the way I lay it here. Um, I always give those gloves to Carlac. Yeah, it just, I mean, it just makes more sense. Um, when downed, automatically stabilize. 
It's also going to be good for Garlic. Um, I'm going to send you to camp. All right. And I think after all of this, then now we're going to be able to send uh, her away, Lazelle away. I do want to have one more conversation with Lazelle to be like, hey, how you doing, little champion? You kind of lost your god and your culture and your people and your everything. So you, you holding up? Holding up okay, little champion? Feeling good? Feeling good? Yeah, you're doing good. Um, I am Vlackett's most loyal servant. Mm -hmm. She will not abandon me. Wait for me in camp. Chuck, you believe I'm not as arguing. you say. Remain here. Great, we did that. Now, my question is, we have the gloves of dexterity on ourselves, on our character, and I'm asking we people who... We have a lot to think about. Let's do it far away from this place. Oh, sure. Um, Let's go. So I've got dexterity on myself right now, right? I am very curious what it would look like for Carlac Let's to have those dexterity gloves. Like, how would it benefit her? Because right now, she has... What's her character? Base? She has... Um, her dexterity is 13. It would bump up to 18. And I know, I know that she, it would, it would up her AC. That sounds pretty good. That sounds pretty good though, TBH. Oh my gosh, she has a lot of things to hold on to. Oh wait, Exterminator's Axe does six to 25? Oh my God, I forgot about that would be good for her unarmored AC, but that's not until later then. All right, so Carlac, what 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 can we get for you, Carlac? What do you what do you need here? Yo. Let's sort all of our goodies here by type. Let's see what else Carlac could utilize. So Carlac, what do you have amulet-wise? The spectator's eyes, it's good, it's not great. Um, you could also use a ring of some kind over here. So let's see what was first of all Let's see what kind of rings we got available to us We also have a weird helmet which is for when your smite spells happen you get hit points, which is like fine But we don't need it that bad. Um haste helm would be good potentially You know one thing at a time rings huh. Well, we're kind of already giving Carlac a ring, huh? It's kind of a big deal. Um, but these underdogs bravery, the wearer gains advantage on melee attack rolls while surrounded by two or more throws and you get good strength saving throws. So actually we don't really need that. Um, your unarmed armed attacks deal to more damage. We don't need that. Channel of spells, we don't need that. Boots of striding, we don't need that. I guess we just, we don't have as many rings as I thought we did, huh? Um, these dies. Okay, interesting, interesting. She does have an incredibly strong medium armor, which we're going to keep on her for sure. Um, weaponry. Let's take a look at that weaponry here. Let's let's see what it looks like to swap out for, first of all, Githyanki crossbow. Heavy crossbow versus Githyanki crossbow. It's the same. But Githyanki crossbow looks a little prettier, so maybe we go with that one. Um, we don't need the Maringen Halberd and the camp. We don't need Open this. Yeah, we don't need the adamantine chest send the camp We don't need the oak fathers embrace or the amulet of Sylvanas or the robe of summer We don't need any of them send the camp. We don't need these couple of things send the camp um, We let's see But what we do need is the potential cool stuff from other friends. We come back and she's like, oh my God, where did you get all these weapons? We're like, well, we did a, a fair amount of murder. I'll tell you how much right now. Um, sort them all by type, great. So, where's that mace? Where'd that, where'd that mace window go? Um, the blood of Lathander does a six to 18 versus six to 20, oh, excuse me, six to 16 versus six to 25, which is a bummer, but like, damn levitation um extra health like these are all really good things for people who have played this game exterminator's axe is extremely extremely good oh it only does 1d6 to plants insects and small creatures so that isn't we can pretend that goes away so it'd be 6 to 19 versus 8 to 16. i kind of think this would be worth it 
And we can also give her a shield at this point then. So we don't need the Maringen Halberd. We can send that to camp. Um, but yeah, let's give her a shield. I think that could work. I think she can still rage and have a shield, right? Um, short bow, crossbow, medium bow. Um, or frost boots, we don't need those. Uh, send to camp. Baneful strike. Whenever you deal damage with a weapon attack, the target receives a penalty versus you get extra damage when you throw stuff. I mean, throwing stuff is great. I don't know. Um, whenever, they do, whenever you deal thunder, lightning, or radiant damage, uh, missile snaring is good. Moon drop pendant. You don't provoke opportunity attacks. I mean, that kind of feels good. Um, or whenever your cantrip steals acid, cold, fire, lightning, you get a spell to think modifier. I don't want the moon drop pendant, to be honest. I'll have her do that. Even though the spectator's eyes are, like, really damn good. All right. Now we can finally drop everything else into, into different camps here. Into camp chests here. Uh, Infernal Iron, she also needs. Um, White and Scarlet die, send it to camp. We're going to go right back in a minute and um, murder everyone we left behind. Don't worry. I know you were worried about that. It's going to be great. Um, we have holy water. That's always super fun for everyone involved. Um, once again, I don't think we need all these books. Camp. We need all these books. Camp. Camp. All righty, y'all. Thanks for your patience while I did a little bit of house. Um, and now we're going to rest, and then we are ready to go murder the rest of the Get Yankee camp. And then I think mm, we'll probably stream for another 30 total. But yeah, we're, we'll be winding down here soon. Um, Tiana! Drop. Oh, they, you already. I already answered that. It was a TikTok question. Thank you very much. I appreciate you. Wayward Jaybird dropping 2569. Nice. Um, thank you so much, Wayward Jaybird. I appreciate you. Let me turn up my fan a little bit in your honor. Oh yeah, wait, we're Jaybird. Good question. Uh, asking for a new recap on the game. Happy to, happy to, because I know we're we're running a little bit late, so maybe some new people have joined. Um, thank you for asking. Again, happy to. Uh, one second, let me just make sure I didn't miss anything. Yeah, see, Scratch wants to give us something. Scratch. Oh God, no. Uh, Scratch is our doggo. We gotta talk to our dog. One second. The dog is unable to speak through the small bag. Got this, Scratch. And he know. hands his bag. It is maybe pristine mesh toe sandals. Very interesting. What even is that? Steam sandal. Okay. Um. Very nice. Thank you. Put that. Thank you. Um. All right. Uh. Okay. So, quick rundown of the game. Basic rundown is this game is D and D. It's based off of D and D. Everything's D and D. You got rogues. You got bards. Warriors. All that stuff. The thing that all of our characters have in common is um, they uh, all got infected by parasites from um, Mind Flayers, also known as Illithids. They're big old spooky psychic monsters that make a lot of problems for people all the time in the world of D&D. It's a whole thing. What was here? Oh, it's from the Falar Aluve, which I didn't equip. No, it's still there. I don't I don't know if I'll ever know what was there. If anyone remembers what was there, let me know. Goddamn. Um, Common action. Sorry, I am trying my best to pay attention. It's getting harder as the night wears on. Um, the perform our Olive melody. I, I just don't know. I just don't know. Um, any hoozle. Um, so for whatever reason, we're not transforming into those monsters like you generally would if you were inflicted with this stuff. Um, so we're trying to figure out why. Everybody in our group also turns out to have been infected in this way, and that's why we're teaming up and becoming friends. Everybody has their own backstories different reasons that they can or can't do things. And they all have different ways that they think that this could be taken care of. Uh, right now, we're in a place called a crash. Um, and one of our people who is no longer in our party, um, it's their people. It's like they hang out in crashes. They take over like monasteries and they're like, yep, we're here now. That's what they're doing. Um, turns out that they were not able to help us. In, in, a, in the attempt to try, uh, they kind of made things a little bit worse for us. And um, we had to do a bunch of battles and they're not a friend of ours anymore um which is a bummer for de depending on who you ask uh but yeah uh that's more or less where we're at now this lady has a lot of stuff and we stole from her before i don't see any reason why we also can't just murder the rest of this group and do a little murder a little steal a little murder um also if we want to have scratch around that is also okay 
Oh wait, that starts the fight? That better not count as my action. Though. I'm sorry, Scratch. I didn't mean to drag you in all this, buddy. Scratches are familiar. You will not actually die if anything happens. Nobody worry about the dog. He is. Um, I'm going to cast Heat Metal on this person, and hopefully we survive. Ooh! Oh, but they saved. They didn't drop their item. Um, which would have been actually kind of cool. We can also do a psionic blast on her. Oh, not enough movement. Damn. We do it on him. It's always cool. Oh, but it breaks my concentration. Oh, I didn't know that. Anyway, uh, here's Wonderwall. Oh, I forgot about those two up there. Yeah, there's going to be a lot more fighting to do. Um, I can charm her. I'm such a charmer. Boom, she's charmed. You fight for me now. You fight for me now. See, I mean, that's that's the basics of this game. It's it's D and D, so you know you get an action, a bonus action, all that good stuff. Um, ooh, our boy gets to bite if he so if he feels so inclined. Again, this is like the shade of a dog. He's not actually like here so if you see him get hurt no you didn't he's actually fine he's fine everyone nobody worry about it everything is okay i'm gonna have him end his turn over here because i don't want him to get down quickly Time to move. um all right how could you miss with that much potential to i don't know with the starion sometimes y'all that is, that is such a good weapon and he had such a high chance to hit i just don't care Oh, knocked down my bard. I'm literally stuck on the ground, which sucks. Hmm. Okay, he's doing a special jump. <gasps> you hurt my doggo, who's not real. Again, reminder, he's not real. Everything is fine. Nobody has to feel weird about seeing the doggo get hurt because it's not real. Um, okay, let's try out this sunbeam situation. Oh, it literally hits everything in its path. Well, that's a whole thing. Maybe, maybe this isn't the weapon for Karlak. Because Karlak needs to just constantly be raging and attacking people the whole time. And it's going to be kind of hard for her if she doesn't. Um, oh, we can do an enraged throw on someone. That'll be funny. Okay, go get raged, Karlak. Let's do it. Do your special rage throw. Oh, no, it's a bonus action, so I didn't get to. It ends early if you don't attack an enemy or take damage each turn. I think attacking counts as yeah I, I have to i have to do a main hand attack then, if that's the case so this will count it's fine everything um let me do turn. there we go yeah this all counts piercing shots nice oh my god Oh, she's so sad. That's such a good addition. Because Karlak is literally our person. Like, we're romantically involved. And she literally was like, no, you are not going to die on my watch. Like, that's so... So real of her. Um, that's so cool. Okay. Um, we can for sure fix this, though. Um, how do we want to do this? I want to heal up my guy. And I also want to cast Spirit Guardians. So then what's... Oh, that's a bonus act. So we can do this. Level three, heal him on up. Hewie, that was not nearly as much as I thought it would be. Uh, level three, Spirit Guardians. And then we just run on over and wreak havoc by existing. There we go. Yeah, nice. Look at us go. Back over that way. Cool. Oh, I'm sorry. Is it my turn again? Oh, that's so funny. Because if I remember correctly, y'all were trying to kill me. Um, that's so funny. That's so, it's just interesting how it's funny. Um, because get ready, get set. You're about to get murked. Um, I don't want to do this. Actually don't have much movement to do right now. Okay, so I talked a big game. Right, you can definitely say that uh, for her, sure. But instead, what if, what if I really threw them off base and healed myself even more? Anyway, here's Wonderwall. Another critical hit on me? Dude, why? Hate that dude. Oh my god, and he made me drop my weapon. Scratch, show him what time it is.
Nice. Um, I'm going to have you jump away. Well, no. Oh, wait, I could have had him help Carlac. Oh, that's too bad. Oh, well. The Falar Olive goes to Damien there, which so it does kind of suck that I can't do what I would usually want to. Ah, uh, but I can cast Shatter. Wait, are any of those my people? Oh, it's only um, Scratch that is, and Scratch isn't real. Scratch goes away and isn't actually going to get hurt. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Sorry, Scratch. He's, again, he's not real, he's not real. Everything's fine, he's not real. Okay. That actually did a lot of damage. God, we are just getting rocked here. This is the hardest place we've ever had to fight in. And I guess it makes sense. Like, you know, you progress in game to something stronger and stronger, but like, this is, this has been a little wild. Um, okay, it's Shadowheart's turn. Um, all right, so none of us are doing particularly great. So I think what I need to do, God, everything has a disadvantage on her too. Um, I need to go ahead and heal everyone a lot I'm gonna walk over to her so she just dies oh damn all right well never mind yes oh that also hits me okay fine fine everything's great um well one more mass heal for everybody oh my god I have missed so many uh gift subs uh Dino Nuggets, everybody please give a spicy clever coop. Welcome to Dino Nuggets, Kakua, uh, Shugo Shango, Archetyping, Happy Ash, and then Karo Skop, gifted by a storybook ending. Thank you very much for doing that. Uh, as well as Madison Lash. Thank you. Also, uh, Wayward Jaybird, I didn't um, I didn't actually read out the thing that you said, and I am so sorry. Um, Wayward Jaybird says, and I quote, um, oh, wait, I've got the special magic fire blade that I definitely should be using this whole time. Um, or just this. Let me do this. Um, Wayward Jaybird, thank you so much for dropping 2569 in the generous mother goose and also nice. Wait, have that hit Shadowheart? I don't understand why that's a thing. That's very silly. Um, Wayward Jaybird says, I just realized I'll be away for most of September, so here's a little extra for you. Have an awesome September and like Green Day, you can. <laughs> that's funny. Um, I appreciate you so much. Y'all, can we please give a shout out for all of our mods tonight? Because the mods all work very very hard and they don't have to be here and they volunteer their time and it's extremely sweet and extremely important and i appreciate y'all so wayward jaybird have a wonderful time away i wish you well and thank you for all that you do yeah good luck you missed okay now you didn't second what god these are some strong little critters yeah carlax rage ended of course because how is she supposed to survive with something like that wait a minute laser beams um Sterian is like down down too Sterian is down 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 here's what we do I'm gonna do a couple different attacks and each one is gonna allow me to do another one immediately after it it's gonna be dope um reckless attack let's go yeah I knew we had to get her down which is great Ooh. Ooh, that splint armor might be better for Lazel. Amulet of Branding, Brand the Weak. That sounds kind of intense. What, are, what do you do, Brand the Weak? Expose weak points of an enemy. They become vulnerable to bludgeoning, slashing, or piercing damage. That kind of sounds huge. Yeah, obviously, we're going to take all that. Um, concussive Smash onto this person. I mean, yeah, we're doing that. Boom. Oh, they survived that? That's real silly. Um, damn, okay. Glad she has HP, because, like, she's also kind of getting rocked. Um, alright, so here's another thing I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna walk on, like, right here. Hit them both. I'm gonna do this thing. Heal all my friends. 
And then I am going to uh, cast a spiritual weapon over here, which I probably should have done a long time ago. Um, and start murdering these, these little fools. Okay, we are so close to actually having murdered all these mans. Um, so this is a bonus action, so I can just make a flaming blade for myself, which I'm... Oh, actually, no, I can do the, I can do the range flourish that just goes patooey patooey. Um, I can just go patooey and then patooey, yeah, I can do that. Patooey, patooey, nice! Another patooey for you! Nice. Now they give you a great sword. Nice. Um, okay, we're actually doing way better now. I know it didn't seem like it before, for good reason, it's because we weren't. Um, God, Asterion is also doing more damage. They're just zeroing in on Asterion and I really don't appreciate them. I'm gonna have to do some murders at them and they're not gonna love it, but it's the thing that happens next, for sure. Wild. Hello? All right, buddy. Here's the whole situation for you. Louie. There we go. Take this. Yeah, give me all your goodies. What I'm going to do is I'm going to enrage throw I can't enrage throw her? That sucks. Got to help Astarian up, I guess. Oh, I literally can't. I literally can't right now. It's not a thing I can do. Um, but I can enrage throw... A literal warhammer onto them. Nice. God, that's so fun to do. God, that's so fun to do. I hear you, Astarian. I know everything hurts. It sucks. We'll get you in a second. Hello, I'm getting murdered. We know. All righty. Can I make it over here? Come on. There's got to be a way to be able to make it up here. Yeah, wait, yes? No, yes? No, yes? No. Come on. Something's got to work. No, I literally can't. I just can't reach it. That's so stupid. Hate that. All right, well, she's got to obviously heal our friend here. Um. All right, get him up. Here's his wounds. Also, healing word, also word. Nice. Anyway, here's one more. Um, all right. Only a couple more things we gotta do here, folks, and then we are good to go. Um, slashing flares. I didn't realize this little extra shot would be so much for us. Like, but this has been a whole, this has been a real situation. Um, actually, in the meantime, we might as well just equip our melee weapon. Like, it's time to have it again, for sure. Um, even if that takes up our main attack, we still got our bonus, which means... Oh. So close. I swear to God, Historian keeps getting shot in the face so much. Triple your jumping distance. Yeah, that, may, that might be what we need to do. No, because that's going to double it. That's going to make everything double. Um, let's do a cunning action dash. So we basically get a free dash out of all this. This way. Just because he's back up on his feet. And now I think... Can we drink a potion? We can't. All right, so he's alive at least. Oh, I didn't even realize that guy was right there. That's going to suck a lot. Don't shoot him. Okay, Carlac can handle it. I know that. She's fine. In fact, I think Carlac's gonna be kind of stoked that you did that on account of now she gets to give you a sweet little dose of murder. Oh, I'm over here. Are you sure we can't enrage throw that person? We gotta get her a little bit more strength because I really wanna start just throwing people. 
at other people. It like, it just sounds so funny. Miss! We miss. We miss. I was just married. I was just doing murder. Damn, dude. That was pretty good. Another key. Another get Yankee. Yankee crossbow. All right. Pretty good. Get that mall back. Can reach it. All right, fine. We reach you. Yes, kind of. You're just so far away. I just want to end this with them. There we go. Now we can do a proper piercing strike. on it uh, um okay well now you get to sacred flame is rarely good piercing shot is good we'll do piercing oh come on sacred flame is kind of okay sometimes um i wonder if command could work for them for command hold command grovel command flee command drop command up yeah come over here big fella come over here why not just come on down approach yeah just approach us it'll be fine Everything's fine. I'm also going to heal a Starion again, because why not? And then we're going to call it a stream after this bout of battle in you Oh, well, there is one thing I wanted to explore the next, like, room over, but then, yes, then we're calling it. Um, Misty Step. Chewie. Um, all right, buddy. We're going to do a murder on you. Here we go. There we go. My God. Oh, my God. That took so long. How was that harder than the boss fights? Why was that harder? Crossbow of arcane force? It's a heavy crossbow? Okay, well they had a special crossbow. I mean, that's what it was. That's obviously what it was. Um, light crossbow, heavy crossbow she can use. So we're gonna give her the heavy crossbow of arcane force. That's fancy. Great, we get to send all these things home as well as this and this. We camp, we're good. Ooh, that was a lot, y'all. Man, oh, man, oh, man. Um, all right. Send to the camp. Karma for all the looting, I guess. I don't think that's what it was. I think it was probably we deserved a bunch of treats, and people are not always going to be down for that. That's just kind of how life is sometimes. You know what I mean? Sometimes people aren't down for you giving treats that you believe you deserve, because you really do, because you work very hard all day, and you deserve treats even if they own them to start, but not always... I'll say this, just because someone owns something doesn't mean you can't take half something. You know what I mean? Are you picking up what I'm putting down? That's more or less what I mean. You can just take half it. Um, all right, send a camp. Great. All right, great. And you know what? I'll say this. Had we not, you know, done that kind of murder at them, um, we wouldn't have gotten that special crossbow. So that's a, like, that's a whole thing right there, you know? Um, we've got, uh, Amanda M. Davis dropping six, 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 box, box, box. Thank you very much. Appreciate you. And Amanda M. Davis says, and I quote, why are, why are my people running? Well, that ends. Um, Amanda M. Davis says, I've been having a rough couple weeks, uh, with mental health struggles and wanted to thank you for playing so much battle, uh, Baldur's Gate 3 and Sword AF. I appreciate that. It's, it's fun for me too. And honestly, for the same reasons. So for thank you. It's been good to have hours of content to turn on and just zone out with, um, uh, keep being amazing and just doing what you do. I really appreci appreciate you saying that. And Don't it's touch me. It's wild because I do often feel selfish in the things that I do because I'm like, a lot of it is fun and a lot of it is chill and it's, you know, things are work, sure, but at the same time, it's relaxing and I get to play video games and all that stuff. But like, knowing that, you know, I go through mental health stuff too, knowing that someone else's reprieve, it, it also involves me playing video games. It's like, Oh, okay. It's 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 semi mutual in that way. So that's it's a really nice thing to hear, and it's very appreciated, and it's not lost on me. So truly, thank you. Um, it's very nice, and I appreciate you. Anything else down here for me, Drab? No. All right, great. Um, yeah, thank you very much. Watch truly, 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 truly. Um, all right. Uh, yeah. Also, y'all. Again, I, I realized there are just some um some. YouTube VODs that I didn't upload properly and they're out of order. So if you're if you're just popping in, I know that I had like missed two kind of major ones and that's why people are like, hey, we, what? what what happened? And I was like, I don't know. So I'm going to probably upload them anyway. I might do one time. Are you goddamn kidding me? No. No. I have to, I have to reload. I have to. 
we're gonna do this fight at some point i don't think i can't i don't have it in me tonight y'all I've, I've hit my wall where i'm like i need a snick snack and i need to go to bed um nadon drop in six 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 bucks 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 and 69 cents nice uh thank you very much nadon i appreciate you and the Don said, yeah, we'll continue destroying the rest of the entire crash later. Um, the Don says, uh, watching this as I pack up for a move. Oh, good luck, the Don. It's, it's not easy moving. Uh, we'll be living completely on my own for the first time. Congratulations. It's, it's a new experience, but it's something I always enjoyed very much. I'm feeling all the nerves and the excitement. Stream is providing a lot of comfort and familiarity, though. Thanks for making such a safe space. Well, I appreciate you, Nadon. I mean, if I may give some unsolicited advice here, um, Living alone can be a really great thing. You learn a lot about yourself and how to entertain yourself. You learn about, you know, what you're like left up to your own devices. I would just say, you know, the best bit of advice I can give, again, not that you asked for it, um, give yourself some routine. You know, let yourself relax a little bit. Enjoy your time by yourself. You know, don't worry too much about every dish. You know, lose, lose some of the stress there. But at the same time, it is important tonight, like not fully lose sight of what you got going on. God, Even if it's something like, just make yourself a tiny list of like- don't fool around. Hello. Oh, I'm um, more than even if it's like a tiny list of like, hey, did you get this thing done today? Like, it doesn't have to be crazy or difficult or whatever, but it can just literally be like, did you, did you do a dish? Or like, did you do the sit-ups that you said you were gonna do? Just do one thing so you don't feel like lost in the sense that you are, you know, working hard and, and just sort of living in your own space. You know what I mean? Um. Vandalized portrait. I I think I want to. Can I, like, fireball this now? Let's get on with it. It feels like I should. There's got to be something behind it, right? Oh, you just can't can't do anything to it. It. I do have a question. Am I missing anything with this portrait, y'all? Because it does very much feel like there's supposed to be something here. Like it really does. Oh, wait. I will say now we can maybe go murder that um, evil doctor who was real mean to us. But again, this is a whole... Everybody's waiting to fight us. I think it was just for funnies. Okay. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and call it a stream here so we don't get too... Because you know, you guys know I'll just get lost and keep keep going. Um, I almost forgot we killed Blacketh earlier. We did not kill Blacketh, actually. She is... Uh, she's not dead. She's a spooky old ghost lich person, and I'm assuming if we do have to battle her, it's, it's not going to be easy. Um, but y'all, this was such a lovely time. Again, I'm supposed to go to a friend's birthday party tomorrow. I don't know if I will or not. I'm still a little bit weird about gatherings sometimes. I'm going to see if it's like outdoor and social and all that stuff. But if I don't end up doing that, I may end up streaming. So, um, point is, tonight I will probably upload a YouTube VOD that will be at a very different time than I would normally upload. Um... It is going to be out of order from other things. I need to like look on Twitch and then look at my YouTube stuff and actually figure out when is supposed to be what. Um, but I do want to say, of course, I'm going to read out all the resubscribers as I always do at the end of every stream. If you miss some stuff, if you want to get caught up on things, um, check out my YouTube channel. I will say probably the best bet at this point is the uh, playlist because everything is super out of order and that's on me, that's on me. I'm very sorry, um, <laughs> but I'm learning. It is what it is. Um, all right, and then I'll do I'll do a little sign off here. So we're not done quite yet. I'm gonna chat with you for a minute, but um, uh, I appreciate y'all hanging out. This has been truly lovely, and what an honor to be the, the top Baldur's Gate free streamer on on Twitch for the night. That's wild. I mean, I'll take the compliment. I'll be happy about it. In addition, I feel like it probably also has a lot to do with the fact that um, Starfield I think went early access today, which means a lot of people wanted to play it. Um, so probably, um, um, all righty. Uh, yeah. So any hoozle, um, what was I saying? I'm so sorry. My brain's a mess right now. It's been a long week, y'all. It's been a good week. It's definitely been better than last week. Last weekend I was in a real bad spot, but that's okay. Feel silly, but it's Starfield, the video game. Oh, yes, that's what I was talking about. Yes, it is. It's made by Bethesda, so it's like maybe new Skyrim. I don't know. I haven't tried it yet. I will probably try it when it comes out on the 6th, which is not early access. Um, but yeah, um, so point is, I think a lot of the people that were playing Baldur's Gate went to go play that instead. So I'll still take the compliment. It's still very nice that I was the top streamer on Twitch for Baldur's Gate. But also, 
I think a lot of people who may have been at higher stream numbers did that. I'll still take the compliment. But um, thank you all so much for hanging out tonight. Again, it was a very generous stream and I uh, more than anything I just appreciate you being generous with your time I love doing this there's a reason I've been streaming for five hours excuse me I don't have to and I know that there's anything else you could have done with your time and it's just very nice that you are here and I appreciate you all right so let's give a warm welcome back and thank you to these people that keep on subscribing month after month it supports me it's very sweet you never have to do it it's nice that you did so a warm welcome back and thank you to Crying Array for their ninth month, Not42 Jamaze for their fifth, uh, Tyrical for their sixth, CSAN Flip92 for their ninth, Huddy XH gifting to Audi VT for their third, thank you very much. Sticking Fork and Outlet gifting to the SheDap for their second, thank you very much. Chris Elson for their 11th, um, Sticking Fork and Outlet also gifting to uh, Epi Kijit, uh 14 for their second, thank you for doing that. Heather is not a cat for their fourth. Danny G, that's me for their third. Finley coded for their second. Silent E for their thirteenth. Scarlet Milin for their second. Spicy Sweets for their eighth. Asher Jude for their fourth. Hannah Mae for their thirty seventh. Ichi Nichi for their fifty seventh. The Duck is Lord for their twenty ninth. I want to be a tree for their second. Mr. Guillotine for their fourth. Gifted by Tired to the Max. Thank you very much. Abstract Pony for their second. KJ Kiana for their uh, second. Gifted by Genocide Official. Thank you very much. And then finally, Becca Hop for their twenty. Eighth, my goodness, Grumbus. Um, y'all, this was such a lovely time, and I really, really appreciate you. Um, truly, 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 truly a delight, and I can't thank you enough for hanging out tonight. Um, you know what? I do have a friend that is streaming right now that I would love to send a raid because I don't know if we were able to raid this friend before. Let's see. Yeah, my friend Danny is streaming right now. My friend Danny is streaming. So even if we can't stick around, even if you got to go do other things, it's always nice to say hi. Um, so let's do that if you're able to. Um, let's see, pigeon swarm incoming. Do -do -do. Like pigeon swarm incoming, boom. Um, so we're going to copy and paste this in chat, y'all. Um, again, thank you all so much for hanging out, truly. I'm going to go fix the VODs. I'm going to relax. I'm going to have a little snack. It's all going to be good. Um, and I hope to see y'all tomorrow. If not, I'll see you Saturday. Clever Coop, as I always say, whether you tip, you subscribe, you throw bits my way, or you just support me by watching with your eyeballs, I so, so, so appreciate you. I love this community, and I could not and would not want to do this without you. Let's go ahead and send a raid over to my friend Danny, also known as Danny Phantom EXE. You've probably seen him on TikTok. I don't know if he's beyond where I'm at in the game he probably is so just be wary there might be spoilers even if you just pop in and say hi for a minute but until next time oh uh whether it's you know Friday whether it's Saturday Sunday whatever um just keep an eye on Twitter and Instagram and I'll let you know there but until next time Clever Coop you are dismissed <laughs> bye everybody <laughs>